To the left, see me, I got some. Good evening, good evening, good evening, and welcome back to week number three of the GLL Wingman uh, Series 8. It's been going on for eight seasons, and we're not going to stop anytime soon. We're going to be covering NA uh, this evening. Unfortunately, because of scheduling stuff with other tournaments happening, we couldn't do EMEA, but that will be moved to Friday just before the LATAM stuff, so tune in then if you want to catch up on your daily EU Middle Eastern Wingman Best uh, stuff. Best region, of course. Of course, it is. Uh, my name is Talha. I'm joined with Luke this week. As I saw Hayes is upstairs. He's going to be Hiding. swapping in and swapping out. So how have you been, Luke? I, mean, I haven't casted in ages now, so I'm, I'm quite excited to be back. And like, the last time I casted was duos. Yeah. So I'm like back in my home. But it, yeah. It's NA as well, so it's so aggressive compared to, to what I'm used to. Well, you yeah. uh, tried to qualify for it and you, you haven't, so... Yeah, yeah, it didn't go well. I, I, I got to the third round <laughs> of EU, which is... That's like winning NA, isn't it? So, yeah, it's, it's well, same level. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Right, so let's have a quick look at the schedule, if it is ready, unless I'm speeding a bit too far ahead. If not, I'll get a little slap on the wrist. Okay, perfect. Uh, so we are in week number three, and we are now just going to be sticking to a wrangle. Of course, we had week one on Sanhok, week two was fully Miramar, but it's going to be five games this week on a wrangle, and then the final week... Uh, where it's all to play for to get through to the qualifiers against uh, South America for NA uh, will be next week. And tonight's matches are angle, 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 angle. That's, that's what you love to see. That's like OG PUBG right there. 2017 PUBG is just a wrangle everywhere. Of okay. course. Uh, now, point system, I think if you are an avid watcher of any sort of Esports in PUBG, PUBG Esports uh, or, or Wingman as well, you'll understand this point system is very straightforward. 10 points for a win, minus four for second place and minus one all the way through and one point per kill. So it's very kill heavy, but also you have to find that balance between survival and getting kills. You know, I, I think kill heavy systems really suits NA, particularly in duos, because you see in, in EU, everyone's quite passive. Mm -hmm. People hide, people snake, even when they're a duo. Whereas in NA, I think it's because we have pe people from the MPL in here. There are a lot of really aggressive duos that go out and just, just frag out and just get so many kills, which I think makes really fun PUBG. Uh, that and also like the South American region as well. They just try and do all sorts of crazy stuff Wild. in vehicles and whatnot. But yeah, I think it's because you have the MPL players that are just like, yeah, it's okay. It's only it's only 20 grand. To 20,000 US like dollars that we're playing for, we don't really Pocket change. <laughs> we're in NPL, <laughs> so let's just go out and frag. It doesn't matter if I die. So uh, let's have a look at the teams that are playing tonight. And uh, these are going to be our contenders for trying to get through. Of course, the top 16 of each region go through. So this is NA, and the top 16 of this will go through and play the top 16 of South America. But in first place, sorry, in first place, just... There are the teams. That's not the leaderboard yet. It's the teams. Uh, one the in the two good heady brother. I uh, completely forgot who's in that team. Almost and almost two. Booty Clappers, we've seen them before. Cadets, Eliminators, EU, Envy. Uh, then, of course, 17th place, we have Prudy. So that was at um, uh, Moody Profi and. Profi. Right. Uh, Profi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. No. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, Lazarus, Ghost Gaming, Genesis. So a lot of this is basically full of contenders, players, and um, uh, NPL players. So it's great that the NPL guys can give it a shot and go, but it's even better for the contenders players because Actually, they can play in the same lobby as some of the highest skilled players. We also have a America. few people from, from other regions. Obviously, like Luke 12 from OCE, obviously, he's, he's moved over to the, to the NPL now, playing with Uncivil. Mm -hmm. um, and he is, in my opinion, one of the best players in the world. It's just what, unbelievably good fragger. Is that just because his name is Luke? It is a good name. Uh, I will give him that. I'm, I'm very proud of the fact that I have the same name as him because it makes <laughs> me think I might be good at the game, which I'm not. Um, but he is like, I think we watched him, um, or was it Face It, where when he was on Atletico. I think he top fragged the whole event, or was at least top three. So he's the sort of player that in duos should be shining. Luke 12. Let's see who else is in by the uh, Pentalol. Uh, starting this up. Wooly, Duck, 
uh, Kickstar, Adam, and PUBG. So, uh, oh, where's he? Taylor Jones Shrew. Um, hiding. But do you want to know a fun fact? Okay, right. First Saints Wingman game I ever played, Duck headshot me from 300 meters off a bike. I was full speed. I was like 100 miles an hour. He just two taps me in the head from 300 meters away. It was the first, first ever Wingman game. game. First competitive game I played was qualifiers with PGI and it was with you. And we did I, not do well. I, I fell asleep yeah. two hours before. That was rough. And you had to call my <laughs> flatmate to wake me up. I said, guys, I'm going to go to sleep on the floor with my headset on. He always so goes to sleep. Just wake me up. And uh, yeah, I didn't go You've on. been asleep for five hours. Just before yeah. you start. It's <laughs> a graveyard shift. Been, graveyard on the, shift. been on the sofa. Oh, dang. Uh, now let's have a look at the leaderboard and we can see exactly what is going on with the points between everyone. So Wildcard's up there at the top. They've had an insane, insane couple of games. Back-to-back uh, -back wins and consistently in the top three, top five. So they're up there in 80 points. Look at how many kills they have. 32 and they're placing points of 48. So they're doing, they found the they found the good balance between survival and getting kills. Cadets in second place, Space Storm in third, EU and Sonics White as well. Uh, they lead up to all the way to 50 points and then everyone below. So yeah, March 47, Lazarus 46 points and all the way down 16th, going down to 31 points. United there in 17th, just shy out of the top 16. But at least, at least, uh, all the teams have one point. We see you just there, about. 11 <laughs> eighters. We see you there. You're doing, you're doing a very good job. Uh, welcome to the leaderboard. Uh, we also have nutters in the game. But honestly, it is the case of these top six teams currently. We've seen Sonic's White frag out. We've also seen Wildcard just be consistently like up there. I think there's a team that's like not really had that many is it CU in March? They haven't had that many uh, like great placement points, but they've got like this balance between coming in the top and getting a few kills uh, in order to kind of get them up there. So you know it, it works, but you know the point system does reward kills and placement. Yeah, especially in duos, it's very hard to consistently place just because of the amount of teams. Like if you don't get the circle, generally speaking, the the correct play is to just go for some gunfights around where you are. So the fact that there are teams that are able to consistently place top 10, top 5, and, and just rack up points that way is, is really impressive for me. I mean, uh, this is why I'm here watching over the games, because I just can't, I just don't understand, like, especially in NA, they the, the, how do you say, they, they, they just, they're just insane, they're just better. Right. At, mm. Everyone's better at games than me, and it makes me infuriating. Because there's just so many different tactics, uh, uh, skill sets that you have, especially in NA, they, a lot of the players just take the gunfights when there's just no chance. You're like, there's no way you can win that. But just out of pure mechanical skill, mm. uh, they come out on top. And you can see that. And you can see that in a lot of the players, especially the NPL ones. But in a few of the contenders players. Now, of course, don't forget, this could be you. This could have been us two. But this Very could unlikely. be you playing in the Wingman series. If you have a mate or uh, you have a team and there's two of you and you do play in Wingmans quite a bit because, you know, that's how you play in a, in a squad game. You split up in your twos. Uh, and you think, hey, look, there's $40,000 in prize that GLR is giving away, 20000 for each region. And I think first place gets $8,000 between two people. Wouldn't mind $8,000 between two. So that, that's... That's a really good holiday or a new computer if you're going to invest into the esports career. Some nice skins <laughs> if you're sad like me and just <laughs> sit at home and play games all day. So if you want to take part, because evidently there might be, there might be, we're not saying right now, but there might be a season nine. I mean, this has been going on. And this is, to be honest, GLL are the only people that kind of do the best kind of duo tournament anyways. So if you want to take part, head over to play.gll.gg. Not, is it not, no, not TV. It is GG, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's not TV. I'm thinking of, yeah. <laughs> we usually have sheets here, but we don't. So and it's uh, also I'm doing this all off by heart. It's 1 a.m. Yeah, well, I've I had, haven't my, slept I've had like, my sleep. I haven't slept uh, for like 18 hours. So. Yeah, it's play.gll.gg. Go on, sign up, and you can actually take part in so many different games, not just Wingmans, but you can take part in the scrims that they have, some competitive 4v4s, uh, 4v4s uh, squad games, and whatnot. And you can win money. You can win money. But if you qualify for Wingman, you could be casted by our lovely mug faces, uh, sure beautiful faces me. in the market, mm -hmm. of course. That's why we're here and not in the pro league. And <laughs> uh, and and you can kind of show your skill up against other NPL, other contenders players as well, and say, hey, look, I am a good talent in PUBG. Get me up on that pro league spot. This is how 
you know, a lot of teams go to a lot of players, a lot of players, sorry, go to pro players and they ask, you know, how do I make it? How do I make it as a pro? And the simplest thing is play. Frag, fra frag one of them. Mm. Frag one of them in the most insane manner you can and then you get picked up. I think, isn't that what happened with Microstar? Pretty much. He won me forward. Wait, he's he, won he, before a few teams. Well, time, yeah, he's won me forward. I think he won me forward Tempo Storm, and he was like on a pretty, pretty all right team, and now he's coaching Tempo Storm because he won me forward them. So yeah, that's so how it works. Upgrade, yeah. <laughs> and that's how it works. Have they won all three MPLs now? Yes, back yeah. to back to back. Yeah, back yes. to back. That's insane. It's a nice, nice bit of money, that. <laughs> yeah. Wouldn't massive mind. checks. <laughs> Where do you put all those checks? Where do I get those checks? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's the case. That's what you do. You just head over to play.gl play.gll.gg and uh, you can take part in, one, in these amazing Man games. Okay, looks like we're going to be getting to game very soon and we can head I've off. I've missed this. Have you? Oh, God. Every week. Every week. I've not missed it. Yeah, well, I have. Yeah. Can my throat I've tell? Been away. Can you tell by my <laughs> <Yeah>. throat? <laughs> Mine's not amazing either. I haven't been speaking. So, you've been working each week. I've been <clears throat> sat at home and somehow my voice is still dying. I actually like it. I'm not as... I, I sound older. More mature, More mature. Which is very unusual for you. <laughs> I don't sound yeah. squeaky anymore. You are usually the squeaker when we play. Am I? Yes. I'm the really deep, you know. No, you're the old and slightly depressed. Yes, that, yeah. that, that's an <laughs> accurate representation of how we play. But we can't get into our little squad shenanigans because that's it. Uh, get into the game. Get it on. Right, so Wingman Series 8, week number three. And I'm just going to lay it out. It, it is, it, it's still close between the top five. It really is, but I'm expecting a wild card. Uh, uh, sorry, it's Kickstart, right? It's Kickstart and someone else. I don't know who's right, to be honest. Uh, yeah, it is Kickstart. It's Kickstart, it's Kickstart and, and Adam. Someone. Yeah. I'm yeah, pretty sure you're it's Kickstart right, yeah. and Adam that they're in that wildcard team. Yeah. Um, I'm just, I'm expecting them to just completely roll face. Well, really? I mean, this is a wrangle. This is, this is the map that everyone knows. This is the OG map. This is the map that no one has any excuses for anything. It's, oh, um, I mean, I find excuses when I mess up because I need them. But like uh, the amount of MPL jurors in here means that it, not only is it a great opportunity for the people that aren't in MPL to show their stuff, but also it's a great opportunity for us to see a more sort of a more focus on their mechanical skill. Because it's in uh, in squads, there's a lot of focus on your rotations, mm. on your positioning in gunfights. Whereas when it's a two v two, even if you lose your teammates early, a one v two is winnable if you're a good player. Yeah. Like if you get that initial knock, you're in a one v one, and then it's all about your gun skill. So the fact that these pro players can come in with their mechanical skill and pretty much rely on it to do well makes for some really fun games in my opinion. Uh, you're absolutely right. You, you have less players, but with that you get more teams overall on the map. So it's uh, you're kind of fighting for more ground. There's less uh, looting places. But at the end of the day, you lose one player, you do have you have lost 50% of your team, but we see more 1v2s than we do 1v4s. And speaking of 1v4s, we are in the first game, the C-130 is flying aboard. We're going straight from George Paul all the way to just the top, and the, well, through the middle of Kmeshki and Lepovka. So we're not going to be seeing anything towards the south of the map. Uh, maybe Primorsk and Milta will be out of the question, but Sosnovka Island definitely will. Bit a perfect plane for a mini circle, wouldn't it? Just to really you mess with oh, everyone. No, Saint, you haven't been here. You have not been I've here. I've thrown it in first game, we, we, the jinx. Uh, first. I think was it Sandhawk? We had top left island. Twice, I love that island. Top left island, and then. But I drop on that island. All so. all the bloody Miramar games. We had, Beatty Island circles. Like it was <laughs> yeah. there. All the way east, then goes west. Yeah, it yeah. was east, and then it kind of shifted back out, and then we had like a Come bottom on, Millie, Millie, Los Higos Millie, circle Millie, as Millie. well. Do it. I just I like to see players suffer. To put it in a nutshell, just because it makes for some really weird plays. You know, if you put players in uncomfortable positions, that's when they can shine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when that mechanical gun skill becomes the, the focus of the gunfight. Oh, I absolutely agree. I wish that they could have been like a game master that dictates what the <laughs> circle does. And I, stuff. I think Brendan does secretly do it. <laughs> <every now and laughs> just, he's, he's sitting there in his iPad and he's like, like Island circle. <laughs> uh, circle here. But we've got a, a fairly central circle around Rosshock. These, these zones generally <laughs> tend to, to lead to sort of a slower early game. But then you get a really congested mid game that gets so wild and so fun. So I'm really looking forward to sort of that phase four, phase five. Well, it turns into this whole let's get a, a position, let's rotate quickly and get a position. And then usually when you're doing that, you're, you're rotating late, you're rotating through every single person that's already got themselves locked down. And it becomes very hard. And you do, especially in, in duos, because there's a lot less. Um, 
real estate to be fighting for, you do end up crashing compounds quite a bit. Yeah, but there's the same amount of positions for double the teams. Yeah. So uh, at some point, you do have to take those gunfights, which is something you don't always see in, in squads. You know, you, you see that some teams just sort of outcall their way to the late circles. But in duos, it's pretty much impossible. And unless you sort of take a really nice position early and just stay there and get the circles, you have to make some move and some aggressive play, particularly around that phase four, which is when it gets really congested. I'd like to see urban circles, really. I, I love urban circles and duos just because of it allows a lot of the teams to get to the late game, which turns into these sort of four or five-way fights. Yeah. Isn't there... Haven't they got the setting on where it's less likely to be... A it shouldn't be on in super setting. <laughs> uh, I think there's, there is a running theory that the circle naturally shifts away from cities. I think C, C finishes are pretty... But uh, the only problem with them is the, the FPS... Like if the FPS was fine, that's fair enough. They'd be the best ending. Like yes, now would be the best ending in the game, in my opinion. But like when you have like twenty FPS, you're trying to say that fight is grim. That's oh, okay. Uh, Protégé, he's got himself a little compound AK-47 in hand, but he's being pushed by ZNB. He's on the team with VZ. Nice. Uh, God, I want to get this wrong. Seen for a while. F fin, right? Finish. VZ. Maybe. W w w I thought. I thought it was like countries. I thought it was. Like Lithuanian or something. Uh, oh, it's out. And it's gonna be a knock and a re knock there by uh, I am uh, Beast. Uh, I'm the Beast, yo. Uh, but Ane is gonna come and finish him off pretty nicely. It. it does bounce all the way a bit too far. But he's gonna make the push. He has to leave it. his teammate behind. I, I, I agree with the play. His teammate is so open there that yeah. if he tries to go for the res, he's just gonna get killed by Protege. So Protege can and should get this flush. Yeah, you see him getting out now. But he has to cross completely in the open from the beast. And if he doesn't know he's there, I mean, I expect he does. He, he should, should do. peak this wall. Oh, he's no, going to no, smoke no, no, it, actually. No. But he's going to run straight in. Now the beast gets him down. Approach and VZ, two I mean, pretty big names in terms of this lobby, down really early to I'm the beast. Yeah, that is a uh, straight kill. I think with the nade that beast threw, he used that to kind of cover his footsteps to, make, to close that gap. Mm, that was a really nice play. That, yeah, really, really nice play. Unfortunately, VZ did get re-knocked. Uh, but yeah. this is the kind of thing now where if this was squads and you were the last player alive on your team, that's that's sort of the game over for you. You know, you, you go and hide in a dip and hope you get the circle. But because it's duos and you lose your teammate and you're in a one, you know, you're you're on your own, you're on your ones. Then, like, if a duo pulls up and you can get that initial knock, suddenly it's an even gunfight. So I I love the fact that I'm the beast. There is still like still in contention to have a really good game here, despite the fact that he's lost a teammate so early. Yeah, he's already got two points. He just needs to make it to the top. 12 to be able to get one point of a placement. Yeah, what is that? That's the equivalent of finishing 10th, isn't it? So, isn't yeah. It? So, it, already a nice start. So, if he comes 12th, he gets extra points, and then any other placement above that is just a bonus. And um, on top of that, uh, he he's he, he's able to carry on. Like, he actually, that was a 1v, 1v2 there in the first place. That was 1v2 as well. I mean, his teammate didn't really do much other than drawing fire. But that's what we mean by you can 1v2 quite efficiently but the, in the, duos. The initial re-knock onto, uh, onto VZ was so important there. You know, as soon as career went down, he had to get that trade instantly. Otherwise, the fight becomes so difficult in that 1v2, particularly because they, they were in, you know, approaches had the power position in the house. So it, it wasn't really possible for Beast to, to get that knock. So he had to get the VZ one, had to force Protege out of the position. And the fact that he did instantly get that knock really helped him. Yeah, out. and I really like the patience as well. The push. He doesn't push into the building. Pushes and just waits. He knows where the other knock is. He knows he has to go get him. Is he either lets the teammate bleed out or he goes for the res. And it looks like Duck is going to be driving straight towards Luke. And uh, is it uncivil? Is that? Oh, I can't. Oh, so uh, close to blowing yeah, up. He's oh going to have God. to take the gunfight here. There's not really any other option here for Duck. To do. He just has to try to take it. But uncivil's with the nade. That should be perfect. Ooh, just over, actually does, is that, did he do damage? No, it didn't do any sort of damage it, it at all. It was a tiny bit too far. No damage whatsoever. But uh, Duck actually gets the kill onto Luke, so now all of a sudden Uncivil is in a 1v2. Where is Duck's teammate? Oh, he's already crossed, Follock is stuck on the west side, so he can't really help, so Duck really in a 1v2 here. Uh, it's certainly winnable, but this nade oh. uh, is going to go a little bit too far again. Does a tiny bit of damage though. That's a bit of damage, but now you can see uh, Frolic is actually trying to help him. Uncivil is being shot from across the river. And now Uncivils just has to back out. Luke is down. So he could possibly go for it. And it looks like Uncivils is going to go for the res. But this, this might actually open up yeah. for Luke. I mean, that's an insane nade coming straight in. He sees it. It bounces. It lands really close. Oh. And it gets both of them. The timing on that nade. Oh, my God. Uncivils. That is so unlucky. Duck kills a Luke again in a wingman. First he kills me, and then he <laughs> kills the other Luke. It's very rude. <laughs>
And there was a it's so difficult when, when you sort of get ambushed like that. To, to be able to turn it around into a winning yeah. gunfight is such a difficult thing to do. Uh, it didn't help, but it also kind of did help that his teammate was on the other side. Follicker was already there, and he could use that to his um, advantage. And it looks like Positivity has also been knocked uh, by uh, Invasion and Cambrini. Uh, Cam be able to get this, Camborghini. It's all about how aggressive almost want to be here. Uh, they can push on this, but the problem is that until Stab is where Positivity is, they can't run down because there's no cover. So as long as Stab is just watching that, he might be able to just get a free knock. But at that point, he probably has to sacrifice his teammates. It's all about, can you try and at least get that one-for-one one trade? They're trying to try and get, at least get a point out of it. Because you don't want to be losing a player for nothing. You want to be getting a position, or you want to be getting a point out of it at, at minimum. Picks it up. Rough rotate out of that. Yeah, he's oh, just going to give be up He's leaving there. his teammate. Positivity is key. Remain positive after that. Your teammate is leaving. And now he's on his solos. Uh, the problem for, for Stab here is he doesn't have a vehicle. And he's not in a good position. He's not near any compound. So it, it's really rough here for him to try and get in. I think there are positions sort of around where they are. But it, I mean, if you look at the circle, it, he's quite far to the east. So the, you know, the, the likelihood of him being in the circle is so low. And the fact that he doesn't have that car, I mean, it's going to be very rough if the circle centers or goes west or yeah, even goes north. You can already see Sharu's in the yellow shooting up Evasion and Cambogini. So even that rotation, he has to go through, cross an open field and then fight for the yellows and... Well, Shrew's already getting into his vehicle and getting out, so it's kind of like a stab, a bit of breathing room, but still, no vehicle. That rotation across the Yasnaya fields, it's not, not ideal at all. I'm quite quite intrigued in, in how Valiat is, is looting really late down on the southwest side, because this circle is basically 50 50 north or south, right? I mean, it, it's slightly more likely to go south, which is why we see teams there, and the circle does go there. But the fact that Valiat stays so late means that all these teams have moved center, and if the circle does have this sort of slightly weird hard shift, it gives Valier an option to, to basically get into this really empty circle. We see like half the circle is completely empty. If you can get there fast enough, if you can get into the, the red houses sort of to the south of uh, Raptor Road um, or Dirt Road, depending on what you want to call it. But if, if he's the first one there, suddenly he's in a really good spot just because he left it late. He might have left it a little bit too late, but he has the option to get to the empty side. Someone left the rotation a bit too late too is Dark Dreams gets completely goo goo ga -ga as he's trying to cross the bridge. And that's extra points. They did get that, right? Yeah, the one kill. Yeah, they, they got the knock. So when he uh, when he splattered into the ground, they got the kill. Yep. So that's uh, one point for them. And then they get no vehicle with a big fur coat. This is like it's very typical of duos. We have this sort of you, know, you try and rotate, <laughs> and you just run straight into a different team. And it's, like, there's often quite little that you can do. So it, I mean, normally when you rotate, you have to sort of leapfrog much more aggressively than you do in squads. You know? Every sort of 100, 200 meters, you stop. You take a position. You look around. Make sure there's no one trying to ambush you. Uh, that's the only real way to move if you're not in the circle. Mm -hmm. We see three teams coming around the south. I, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if Moody and Pride try and pull up on Chubba Bubba here. Uh, if they can get up on Suicide Hill, we actually see Pride shooting out the car down there. Going to try and get that knock, or at least yeah, he's, he's actually switched seats to shoot out the car right there. I want to see Valiant pull up. If he just pulls up on this rock, it's probably a free kill. Well, Valiant's actually going out ahead. Uh, Chubba uh, Bubba. I want to see going to keep driving past. Now, this is important. It's where do you go and you want to try and make sure that you're not too late into the circle. I, I really like this from Chubba Bubba. They're stopping at the shack because they know that there's three players around them at least. They, they saw Valiate. Moody and Pride were shooting at them. So they're just going to pull up, just get a bit of a scout, get some information uh, so they can try and rotate probably into somewhere around Snake or, or maybe even to Shelter Area. And Terra Gate makes easy pickings of Tazanator as they're trying to rotate. They've got themselves a little Alamo. Coming in and now with Duck and Frolico. They made their way back across and now they're being pushed by uh, who's that? Disciple. And Disciple just does a 180 and claps Duck. And uh, so does Wolf, in fact. Frolico and Duck, they just get completely annihilated and pulled up on. And Wolf is so far away. Disciple, hello, he didn't know you. He, he started shooting second there. He just decided he didn't want to get hit. He was like, <laughs> nah, I'm all right, thanks. And then <laughs> just one. But Wolf, um, he, he like two tap stabs so quickly there. No, he, he was at the uh, the Habo with his mini and just instantly put two in, uh, in Stab's head. So it was a really nice uh, second kill there for the team. And I mean, it's not got a great position, but uh, they don't have much control of the map where they are up in that northeast. But they do have a position where uh, there are areas they can move. They can move on to the, the hill of what's called Liquid Compound to their south. Uh, you know, they can see the whole hillside. So yeah. They can pull up there if they want to. And it, I mean, if they did, they'd see it's free. But it, realistically, if you want to play for placement, in duos, there's two ways you can do it. You either sort of play for the hard shift, where you take a power position sort of on one edge, 
and you hope you get the circle. And then if you don't, it's a salvage game, right? And, you know, it's like a three, four points to try and get some kills. Or you go dead center like Lampelot, like interrogate, and you just sort of expect the, the common shift. And normally the, the sort of the, the hard shift plays how you get like a really big game. You know, you have to get lucky with yeah. the shift. But yeah, if it happens one out of four times and you turn it into like a 10, 15 point game, it gets really good. So I expect that's what Wolf of the Disciple are trying to do here. We go in the circle. It's not too bad for it, actually. Um, it's an okay shift. It shifts north. It's still got a bit of water in up there, but it looks like it's definitely going to get away from that. Yeah, but it's so minimal and that yeah, the shift is, is really it's really not that fairly important. random. It, it should center up around the, the volcano area uh, just because of the tiny bit of water. I want to see Wolf of the Disciple try and go yeah. a bit west here. The, the compound to their west, which they can see, is empty, which they should be able to recognize. I mean, there is a little wall that uh, sort of conceals the vision. But if they can get up there, oh, look at that. The terrible thing to do. Work! And so is Caps. Wait, who is this? Wolf, they're not. They're, they're shooting at Zen too, so Kendo gets knocked by uh, the Envy guys. But Wolf, a disciple, they're laying down heavy fire on the second person. So, um, not a great rotation for them already. Yeah, two they, points. They got really split up, so. That's the nutters over there. And uh, you can already see they have the yellows just below Volcano, uh, Taylor J. I'm and so surprised. Teammate. They've the, got the compound the, next the to The compound it. just west of Roth. Is, in my opinion, it's really nice in this circle because you, you have a, the os this option to move on to the hill to the west if it's in. You also have a lot of vision onto Volcano Hill, which you'll see here. You know, we, we see uh, EU only playing in one house. <coughs> I think they're actually going to split up now. But the uh, generally speaking, people are going to try and try and group together, you know, try and play one house as a duo. So there's a lot more opportunity for crashing into that sort of volcano area late game. But the problem is now they let Roth get past, which means that if they're trying to rotate through there, he's just going to spray him out of the cars. Ooh, Camborghini caught out in a little, little ditch, but doesn't get spotted by the ND guys. Oh, my day. In fact, they get, managed to make their way to the switch. Um, switch? What was I saying? Twitch. Uh, to the shack. It's a good name. Get rid of the vehicle, and now you're stuck. All he has is to back off, but look at this. Aggression coming out. Camborghini going to be pushing straight away. And the door's on the wrong side, so you can't oh, even... But, but like, decided to leave Mooney, and he's driven straight into Chubba Bubba and Loeb. So oh, this what's could be that nade? Holy moly, evasion gets completely naded by Moody. Is he going to send a second one as well? He should get the second knock. If the he just position. does the same thing. He oh, missed! Oh, he's he himself! <laughs> he's run out! Okay. <laughs> right, okay, oh. okay, okay, he does it. But where's his teammate? His teammate's completely gone. Yeah, he he's drove straight into Chubba Bubba, but now he's coming back, and, and this might be the option for him to get two kills. If he could just pull up on the hill above. It should be a free two kills. He's going to have a complete unflayed on them. Oh, that's a good name. Yeah. That actually gets uh, Camborghini down to half <laughs> What are you doing, doing, Pride? Going straight in. You're not K-Mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the nade comes back in. And now Moody, you have Does to come have out. Left, Moody needs to come out and push. But he hasn't got any nades left because he messed up the one it's in the okay, track. It's okay, but Evasion's good. already got the drop on him. But Moody's going to sit down and spray. But it's going to be Cherry Poppin that finds Moody. That saves Evasion completely. He's why misplay did, after misplay why didn't Pride for just the Envy boys. Hill? If, if Pride had just stopped and just got out of the car, he could have just killed them both. I'm so confused. NA, please. He was on full send mode. <laughs> he was on K mine mode. Yeah. That's okay, but well, now the action doesn't end. You're right. It's phase three, phase four, where it's just complete it just chaos manic, now. Yeah. Especially in this kind of circle, where, where it's so open, there's so little cover. Lobe's trying to take down Reaper, already taking his teammate down, Tana uh, Tanaka. And uh, the smokes, don't know if he needs them, but it's going to help nonetheless for this little push. And it's an aggressive push coming up by both Chubba Bubba and Lobez. Uh, Reaper just on the edge of the smoke. That's a good nade. It's going to come straight in. Going to bounce. It might just bounce down a bit, but it bounces forward. And it does no damage that both so far away. The second nade comes in. I think that tagged up Tanaka, Tanaka a tiny Tanaka bit. A bit. But another nade. But the vehicles are stopping it. That's that's going to get Tanaka down. There we go, finally. And now Lobez raining down complete yeah, hellfire. Another nade's going to come in, and that might just be on top of everyone. Reaper gets knocked down a tiny bit. Where's the nade gone? No, I think it blew up just <laughs> short of the them. car. <laughs> but uh, Tanaka's gone. blew up at the same time. So I was like, did the nade just disappear? And now it's, where on earth are they? You stop the push. Reaper's going to be peeking around the smoke. Lobus just about sees him, spots him out, trying to get the headshot. Tags him up a tiny bit, switches to the M4. It's going to just completely flush him out. Oh, so close. It could have happened the other way around, and CM March could have been deaded. But down in the south, we have a crash here. Lamplot and uh, Dietrich's getting crashed by Rello and, uh, and Profi here. Uh, down in the, sort of right on the south edge. It's a bit of a weird place to be fighting for, but uh, as we were saying earlier, there's so little real estate that you sort of just have to go for something. And Relo's actually got a knock from far, so d goes down. And all of a sudden, uh, Profi could just move into that house for free. Lamplot's is completely split up. No way to stop Profi. Yeah, but what's interesting is you can see already that uh, I'm, be I'm the Beast is actually coming up behind Relo. And 
He's going to get him right he's now. He's actually going to fag him out right now. Actually, Rella turns around and... Um, and now Taste is coming in behind Beast. He's going <laughs> to third party the third party. Surely get... Oh, Rello goes down, but now Be I think Beast is going to go oh. after this nade. It, it, oh. It's pretty much dead on. Oh, it is. It, it absolutely is. That's a brilliant nade. And <laughs> you can see, uh, actually, <laughs> the Beast threw a nade to try and get... Yeah, but he didn't throw it in time, did he? So I think Rello's... Gonna, but there's no way for Profi to get up there whilst Lamplot's live, so... The, the okay, it might be Chester, it's right. all about whether Taster can, uh, can steal the kill. But Disciple Disciple. Wolf gone for the push, but Disciple goes down. Now it's just Wolf in a 1v1. Going for the flush. He's on 8 HP. There's no way that Wolf can probably get him up. Might be able to stop the to lead. Uh, it's just very unlikely. <laughs> seven frags. <laughs> why has he got seven frags? That's a good nade. It bounces straight in, and that's going to be it for Roth. That's why he's got seven That frags. was a very hard angle. I'm impressed. Yeah, I got it through that window perfectly, and, and there was just no time, really, for, for Roth to get out. You can see Evasion Camborghini. They're still going. Finds Shrimzy, takes him down, and now all these people in the south, they need to make their way up to the... Uh, up into the circle, Panda Girl behind a tree is going to get deaded as well. Interrogate finally finds Cherry Poppin, makes oh, that, that is this, kind of avenging his house down uh, in the, the south, envy though. teammate we, there. We have three solos from different teams just sharing two houses, they're all just chilling next to each other. It's going to happen. Rock having yeah. a bit of a tough one down yeah. here. Baby Beans and, and uh, Google Raga have, uh, have got Adam down now. And it's yeah. just up to kickstart. He's in a really tough spot because the circle is so unlikely to stay on that west, right. I was going to say, Pentalol was being completely um, shredded by, like, full people. Uh, but, yeah, you can do this in this compound, though. This compound, you know, it's got the buildings for it. But this is what I love about NA. If you can't see them, but you know where they are, just try and nade the heck out of them. And uh, that's, that's why they carry seven nades. Because it all pays off in the end. Because nades are just ridiculous. Especially now that they've added the, the increased bounce and mm. all that stuff. You can do all sorts of insane stuff for them. Circle does shrink. It does kind of center up a tiny bit with a bit of a skewed shift towards the east. And uh, it's going to be interrogate the nutters, pistol of time, Wooly and uh, Taylor J. They're in the, in the circle, kind of on the edge, but guys in the Alamo. That's not even the Alamo, sorry. That's uh, the, the, the yellow. Yellow's just, on the side. Yeah. yeah, the yellow's just by a Volcano. Um, hey, this is actually a rough area to play in. You either there's a it's a there's a surprising amount of cover in this, particularly on the north, because there's a, a ridge along the road just to the north yeah. of of Plushy, uh, you know, just to the north of the Yellow Houses. There's a big area where Chubba Bubba and Lobes could play. But the problem is, if Wolf stabs them in the back, you know, if Wolf <laughs> if they don't know Wolf is there and they pull up on the ridge, which I think they're going to do now, then there's an opportunity for Wolf to just get two free kills and and sort of gift the game to those southern teams. But uh, if they can stay alive, if they can get these kills, Profi no, gets, a, no. gets the final player of a wildcard down meanwhile. Yeah, I jinxed it. But uh, there is a really good opportunity for Chapel Bubba and Lopes to use that ridge to a really good advantage if they can take Wolf out. Completely jinxed it. I said they'd do well. I'm surprised Profi left the compound because he, ha he had the, the the house that was closest to the to the uh, to the, the circle, so he could wait the longest and, and maybe get a kill or two out of it. But. I mean, he spotted Kickstarter, but Taster's going to go down there. It's actually Wooly all the way from the hill that gets him down. I thought Lamplot would get it. I think he was tagging him up, but Taster gets taken up by Wooly. In the yeah, but Wooly should now know that there is another player I there. I think a lot of people know Lamplot, sir. Yeah, so Lamplot needs to make his way in. But, but he might be able to get Profi really in the back here. It, if he gets there in time, Gugu Gaga is going to go down to Profi, I think. No, he oh. just about survives. But Lamplot can just come in behind and take Profi out. I, I think Profi's got a little ridge. Uh, Lamplot can't quite see him. Uh, if he gets exactly. that tree, he has good vision. And there's no real other option. You, know, you might as well go for the kill. Yeah. Look at this, Profi. He, he has to push. He does get the headshot onto Gugu Gaga, and that's him down. And now he needs to find his team. I think he just spotted him out, Baby Bean. And going to get the flush. Might as well. You don't know how long uh, you're going to be surviving for at the moment. Smoking up the road just before crossing over. Now you can refresh on your nade. Just one each. Lampard's oh, actually managed to sneak off. Wolfie and Pistola weren't looking because of this fight, but they've actually spotted him now. Lampard's going to go down low. Can they get him down? They can. Actually, yes, yeah, Willie that gets in. How's oh he survived? My. What's gone on there? Uh, one, one, one HP on Profi. No, no actually, one wants to die. No, it's okay because Pistola Time and Willie, they're coming across. They don't actually know that Baby Bean's right below him. He's actually tanking the circle well enough. Baby Bean, he blows up the vehicle and it doesn't go down still. Finally, eliminated. Profi's on right. He needs to cross the road. He's got Pistola Time and Willie just above him, holding off the circle, gatekeeping. He needs to make some magic work here. Willie's behind a rock, but that's it. That's all she wrote for Profi. It's not going to carry on. And on now, way. Interrogate and teammate are shooting at Willie and Pistola Time. It is a really rough spot now for Sonics. There's not really any way they can go up because EU are going to start trying to third party if possible. So they have to win this gunfight and they have to do it quickly. 
But now this circle's looking really good for uh, for Lopes. But actually, did he lose Chubba Rubber? When did that happen? I think Wolf got him. Right? Uh, uh, that's it for Sonic's White. <laughs> that's yeah. literally it. There yeah. yeah, there was nothing they could do because you know, EU had the hilltop. Pack apps and uh, interrogate from Envy had that, that really nice ridge. So they were sort of sandwiched, you know, rock and a hard place. But uh, Chubba Bubba, I think I, I was saying earlier that they were only, they're, they're sort of wing condition was spotting Wolf playing on that north ridge. And I'm pretty sure Wolf took him down uh, you know, from the north. So now Lobes is sort of stuck in it. He actually, I think he 1v2'd someone in the compound, which is really nice, you know, nice bit of points. But the fact that he's now lost Chubba Bubba means that realistically, Plushy and uh, his team, I can't, can't quite see who that is. It should be the, the, yeah. the duo that uh, have the. Uh, Envy on five the kills, DM March on four. United on one, and Nutters on zero. At least Wolf is doing some sort <laughs> of work. It? He should be able to. I, I think he should be able to get a top four here because Pat Caps and Interrogate is sort of being forced into the yellows yeah, by United. You can see Interrogate and Pat Caps. They're actually just going to go straight in. They've actually smoked up the entirety of their side just to come in. The nades and the extra smokes are going to come in. And now this is going to help them push. And you can see Ripper. He's already um, kind of chickening out there and he's going to go up with his teammate. But look at that plushie. He's got. He's got the um the, the 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 new shotgun. He's got it. I forgot what the name is. Oh, look at that! He's I've, holding I've it. it now as well. And Does it say now, it? No, it, doesn't, it doesn't actually say the name. We're gonna be right, bamboozled. It, it's gonna be in this situation it's really where bad, he shines. And you can say. see he is waiting. It takes like five shots to kill someone, so I'm not I'm not expecting anything good. Excuse me. Well, it takes me. You know, I take five shots to kill someone with it because probably because I'm bad. But maybe maybe he's, yeah, look at that. He's, he's actually wants he's, so he's just gonna kill. This is his setup. This shotgun in a house is gonna work really nicely. If he can get them inside the house, that's when it becomes really strong. You know, if they walk around this corner, he's going to one-shot both of them. It works up to 100 meters. Oh, Lobes get, yeah, but it does like two damage 100 meters. So, yeah, it works yeah. up to 100 meters, though. But he's only got one nade, so he's not going to win. <laughs> he's only got one nade, he's not going to win. It's not enough. Right, interrogate. <laughs> looks like he's going to actually start making his push in. And so is Caps. They're trying to take this methodically, trying to clear out any sort of vision they have from they're the windows. It's from the outside. It's perfect opportunity for yeah, they, Like these buildings, the Molotov's going to work in. Oh, oh my it, days. did like 10 damage. Oh, it's still here, but the nade's coming straight in through, and uh, that might just help uh, Envy know what exactly which way you need to go in. Do oh, the heavy mollies. Nade. There are That's no the mollies. shotgun down, isn't it? That's actually the shotgun down. Yeah, plushy. Shotgun's down. So now the entry frag, uh, the entry defender, uh, is all gone, and now Ripper's waiting in the. It's kitchen. all about patience here. You know, interrogating pack caps, they can just go in and just trade the kill. You know, it, you know, one of them goes down. It's not the end of the world. The other one just has to trade it quickly, but they can't really go in whilst these nades are popping off. I'm really surprised people don't carry Molotovs for this exact situation because you could just throw one and it's a free kill. Oh no, he's actually getting the rest. Look at that. He's got the rest. He Can smoked he off. He's naded and he's baiting out the kitchen area, but he's got the res off. But they, they know exactly where they are. They just can't do anything about it because he smokes. It's a really nice play to just completely shut down the push. And now Ripper gets pack caps down. Plus, he flushes him out with a shotgun. They've turned it around. Ripper did Nutters. It. <laughs> They've actually been. They're on a it, nut. It was, it was the M4, not the shotgun. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I have to add it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he turned that around. Ooh. Excellent play with the smoke, completely bamboozling. <laughs> Wolf, he gets taken out by Shrew. You can snake for all you want, but you can't snake that long. It's really nice and to get top three. It is. Position. Yeah, top three, yeah, uh, as a solo. It is, com well, it is in the top two now. Uh, 2v2, Taylor J, Shrew versus the Nutters, and uh, the shotgun's going to shine now. Saying the no, he dropped it, actually. He picked, up an, he picked up a scar. Because oh, even he knows it's not very good. But this is, uh, okay. I was talking about Chubba Bubba and Lobes. You know, if they could get to the ridge and if they could survive Wolf, that they would win on this ridge. They didn't survive, but EU did survive as a duo, and now they have complete control of the circle because of this ridge. So uh, Taylor and uh, Shura really, uh, they have so much map control now because they, they mean, they're in the center in a position that you can't really push without a knock. The shotgun's called a DBS, by the way. DB uh, DBS 12. Uh, DBS 12. Because it has 14 shots. Makes yes, a lot of sense. It is. Now, <laughs> I, I actually like the way uh, United are actually doing this. Okay, the, because they, it is a two versus two, they kind of know that they're in this compound. So they're splitting up. They're going on either side to try and get an angle on there. And uh, they're just closing in Ripper and uh, yeah, they Plushy. Just, they just have to make sure to no the knock compound. Comes in, and they spotted once, and they know exactly that they're going to be in this compound. And now they can work around this. As Tillage is just throwing a bit of warning shots, trying to keep them at J. As long as Sharu doesn't go down, there's, there's no real option for Ripper and, and Plushy to. To move. Uh, uh, quite intrigued by this push. You know, Shuri's going very aggressively on the hill. I think he's still in cover for now, but. Look at all these smokes. Uh, all Taylor J is doing here is trying to get info for Shuri because Shuri doesn't want to be peeking. Because uh, if if Shuri gets knocked, realistically, the Nutters should 
Should win that 1v2, right? Yeah, or, or if Taylor J gets not, but Taylor J got an insane angle, trying to shoot down Ripper, but he him so low. escaped that flashbang. <laughs> I think it might have connected just for a little bit, but nice headshot. Oh my gosh, Rue, he's got the angle. Plus, he's actually pushing. He's still he's got, got a shotgun, Saint. Go he's going around the lock, and he, he gets it. the knock with a shotgun. <laughs> there is no way. That you're going to say I it's a bad gun. It. Look at that. He's finally done it. I think that's it. He's looked up in the sky. He's thanking Jeebus. Does he get them both with the shotgun? That's the question now. Uh, this is very important. Okay, he gets tagged up twice with the SLR. That's another... Is that a flashbang or... No, a smoke. A smoke. Okay. Can I get the one uh, thing But off? this movement is really nice. I'm sure he's going to get a complete off angle. Gets him so low. He still have it speed. He did, he did pick up stuff. Come on, but... Oh, so hasn't quite. Sp he okay, so it's Shrew knows exactly guys. where he is. Plushy has no idea. He's going to pull out the shotgun. But look at this, Shrew. He's actually using the terrain to his advantage to try and. I respect the dedication around. to the shotgun. It man. is very, very insane play by Shrew, and he's got the ridge line to play with it. Plushy, he's just going to try and get some nades. Realizes that the dead body doesn't this have any nades. Really good. But. Shrew, he's got nades, a nade jumps it's right all the way past. A, re a nade going thrown straight away back. And it's going to be a headshot to round off the game. And United does take it up. But guess what, Saint? The DBS. He got it's one insane. kill. Fair it's enough. Uh, it must have been a glitch. Absolutely insane. <laughs> must have been a glitch. <laughs> all right, okay. Does <laughs> right. everything have to be pessimistic? I don't like that shotgun, as you might be able to tell. But anyway. Look at uh, that. Shrew said, on that, four kills. That Taylor J on one. And uh, Ripper and Plushy, they only got three kills overall, but that's kind of the art of the game. You try and survive as long as you can, and then you frag out in the late game. So that's uh, that's game number one, and uh, that's exciting stuff already. It's what I mean. NA, nade kills. Nades. Mm, everywhere. Nades glow. It must have been at least 15, maybe even 20. It's, it's, it, it's not as prevalent the game. you. It's kind of weird. Uh, I think, generally speaking, because of the aggression of NA, the gunfights are a lot closer. You know, so you're getting in that sort of 30, 40 meter zone, which is where the nades can become really useful. Whereas in an a, in EU, because of the, the sort of passive style, particularly around that phase four, phase five, there's uh, there's much more sort of long range, you know, mini SLR fights or you know, sniper shots that are knocking people. So the nades are slightly less useful mm. in that sort of meta. But what I really like is EU's mastery sort of, of the, the geography of that area. Yeah. You know, they use that high ground on the west. They use the fact that they had this big ridge to just completely control where the nutters were. I mean, it almost went wrong. Yeah. Uh, but it, it worked out. Yeah. Even at the end, using the terrain to kind of cover your flanking mm. was spectacular just to watch there. And I think that helped him close that gap insanely. <laughs> it it would have been so SLR far when he got knocked off that bike. Uh, uh, th this fight was, uh, <laughs> blew, uh, blew my mind. Uh, uh, if, Jen, if Brian but pulled look, okay, on uh, the ridge, to be honest, to be honest, whenever I see Moody, I'm just like, you just want him to do something. No, yeah. but it, it's it's always you know it's it, it's just clowning at the end of the day, like the na nading himself, not being able to go through the window. <laughs> it, if he'd killed himself for that, nade, like, <laughs> and Pride had just died. <laughs> that I'm, said, I'm pretty the sure, like, gunfight. I'm pretty sure in week number one. One of them got knocked in one of the buildings and they underarmed uh, a smoke grenade and went for a res. Two seconds later, that smoke grenade turned into a grenade and it blew both, both of them up. So, you know, it's, it's stuff like that. It's just like, what on earth? <laughs> will we see more shotgun kills tonight? Well, we, we actually see. saw it. We saw it saw in, in San Hock and we saw it get two kills at about 50 meters and win, 50? The, yeah, win the game. It, they were headshots. I've, I've literally, in all my pub games, I've not seen it kill beyond five meters. <laughs> it, I, if I'm right, Hayes is there and Hayes can agree. I think I'm over-exaggerating. It might have been 25 meters. You are good at over-exaggerating I am over size. Yeah. Especially kidding how small I, I over-exaggerate a lot. Like, I'm actually six foot four uh, when like you meet me. Foot. Yeah. Um, I'm a pint-sized <laughs> imp. That's how it works. Right, ladies and gents, that was game number one of Wrangle, week number three of Wingman Series 8. That's a lot of words, but don't go anywhere because these two guys, we're going to be bringing you more words after this short break. Welcome back, ladies and gents. It is 
Well, it's, get, it's getting close to about 2 a.m. over here in nice and dark Sweden. My name is Talha. I'm now joined by Hayes. Uh, Saint's gone upstairs for a little nap because um, he obviously doesn't like the DBS as much as we do because it's an insane gun. Am I right? It's Am nuts, I right? Dude. It's, it's nuts. nuts. That's why these were the nutters. <laughs> but nonetheless, uh, welcome back if you're just tuning in. This is the GLL Wingman Series 8, and I've got something in my eye. Oh dear. Ooh. I do apologize. Uh, Wingman Series 8, we are in week number three, and it's going to be Erangle, Erangle, Erangle from now on out until, well, until the end of days. And uh, just a quick catch up $20,000 is the prize pool. However, this is just qualifiers. Do uh, The top 16 do go on to play in a finals lobby with the South American teams of the top 16. The top 16 of the South American teams. English <laughs> is very hard at this time. Um, and uh, the EMEA region get to go into versus Turkey and uh, CIS and all that kind yeah, of stuff. Right. And both region plays it out for $20,000. So $40,000 in prize money. And to think that it all started where about thousands of players try to qualify for this. And we're in a lobby with a bunch of... Um, 32. Th th 32. I wanted yeah. to say something because no. they're all yeah, NBL right, players. Yeah. So like, I know them. I wanted to say something very rude. <laughs> but no, they're very good players. They're very good players, these NBL guys. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're better than me, so I can't really say uh, I mean, you know, They're, <laughs> they're better than you because you don't... <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> anyway, the scoreboard, here we go. Um, obviously, that was from the last game. United up on top there with five kills. Uh, same kills as Envy, but they only came in third place. Was it third place? No, it's not. Hold on, I'm used to. Yeah, well, I mean, it could have been third or fourth. We don't know, actually. To be fair. Envy did, in fact. Yeah, they came third. Yeah, okay. They got wiped just before. Uh, that was in the house. The other house, house from yeah. Nutters with a DBS. Yeah, yeah. It's apparently not very good. Yeah, but, but it's I mean, insane. I mean, uh, to be said, oh, the DBS did nothing in that, in that building. Well, I mean, he flushed them, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, still. um. Yeah, solid stuff from Nutters. Like it's uh, it's it's good to see that. I mean, even go for crate as well. Like taking that crate, as uh, you know, like it's that's that's. But that's coming positive. into it, right? <laughs> coming into it, they that, they had zero kills before <laughs> that envy fight. Like coming to the end game, so like True. they didn't yeah, yeah. really have much of a game. No, uh, no, they had right. that compound, and the circle just kept shifting on them, so they weren't really forced uh, to kind of uh, keep rotating all that kind of stuff. So uh, you know, it's one of those games where like. If you're constantly rotating, you're constantly challenging and fighting, and that's kind of where you rack up all the kills. Or if the circle's shifting on you, you kind of have a very quiet game, and you're hoping mm -hmm. that people crash you. Otherwise, it's just going to be quiet until you know the top three. Yeah, I mean, it depends on on where where you're positioned in the circle. If you're positioned in in a sort of a, a top spot with everyone running towards you or everyone trying to rotate towards you, it's it can uh, it can it can rack up. You know, it can it give some pretty solid kills. To be fair. Nonetheless, the plane is now flying over, which is going the opposite way. Ilipovka all the way down to just uh, above Quarry. A um, bit of the north of this uh, uh, Erangle. Uh, north of Erangle isn't going to be uh, looted up or, or, all that well. George Paul looks like it's going to be off the table. Maybe South George uh, could be their hospital and all that jazz. Uh, but definitely no one wants to go to Zaki or Severny at this rate. No, I mean, I mean, I don't think they can really, uh, to be honest with you. You'll have a, a few teams going towards George, but I think what Chubb Bubba looks like he's, uh, he's he's going towards South George Hospital side as well. Um, the circle should be popping in about five seconds, so we'll see where that where that goes. Obviously, circles and plane paths have uh, oh there we go. Uh, <laughs> so I was going to say circles and plane paths have quite a a good relationship, but um, it seems to have popped just centered south of Hospital. So Chubb Bubba and Loeb's looking pretty good already. What kind of relationship do they have? Is it a well, good, um, good working generally, relationship? Okay, or? so no, it's it's generally just like um, the the circle generally is attached to the uh, the plane path. Yeah. So so it's it, it's always touching it in a sense, uh, usually, um, which is something that people don't really like to talk about. Like, I, I've I found it like whenever I've watched the, the the plane path. I've always found that the circle always always touches it, pretty much. Um, and if you have like one of these really southern plane paths that goes just, just in between the main island and, and uh, Sosnovka, it's if, if half the time it's a military circle. So I mean, it's it, it it kind of it kind of tells you exactly what the circle's going to do. And um, I've seen a lot of teams previously read it and read it well. So I don't know. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Mm. Uh, I, uh, as far as I'm aware, I know that there is a circle zero that is like a massive circle just on the outskirts of the map. 
Say what? Like before the first circle shows up, <laughs> there's oh. actually a massive circle going around the outskirts of the map. Oh, and it just that's sort of why like you shrinks get... really fast. Uh, yeah, so that's why you can get shifts on the first circle that you see, because as the plane is flying, there's actually a big, big circle. Oh, you, you okay, can't okay. See. That's just, that's just like the default sort of like that's yeah. just like before it actually pops. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, understandable. But here we go. Protege. <clears throat> actually, VZ's been tied up quite a bit. I'm the beast, yo. The same guys from last game, Protege and uh, VZ, in a fight. I'm not sure where I'm the beast, yo's teammate is. I think he he's died. I feel like. Maybe uh, actually fighting for the same compound again. Yeah, yeah, he's died. Well, oh, well, it's it? a, I think it's a different compound, just further, further right east. Um, it's yeah. not, it's not mini pachinkis. People like to call it, but it's uh, oh, it's the one just further east of it. Visa getting smoked out. I'm the beast. Beast is actually trapped though, because Pro protege is across the road, holding off. Yeah, exactly. The rotation kickstart. It looks like he's hunting for someone with an Uzi. There's no one nearby. He's yeah. just looting up. Needs to get himself a better weapon as uh, Adam. He's coming in in the vehicle saying, Bruh, let's get out of here. Look at the circle. We got to go. Yeah, you got you to peace out there. And I mean, Kickstart's like, I only got an Uzi though. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't do anything. Nah, there's, there's, there's no way he's going he's, he's gonna to leave with an Uzi. Same, oh. same way Beast isn't going to leave with the VSS, I imagine. I mean, I don't think he's going to leave at all um, just because... Vs and Pro J have uh, have lines of sight all over his his building. I'm gonna be impressed in a second. Let's see. Oh, out. There we go. Oh, it looked like a headshot. Level one helmet as well. Uh, Panda girl uh, spots out Valier. Uh, don't know what he's doing out there, but um, yeah, standing in the open, you're gonna get shot in the back. Uh, as you can see, Panda girl, 2006. Yep, and uh, makes easy pickings there. Not gonna go for the flush just yet. Sharp Shaw is nearby, and I think Shrimsy does hear the vehicle, so he's going to make the push, and there we go. That's an easy flush out. Yeah, Valet goes down. Looks like uh, Sharp Shot. Sharp Shot, there was HD. Now it's 4K, apparently. He's upgraded. Um, he's uh, down. Oh, oh. Is he oh, he is. No, don't do it. He's only with on a bit of health as well. As well. He's Honestly, if he doesn't have the VSS, this is going to be, like, complete BM. On these guys, he's one v two once. He's gonna one v two again. The spray with the VSS just runs out of ammo, but now he has to he has to close the gap. This is the chance. You know he's running. You can see exactly where VZ is. Close the gap before Protege starts bleeding out. Don't let it be a one v. Oh, big, big peak from VZ actually. Yeah, that, I mean that, that's that's a really smart the peak. Headshot. headshot comes in. Oh my god, they're both really low. Both in the same amount of HP. VZ. He, he needs to go res. for the res, and he's, he's going got for zero it. Zero HP. Oh my god, that's zero. Beast is actually boosted up, so so he's up to six HP now. Only a bit no, he doesn't come round aiming. Woo. Oh dear lord! And now Willie and Pistola time. They're not that far off. They've heard all the mess. Then they're going to be slowly making their way in. Uh, I mean, Willie could go in and do some work here, but he's so far away. And Pistola time. Um, I don't think he wants to do this. No, I mean, I mean, the issue is that like uh, Willie and Pistola time aren't on the closer side to the circle, so they can't even get you the. Uh, gatekeep them either. So what I would probably do is go south further up the hill and just come around and try and gatekeep them. Uh, talking of gatekeeps, Baby Beans completely destroyed. Goo Gaga trying to get away in the dash. It looks like he's going to find a free compound though. Oh, I lie. He's going to find a, a ridge. A, a ridge. And that. crash. <laughs> Isn't that great Oopsie. ridge? Oh no, he's actually out. He's going to hold this. Oh, I don't know that. That's a, that's a no, no, no. Uh, I don't think he knows himself what he's doing. Well, yeah, I mean, that, that ridge is usually okay if it's like sixth circle, but it's first circle, mate. Not a great idea. There we go. Everyone making their way into the circle. You can see Profi and Moody up there on Everest. They're just going to be chilling, getting the information they need for the next rotation. It could still go north, boys. You can see everyone kind of conglomerating down there in the south of the circle, south of South Georgia Pole, where it could just mean them all and go towards that north area and force everyone to kind of cross that bridge, which become complete carnage. Uh, interrogate and uh, his teammate cars it, just down there in the bottom, still rotating in. Lampalop and his plus one going towards Primorsk. Oh, it seems like they're a bit underlooted. Just going to quickly do the... Where is it? The warehouses on the beach and then make their way in. There is a crate, but I'm going to be very shocked if anyone finds that because it's so far away yeah. from where anyone wants to play. And uh, a quarry could be and also uh, a another place where this game could potentially finish. I mean, it's so far down to the south. <laughs> it's close to the edge. 
Um, and Imagine. there's a fight happening in Primorsk. And Ooh. Willie's been sitting in this position the entire time. He spots that oh, VZ. No. He's going to make easy pickings of that. I thought I thought he was going to get tunneled there, but VZ actually yeah, goes down. It's Pistola time with that one. In fact, actually, Willie gets a flush. But um, now Protege, all on his own, there's the, uh, the, the crate that no one's going to get. That's actually a shame. That's a big crate. That's a nice one, that is. Meanwhile, actually, Sharp Shot goes down. Sharp Shot was actually holding the antenna um, up in the field. Looks like they've actually pulled up. Pat Caps Interrogate just pulled up on him. 1v2'd it. Obviously traded really well. But Interrogate's maybe getting flushed out here. I, 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 can't, I can't quite tell who that is. Just, that that just looks like uh, Pride, that, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's Moody like, and Pride. Yeah, the, um, <laughs> the right. Mooxd, or the, or the Moo XD, the Mo XD <clears throat> team. Yeah, they're doing work to their other, other counterpart team. Um... Just manages to make his way into the smoke. Going to be able to get rezzed, but he needs to be careful of Pride and Moody. Yeah. Uh, they're trying to shoot from quite, quite a way away. They're in Gatka? Yeah, yeah they're, in, they're in like uh, the Double Red just, just southwest yeah. of Gatka. So, I mean, they, they have vision on it slightly, but uh, it's about 500, 400 meters from, from there. So the smoke helped them out for sure. Circle comes in, though. Oof. We've seen these before. <laughs> that is a wonderful, beautiful circle. Uh, yeah. I have to say, it, it's very nice to see that circle. We have seen these um, at, uh, at quite a few times in many a games across uh, 2019, I think. So, <laughs> well, I mean, we'll see who takes the, the top of Everest because that, that, that'll be the, uh, the top spot. Looks like actually uh, Stab, yep. Stab's already up there as a solo, I think. I think so. He hasn't actually spotted out Rello. Uh, he spotted out a oh. uh, teammate though, but Rello's gonna be coming in uh, on the flank and Stab needs to back off his teammate. Non-existent, non-existent at yeah. all. Profi, he's going to be pushing up on the flank. He, he's the only one that's been spotted, so him and Rello can make some work, but I think Rello's just backing off a tiny bit here. Yeah, it looks like Rello's actually scouting the compound further south, which is technically free, and that is a pretty solid compound, this kind not, of circle. Not for long, it looks like Interrogate's going straight for it, but Frolic is in it, Ooh. finds Interrogate jumping out, and wow. just like that, yeah. Interrogate gets completely sideswiped. Yeah, that was, uh, I mean, sure, you know, just send it, I guess. Uh, <laughs> that, that works. Uh, I'm not sure where they came from, because it, it looks like actually now Root the Place TV and his teammate have taken <laughs> the original spot that they previously had on the antenna hill in the field. So I don't know what happened there. Um, we we kind of missed that. Meanwhile, actually, Moody takes up Panda Gill, as well as Pentalol taking out Shrimzy. I'm good. I'm good. I nearly, okay. I nearly fell oh, my <laughs> off the chair. <laughs> If you wonder what happened, I, I, I looked over to my right and and uh, Tal Talher was was like I was stretching back, stretching back, and, and he just nearly fell, fell off his chair. Oh my lord! <laughs> it's a pretty hard we're, floor as well. So yeah, I was kind no, of no, we're good, we're good. I, I had one of those jump scares for oh. a second. That's like, that's like when you're in school and you lean back on your chair and like someone pulls it back. Like, oh. That's literally what happened. I did it to myself. I was like, oh, this is really good stretch. Yeah, <laughs> just jump forward. Oh. Okay, right, sorry, carry on, <laughs> carry on. Yeah. I didn't mean to uh, make you lose your train of thought. What no, are you saying? Um, yeah, what are you saying? Just, uh, I, th I think uh, Pedzalol went out with his teammate as well, so that's, uh, that's them out. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that uh, the Interrogate just kind of sent it into that compound. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty strange of him um, because, I mean, I think he had, I think he had vision from the uh, antenna, antenna hill as well on that to, onto that compound. But... Um, it looks like actually Stab, so <laughs> if, you, if you look at that, it looks like Relo actually scouted that compound further south, and then they went up the hill and Stab just traded places and went to the compound himself oh, for oh, further south of Everest. Coming in very close to that compound, I think we've learned that you don't rotate near to compounds because there's always going to be people in there. Oh. Give me number one potato. And he jumps out of his vehicle, could he use it as cover, but no, the vehicle says, no, you can't use me as cover. And he treats, he goes down. Tiesta and number one potato get themselves one point. <laughs> Let's see how the car just like roll slowly rolls away like nah mate. Nah. You you're gonna use me? Yeah, how dare you how use me? How dare you use me as as cover? <laughs> that is not nah. Yeah, I mean, nah mate. Yeah. Number one potato though, not really potatoing at all. Really, that was a solid spray to be fair. Pretty controlled spray. I like it. Lamp a lot. Seeing if he can get a refrag, possibly. Mini. Only got eleven bullets. Oh, ripper though. Ripping Lampalot, nearly a new one, it seems. 56 HP. Meanwhile, United pushing up on uh, Orn. Orn. Oh, there. Dark Dreams uh, on the roof. Being spotted out. Taylor Jane Shroom. We've seen them shove a building and take a Oof. compound before, but the nades are coming in. Just need to 
dodge. Yeah, there's a bit of dodgeball at the moment. But they're on the hill, so it kind of rolls, and it kind of rolls straight past them. But look at Dreams. He's actually got such a such a sick spot, but he's being shot oh, by wow. Teddy J now. He has to be careful from Everest as well. Like, you mm -hmm. can see up there, he eats the uh, Profit and Rello. If they come round, they can just see him really easily, and they can start doing work. Yeah, 100%. I mean, bit... Being on that on that um, that roof is is usually good when the when there's no one behind you and you can sort of watch out towards the center of the circle. As we can see, it has a shifted circle three pops, centered just south of Everest. Stab is looking uh, pretty good. Protege on his own as well, looking pretty good in the uh, in the in one of the center compounds there. Looks like United uh, are going to back off. They're going to back off. You know, they don't want to push it. There's no point. They'll 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 wait. Yeah, no, I, as I was saying, Dark Dream's on the roof there. It, it's it's only really good if, um, if there's no behind you. Lobes. Oh, Ooh, dear. Wow. Where are you being tagged up from, Lobes? That's a big headshot from Profi yeah, wow, there. That was a headshot. That's, uh, where is that from? Profi? Where are you? Sir? Oh, that's, 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 that's on top of Everest. Wait. Wow, okay, that's, a, that's an insane headshot. That's about a, a 600 meter headshot down to the compound. Sending the bullets. Sending it. And in fact, he lands another insane shot. Lamplot's down to 50 HP as he's trying to get out of there on the bike. Still tracking him, doing a good job, but they're doing work. And he's going to go straight into Dark Dreams with 50 HP, but Dark Dreams can't connect a single shot at the moment. And Lamplot's going to manage to get out, heal up, and potentially push up Everest. Oh, I mean, I try and do some work. I, I doubt I'll push up Everest. Oh. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, he, I, I would. <laughs> I'm, I'm a man. I mean, yeah, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> Are you a man? Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> no I a man would do that. I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just prone center, but but then I, I get like second uh, place. Pentalol and Cherry Poppin taking that compound just below Everest. Uh, Stab's already in it, so they have to be very careful. Yep. Have to be very, very careful, because Stab, he's, he's camping. We don't like campers. Oh, I mean, in this situation, he's he's uh. They're actually gonna uh, stab. He's tactically positioning himself in this corner. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Pen Pen like he's he's, pe he's he's like jiggle peeking. He knows there's probably someone here. He's jiggle peeking. He's gone into the little uh into the other side he's here. In the building. He hasn't actually gone all the way around. He's he hasn't checked it. I, I I think that they still think there's someone here. They're just scouting out. They don't really know. But they they don't know that he's in his in their actual building. Uh, Pentalos gonna die in a second. Oh, uh, yeah. He goes outside. Oh. <laughs> he, is I that mean, their bike? No, 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 that that is that their bike? That's that's probably Stab's bike because I'm, I'm pretty sure Stab had a bike on Everest and then sent it down to the yeah, compound. Yeah, so they know he's. So this is this is super super risky. Uh, fortunately for Stab, there's no windows around him that can that, that have visual on his corner. So. He, the only thing he can do is just sit here and wait. There we go. And he waits and he turns around oh and Lord. he nearly whiffs it. Oh. But he does get it and the patience pays off. Uh, tags him up a tiny bit. Actually, no, he goes for completely for the flush. Yep. Petalol is out and uh, that's down to Cherry Pop. to try, to try and get this compound all for himself. <coughs> oh, sorry, but I don't think that's going to be possible <coughs> because it's a 1v1. You don't want to make that push. No, there's no point now. They'll just share the compound and just chill. <laughs> Looks like the circle has shifted though. Uh, meanwhile, Camborghini kills himself and his teammate. All right, that's not what you want to do, really, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, no, the circle has shifted. It's gone further west over towards uh, Frolic and Ducks compound, west side of the Everest, just just at the foot of the of the mountain. Profi and Rello still uncontested on top of that, and they're just raining down hellfire. Yeah, uh, they're, honestly, they're, I mean... They're doing so much work. Look at that. Profi gets Wooly down. Pistola time finds number one potato, but his teammate... It doesn't matter if you're getting kills. Your teammate is so far away, getting completely annihilated by the Tomb of Everest, and no one's doing a single thing. Dark Dreams and uh, Tathanator, they, they need to start pushing up and eliminating these two. Try and even... <laughs> just, just give other people a shot, really. Yeah. I, it looks like Profi and Rello are well aware of uh, possible... Um, bogeys in their back, you know. Um, <laughs> possible enemies coming in behind them. So, um, looks like they're looking around. I mean, Macho Bubba Lobes, just uh, scan out Disciple, seeing what he's doing, I think. I mean, I'm not sure they, 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 they sure, sure they know the Disciples, just, just that no. Yeah, there's smokes out there. They know, they know for sure. They know there's someone around there. Looks like he's actually spotted. Very hard angle to hit a headshot from <coughs> Disciples, only showing the tiniest amount of skin. 
And uh, Chubba Bubba's doing his best to switch up the angle. I'm not going to repeat the same angle. I don't know if he spotted out the second player. Uh, in fact, no, there is no second player. Yeah, no, that's that's just Adam behind him uh, yeah. as a solo as well. So um, shouldn't shouldn't cause any issues for Disciple or Chubba Bubba, at least. There we go. Now Dark Dreams uh -huh. and Tazzle, they uh -oh. are pushing. That's a good that's name. A He's big... actually going to bounce oh. towards Dark Dreams, but it's a bit too cooked. If he didn't cook it, that would have been an absolutely nutty nade. That would have been insane. And plus, I mean, Dark Dreams is on low health anyway. Yeah. That would have been an insane nade to uh, to start off this fight and completely Shin. delay them actually. As well. Shin Boy's actually picked up that uh, uh, M uh, M249 and has actually got a 2v1 on that. Plus he's down. So our nutters, second place from last game, they're out in 19th place right now in Dark Dreams. And Ooh, that's a good edge shot. 88 damage. That's Let's go. Tazinator and Dark Dreams. This might give them the chance to actually make the flank and make the push in to try and challenge Profi and Rello. Um, but these are two very good players. And look at that Dark Dreams. He spotted them out. But the circle's doing a bit of damage. Uh oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Lampelot, the solo player. Mystery goes down. Later is... Uh, just further to his east, throwing a nade out. Oh, that nade's big. There we go. Perfectly played by by later. The 75 HP sort of nade pushed him out of the uh, of the tree, and then uh, yeah, just, just just gets the AK kill. Solid stuff. But meanwhile, this this fight is still going on. Obviously, Dark Jim's got a tag on a headshot, which allowed him to push up a bit further because he had to heal. This nade could be good. Yeah, uh, the problem oh. with Throwing nades on Everest. It's, it doesn't matter because later oh, is going to come in and a headshot Tazanator, and that leaves Dark Dreams by himself. Uh -huh. I can say the problem with Everest is that the nades will just bounce and just go off like towards the bottom of the the mountain or the hilltop, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it, it very unpredictable sometimes, and now Dark Dreams is going to hold while Profi and Rello are trying to actually push. But they have to be careful because Pistola Time is right behind them as they're uh, gatekeeping into the circle. Yeah, it looks like uh, Dark Dream is gonna is gonna play play the blue for a bit. He's got he's got some time. He's got one first aid, using it a bit too early, in my honest opinion. But um, you know we'll see how that works out for him. So uh, so actually it's kind of worked out because it looks like Raylo and Profi are not looking anywhere towards him. So this could work out absolutely key to get at least one more point. I mean there's there's still 17, 16 teams alive now, which still isn't in the placement point. So one one point more. Yeah. Could uh, do do wonders. Uh oh, down there, Shin Boy. Oh, dude. never mind. Dude, actually, Dark Dreams gets taken down by Pistol at time, and that gives these <laughs> Rello, f uh, Rello fee guys, uh, Profi and Rello, the the idea that there there is one more person on the hill with them, and the flashbang is going to come up. Is he going to use the flash? No, he's not. No. He's going to peek straight up. Rello spots him out. Goes for the headshot. Lands it. Shin Boy is actually the one to take oh. him out. <laughs> and while Snakers is taking out Adam as well from the other end, and they're doing a lot of work down there. They've got the M249 level three gear. And they just opened up a nice rotation for them to make their way in. In fact, Chubba Bubba's kind of camping in the little building, so he's going to make it a bit hard for them. But nonetheless, they, they, they just need to worry about Rello and Profi up there on, on Everest. Yeah, yeah. The uh, cadets and snakes and, um, and Shinboy. Oh, actually, let's go down. Taylor with the shots there. Solid stuff. But yeah, no, they, um, they, I think they have quite a few kills this game. I'm not sh quite sure. Um, snakes and Shinboy, but it uh, seems like they might have quite a few. They're um they're holding out quite a few players that are coming down and like around and trying to flank around Relo and Profi. They're just kind of picking up the kills around that, which is uh, which is I mean solid work. It's good stuff. Next circle's gonna pop very soon. You can see very uh very limited spaces. Everyone's like in the places where there's either a compound or you've got your ridge at the bottom there where Pride and Moody are or Owen Bear oh. and Jake, and it actually goes towards Moody and Pride side. <laughs> so they just have to be careful between well, actually reap the place and Tanaka. Shouldn't have a line of sight on them. Taylor J gets oh, yeeted no. out of the of the game by <laughs> Rello. Um and Profi and Rello really doing a lot of work. They've only got two kills somehow, but it looks like they've had so much impact on this game by doing damage. Th their ADR mm -hmm. must be through the roof being up here. Oh yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, I, I can't imagine it's it's any. I mean, imagine Profi's ADR has probably run about five hundred this game so far, considering he's only got one kill. Um, Rello obviously tagging up Protege as well. That's just on the on the southern side here. Sharu's j just in between them as well. Obviously, Taylor J's teammate just died. But uh, Profi is none the wiser to his position. 
Don't forget, Protégé has been a solo this entire time. And he's managed to make his way into the points, at least with, um, I think it's two kills. So... Wait, was it? Yeah, it was. Well, uh, sorry? Fairly certain. Uh, Protégé, VZ's teammate. Ah, yes, yeah, of course, yeah. So th they've got themselves the two kills by wiping out the other guys. And then... Uh, True. No, something's up. Just keeping his uh, his gatekeep clear as he starts making his way in. Pride Ooh. and Moody, uh, they get themselves a, a nice nade kill. No and Baron and Jake, and they, that's a team wipe. Wolf uh -oh. spots out. Profi not looking good. Lobes gets a kill on Tanaka with a nade as Frolica finds reap the play. So that's them out of the game. Now teams are falling like flies. We're down to the top nine. Thirteen alive. Wolf just making like a snake, spots out Rello. So you've seen both of the guys from Yeet. And um, it's all about timing here, but you have to be careful because the Shrew is going to be making his way around very soon. And he might actually... Oh, no, no, no. Not spot him because of the angle. No, he's on. Yeah, I don't think he wants to really challenge anything. So, uh, you know, this I, mean, I say that, and then he takes a shot at uh, Relo's head. I mean, if that landed. Yeah, um, well, it wouldn't have done much anyway. But to, to be fair, like, um, it's yeah, it's damaged nonetheless. But I'm not sure why he's kind of caught off. Looks like Profi's hunting now. Profi's on the hunt. Profi, <laughs> Profi smells yeah. the blood. He wants it. Uh, and, he, and, he, and, and he's looking for the other guy. And Shrew, he might just walk straight into Shrew. Unless he's... No, he, it looks like he knows what Shrew, Shrew is. That's quite that Shrew. Solid stuff. Wow. <laughs> Wait, did... Clinical by Profi there. <laughs> Just knows exactly where he is, has no troubles, spots out the player oh, sorry, in the grass. Wolf. Yeah. And that wolf could be in a 1v1 here, but Rello, he's not going to go anywhere that he hasn't been before. He's going to actually follow the same footsteps as Profi. Ooh. He's not going to get shot out. In fact, they're going to make the rotation background. And it's all about the timing for Wolf. When does he take this? I think, uh, honestly, what Wolf needs to do is just wait. Because it looks like Profi and Rello are going to, like, sweep their edge. They're going to sweep their uh, their northeastern edge and just stop any third parties from coming up and around the hill. It looks like uh, Shinboy and Snakers have that exact same idea. So we'll see if they if they clash. Meanwhile, Moody, Pride, pushing into the circle. Got to watch out for Rello, though. He has eyes, I think. Yeah. Profi, meanwhile, they're taking uh, two fights on, on each front here. Rilo looks like he wants to take shots at Pride and Moody. Meanwhile, Profi taking shots at uh, Team Cadets. None hitting. Oh, I'll oh, tell you that, actually. Ta one. Tags up 29, so hits one. I have to, I have to be careful, though, because you're trying to keep everyone at bay to try and make your way into the circle. The next part of the circle for them doesn't have a lot of cover by the looks of it. Unless you go down towards the south here where the trees are, which is exactly where they're going. Well, that leaves Wolf still in that same position. And it looks like Wolf has survived yet another day. But it is going to be Moody, the first one Ooh. to fall in this engagement. And oh. Cherry Poppy comes in from behind and finds uh, Pride as well. So uh, Moody and Pride, <coughs> easy, easy work. And Poppy yeah, finds well. Cherry Poppin. So everyone's a winner there. Uh, well, yeah, no, actually. Profi and Rilo are the, are the real winners there. Huh? Yeah, pretty uh, much. I mean, they've picked up so six kills so far this game. They have, a, a, I mean, quite a few more players to uh, to throw back into the lobby. Wolf, obviously, uh, as we know, pretty close, pretty close. I, I don't think these guys know. I, don't, I, I doubt Rilo or Profi know about Wolf's uh, position. Looks like uh, Rilo's trying to... Trying to just hold off the, f the the flank or the potential third party coming out uh, from from one team possibly, but uh, nothing happening. Dude, so this well. position that Wolf is in is completely like in this dip where mm. they just can't see him. Does, it looks like they have. Oh, no, Profi's just checking it. Yeah, doesn't, doesn't have an idea yet. But Relo, he's all by himself. He might venture a Ooh. bit too close, and he might just do. If he so. loses one v one. Oh, he no, shot too Wolf! fast. No. Just giving away his position, and, and now that's going to be devastating. Yeah. Absolutely devastating, and that that's his oh. opportunity missed. I, I, I don't think it's too bad because... Oh, oh my lord! lord. Sorry? <laughs> he had no idea. I, th I mean, he must have heard him, maybe. But Wolf with the nade right in his face. Like, literally... Uh, uh, blowing open that skull, that cranium, whatever <laughs> you want to call it. Like, <laughs> cooked to perfection. You're going to stand up. Have to be careful for, uh, from Profi. 
who's standing by the other tree. Wow. But that's okay, mate. You've, you've done your work, and you might be able to get a second one if you're just patient, because that's a long way for Profi to run. But the smoke is going to work. It's going to help out. What on earth is going on with that ridgeline? Uh, it's just uh, <laughs> just PUBG things. Um, I mean, Profi has one molly. That could potentially flush out Wolf if he uses it correctly. Smoke's going out. That's his last one there, Wolf. So um, we'll see We'll see how, how he uses these. There's lots of smoke uh, towards Relo Profi as well. And he's actually using this opportunity to kind of flank back around and go towards Snaker, uh, Snakers and... Uh, uh, I can't say Shin Boy, sorry. I like, oh, can't, <laughs> can't read anymore. Um, Shin Boy, but you have to be careful because Shin Boy does have... I don't know if he's still got it. There's yep. no way he's got the, the M249. Yeah, it's still there. But the... the Thing is, is with these guys, they're gonna be expecting some sort of rotate coming out from behind them. They know there were play players there. Not too sure if Snake has just saw uh, Wolf on the corner of his screen either. I, I highly doubt it. Definitely I mean, not I think I think snaking. he's just. I think what he's doing is just expecting some kind of uh, flank or some kind of solo flank or whatever to to happen. The the obviously the asterisk comes in phase nine. Circle is going to yeah. shrink right now, so we'll see. Now, the problem here is if you're Frolicker and Dark, uh, you're yeah. not in the best position for this. In fact, everyone else is just leaving. What? They're, oh. they're leaving the compound. The Frolicker and Dark might actually have a chance here to get out of the compound and get up on the hill. And Wolfie's going to go for round number two, oh. and it works in his favor this time. He doesn't wait. Oh, he doesn't go so early. He waits for the perfect time, and they line straight up for him. Snakers and Shinboy completely out. Easy pickings. And Wolf, welcome to the top three. Wow, 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 wow. That was, I mean, perfectly timed. I just guess the shots of the Profi. <laughs> Profi returns with a headshot of his own. That uh, puts the I was going to say, Frolica and... Uh... Yeah, this is perfect timing for Frolica. There we go, Relo gets a kill. So it's uh, a 2v2, top two. Seven kills on Yeet. I don't think, I mean, four kills on, on Booty Clappers, though. So not too bad, actually. And look at this. Uh, Profi and Relo, they're completely dispersed, split up. Going in different directions, trying to avoid the nades. Duck does spot out Profi, but it's Rello that is the man that is missing pretty much. They, Frolic has no idea where he is. And Frolic has actually got banks up center at the moment. He's yep. got center and he's got he's got it on a ridge line. Spots out Profi, goes for the spray, gets oh, him down very solid. low with a bit of help. And now it's down to Rello. Rello goes for the spray, finds the head of Duck, goes for oh. a second spray, but it's going to be Frolicker that comes out on top. It is the booty clappers. They have found the booties of Rello and Profi, <laughs> and they have just completely clapped them. I love that, that logo there. Completely clapped them. And is that, is that, um, what's his name? That's, that's, um, Shreddy, sh uh, Frosty's guy. Fr Frosty yeah, the yeah. Tiger. That's They're his, great. That's his booty. Anyway. But, uh, this yeah, solid stuff. I mean, uh, six, <laughs> six kills, though. Six kills. I, I didn't think they'd, they'd have that many kills from, from that compound since, I mean, there wasn't that many teams coming from over the field. Usually, what you see is in that compound, if teams come over over, over the field towards their west, mm -hmm. like down, you know, from the Antenna Hill, yeah. they'll they'll all come down and the, the, the two guys in the compound just have free reign to shoot anyone they were like. But it didn't happen this game for some reason. Yeah, I, I was surprised there because... I think Wolf really played a big impact there by getting rid of that duo yeah. as well. Because Frolica, look, they've been in this compound since they were 25 teams, since 10 minutes into yeah, the game. Yeah. They've been here and they haven't moved. And, and like, especially when the circle, the last circle, is, isn't coming towards you in that building, you've got that ridge line that you need to climb over. And there will always be a team camping that. Like, it's just yeah, such yeah. a hard. Uh, obstacle trying to overcome in that situation but because the team left it Wolf picked up a 1v2 and then it just opened up a gap for Frolica and uh, and his teammate to kind of use and abuse and they did it perfectly mm -hmm. and uh, Frolica went straight to the center oh right yeah there. I mean that's, that's smart I, I think the I mean the center was kind of on their ridge on their compound ridge so it wasn't it wasn't too hard for him to take a that nade just perfectly I, I, I have a feeling he must have heard him heard the footsteps and just like perfectly oh. Wow. Pinpoint need accuracy. Yeah, AK-47. Uh, the, 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 the refract. Oh, oh, my oh. God, that was... He only tagged him once, though, as well. Yeah. Frolicker. So, um, yeah, it's just solid work from, how, how, how from Fro and the boys. How you do the work. That is um, game number two. 
Him number two is going. I'm, I'm going to try and uh, guzzle some salt and water to try and sort my throat out because <laughs> I'm trying to press the push, to, uh, the, 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 the cough as fast as I can, but sometimes it's just a bit too much. So I do apologize. Um, this week's not like it. It's a bit too, a bit too cold. That's but um, nonetheless, we have a few more games remaining. Uh, three, if I'm right. Quick right. math. Yeah. I am right. Super quick math. So guess what? Don't go anywhere because you've got one more game straight after this break. So, are you united with, uh, with that last game win there? Pretty solid stuff. Um, no, it wasn't united, sorry. I'm, I'm lying. That was Booty the first, clappers. That was the first, uh, first game. Booty Clappers, Frolicker, and, uh, and Friends. Duck with, uh, with that last game. Sorry, I, I got mixed up. It is um, quite late. I'll give you that one. It's fair. Yeah, but still, um, nonetheless, Booty Clappers, solid game there. Six kills. They clapped. Yeah, they, they absolutely clapped. They clapped. In the end, anyway. I mean, they, mm -hmm. I mean, they clapped in Turkey when he sent it into that corner. <laughs> that was... Uh, Interesting. Woo. Yeah, that was... Uh, Embracing his inner pride from game one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah he thought, pride <laughs> did it, I'll do it next game. Yeah, solid. Um, NA struts. Yeah, exactly. But uh, no, it, it was it was a solid game, though. Um, obviously, Wolf with that two-piece as well. Mm. Pretty nuts. Um, uh, I mean, they didn't know that he was there, so I mean... Uh, it's still, still, I mean, that's the thing I like about Juros is that you can sort of set up those ambushes yep. when you are a snake. And like, if it's a 1v4 in squads and you set up the ambush, it doesn't really do much. No, you yeah. You get one, yeah. you get two, and then you just die. Yeah, exactly. Right. You I can mean, get yeah. a squad wipe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but with, yeah, with, with duels, you, you, you can get a full team wipe, mm. right? Instead of, of with squads, obviously, you said like uh, just getting two and then you just die and then you get the res and it's like nothing, nothing yeah, comes of it. Out of it. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But I, I, I really felt like. The fact that I think I think it was Snakers, you know, the cadets moved away from mm -hmm. the, the sort of the northern edge, where they were uh, sort of preventing Booty Clappers from moving out. Yeah, yeah. But there we go. The scoreboard from the last game. Obviously, Booty Clappers up on top with uh, with their 16 points. Relofi, Relo and Profi, the guys uh, on the mountain, king of the hill, with 13 points. Um, cadets, obviously, um, the guys that got taken out by uh, by Mr. Wolf there. Meanwhile, M Wolf and uh, teammate one in the, one in the one in the good head heady one brother. One in the two good heady. One in the two good heady brother. I have no uh, idea what it means. No, nah, no clue. But I like their logo. Uh, they're in number seventh place, so they didn't get too much from that. But still, it's a it's a it's a salvage game, points right? Points to points. Yeah, exactly. Um, can't, can't complain. Yeah, exactly. Uh, overall leaderboard though, E United. Uh, no, actually, uh, that's the overall leaderboard for today. It's, yeah. T yeah. T t today, it's, so it's two games, and e United are on top. Obviously, uh, doing pretty well. Um, well, doing decent well on that last game. Um, it's been unfortunate. Stabber moved down the hill, that's and then right. it ended up being the, the position like that was the power position. Yeah, exactly, uh, exactly. It was a bit unfortunate. It probably could have turned into it maybe thirty after the first two games if it stayed up there. Yeah, yeah Although possibly. it would have been very difficult to hold on his own. Yeah, 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 exactly. Especially with um, Relo and Profi pushing up towards him. Are we anyway, we're in already. Third game of the day, Wingman, season eight, and uh, yeah, I mean the. Plane path, pretty, pretty. It's rather nice. It's, it's like directly south to north. That's actually really, really weird. It's I really wanted to go far west, just because I don't believe your <laughs> little theory about. Do you not? Like, no, I, I'm sure I've I, seen it. Every, move every. Away. No, okay. Like some, some people. We can have, have another have, far west here. Some people have proved me slightly wrong, where it's like 250 yeah, it's, meters yeah, close, out yeah. of the of the thing. I'm like, okay, fine, but, all it, right. But literally, every single circle, I, I've, I've, ever since I realized this, I've been looking at circles. Every mm. like PL, you know, everything I watch. I, I look at it and I think, oh, that's that's touching this line again every time. But the first circle is like five kilometers wide, isn't it? So it's like four point five, I think, something like that, or five. I, it's, it's some, yeah, between uh, the around two. that, yeah. So it, it does take up quite a lot of the map. So statistically, it yeah. is very likely to be but touching. But like, the line. if it if it's a direct south, like a super south between yeah, Sosnovka and Maine, then, then you get Millie. Then it's I do e see that. I'll yeah. agree with that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so. I don't agree with people often, but I'll agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that headshot! Wait. That wasn't a. I mean, he, he no just helmet. landed. Yeah, yeah he, he, had. he had no helmet, but that was just that was just a bit too far to get the knock there. I think it's uh, like That's five five six can do it at range, but the seven six two on an AK like it dies off really quickly for some reason. It's quite a 
I mean, I'm, the AK I'm, is supposed I'm to be like fifty percent sure. SMG, fifty percent AR, and sort of the way you play it. But I like, guess, an M16 but I mean, there still, does, still the damage. Like, yeah, it did like ninety-seven. I think it did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. I mean, that's still you know. Oh, dude, this still again? Tasty. I don't this, know why. The same. It's not even a good compound. No. <laughs> why? They, they just really want it. So in career already down. I think he he's always the first one to go down. Unfortunately, not, not to call you out. I think. I mean, well, he's got no gun anyway. Yeah, so. he's got down first in every fight. <laughs> oh, actually, no, he's got naked. A little bit rough. Yeah, he's, he's had a rough time. Oh, I'm what? the beast. Has been the beast in all the fights so far. I think he's got three kills in the first two. Oh, this play. <laughs> he just like zoomed around the corner, went prone. He's ready I for like it. it. Interesting stuff. But uh, so, sort of that. I don't think anyone has med. Well, there's a little bit inside, but there's not really any opportunity for VZZ. He doesn't have anything, so he has to try no. and get inside. If B says this, maybe he can get up and get a shot in. No, he's just going to get away for now. I mean, they should know he's there. The res hasn't come in, but they, obviously they don't know that. Uh, the res could have come in by now, so they, they have to be really careful that potentially there could be a second player hiding somewhere. Obviously, we know that Inquiry is still down and uh, Beast has given up on him. He's going for it now, actually, but yeah, it might be a little bit too late. Yeah, I mean, I think they would have heard the footstep and realized that, like, he, he starts sprinting and then instantly stopped. That's when you kind of realize yeah. that, that they're rezzing and you think, ah, okay. But they don't do anything to it. They don't, you know, get anything from it. But, uh, can still you get on the roof of this house? I think you can, right? Uh, if you jump in, like, some sort of... Yeah, it's, Ooh. like, really awkward, yeah. That was wow. a nice little knock. <laughs> yeah. The UMP as well. It gets oh. the second one. Okay. Oh, it was VZ. It was VZ. Yeah. Can't oh, yeah, it. okay. Yeah, so, so VZ got the flank with the M4. Mm. And uh, they win it out. You know, two, I thought two that was going to be a UMP doing something good for the first time in, like, a year and a half. I mean, he... He, he, he got one kill. Yeah, yeah. He knocked I'll the first that. guy. So, um, the point forty-five to. UMP coming in hot. Back on the 9 mil days, the UMP, I used oh. to run that. Same? That was my gun. 2017 Haze. Mm. That was... The good, uh, the good Haze. Watch out. <laughs> yeah. Scoon better watch out for mm. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, probably better watch out for Cherry Poppin because he's just uh, he's just got a big old knock. Um, he has no heels though, so he's got no heels. Second, what, what nice price this? teammate. Oh, he's all the way to the west. Uh, he's sneaking in behind him. That might actually be really good. Oh yeah. For Midi, yeah, he's uh, picked some shots down. Now. He's getting him tagged up, but the smoke is perfect, keeping him protected for now. Uh, but he doesn't have any heels, so a couple of tags will put him down. Yeah. There's not really anything Pentalog can do, but Pentalog's position, I think, is preventing Moody from from being any more aggressive than he is. 100%. That's, the, that's some perfect cover from, from Penta there. I think that was the, actually the... I think it was Pride that got the, the Insta he headshot onto Penta as he went into the building. So now mm. they've, uh, they've come in and they've, they've turned revenge. it right around. In I mean, the circle's directly center. So on, on them, sorry. Uh, in, in, on, on Penta and Cherry Poppin. So, yeah, I mean, they're, you know, they've got to keep their spot for sure. There's no, no reason to move. I really like these circles. It's like around the farm area, or even if it shifts east around a prison, like they're my two favorite circles in Oringo. Because uh, there's so much opportunity to to play sort of a little bit more aggressively in this sort of area of the map, particularly mm. if, if it goes further east here. Whereas like Gakker area, you sort of get stuck. You know, there's so much open area that you can't really do much. But here there's, you know, the farm's quite big on itself and there's ridges, there's hills that you can sort of sneak up on, sneak around. So I, I'm... I'm Quite hoping it goes central. Or it maybe even give us a milter. I haven't seen a milter in ages. Or it could just shift military. Yeah, just to just to annoy everyone. <laughs> just to just to send everyone over the edge and tilt them off. I, I the would earth. actually be surprised if Zenith just stays late. Especially if yeah, they yeah. You know, just get this crate, get really stacked on the south side. There is there is a, a pretty high percentage chance that it goes there. So Yeah, I mean it's 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 in the realm of realm of possibilities, that's for sure. Meanwhile, EU, EU, I mean, the, the other half of e United coming in to, uh, to this compound here. Looks like they're going to just set up shop. Stab, take yeah, a little damage. their car. I think the, the car is very open to being shot out. I actually, I, I, think, I think if they put it around the corner, it's yeah, even it's more open just because the angle they have, the uh, angle that uh, Pandagon and Shrimsy have into. Yeah, you can so tuck it by the door. Ah, yeah, okay. Here. So it should be okay there. Uh, I was going to say, if they park it sort of next to the stairs, mm. and that's the issue. But with these sort of circles, it's really important to keep your cars up, particularly in the first three. Oh, yeah. Um, so they, they need to make sure it's protected, but obviously they did that. Huh? Moody, got, he did get a knock on Torello in the end. It's a different team that's pulled up near him, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. it looks like um, they've moved into sort of, I, well, I guess, further northeast. of um, baby farm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that, that's, the, that's the, the garage, I think. Uh, just yeah, Torello got knocked in the garage, yeah. So, uh, meanwhile, Lazarus, Luke 12 and Civils, taking a lot of shots at Dark Dreams in uh, Tez Tezanator. They're getting pulled up by Wildcard oh. as well, coming up behind, trying to steal the kill. And actually, Dark Dreams gets Adam down, but what? Kickstart trades it back. 
Can Luke 12 punish that? I think uh, they're just on a little ridge, so the Reds should be able to come in, and I think Wildcard will be okay in the end. But yep. I like that aggression, but it, it almost cost them. Yeah, that was that was an interesting sort of pull up there. I'm not I, I'm not sure, entirely sure if they knew that they were there. I mean, they must have known that they were there to actually pull up that that uh, that fast. So yes, solid work from uh, from kick uh, from wildcard there. As a, a free point. I mean, it, it yeah. almost wasn't a free point, but they pulled off in the end. So. Yeah, exactly. Is the Zenith are actually coming across? We see them coming across on the west bridge, but uh, wildcard are in a really tough spot here. Actually, I don't think they're going to get Luke. out very easily. Yeah, Luke, Luke's found an angle. Meanwhile, pack ups. Envy, oh, actually gets uh, gets knocked by Protégé there. Looks like he might push in and try and get the flush, yeah, because, I mean, Interrogate is, is nowhere, nowhere near. near. He is uh, all the way over south side. I wonder if they, they must have just not finished looting, because uh, you really just yeah. need, to, you need to doom stack in duos. You know, just, just stick together, because then that's the opportunity for the refrags. I, I feel like here, yeah, Interrogate needs to just pull off. Yeah, 100%. Uh, it's a super risky fight to take. Oh, that, yeah. oh. It's one of the players that can easily pull it off. He does have Molotovs, my favorite grenade. Uh -huh. If he lobs two of them in that thing, it will actually spread to the second room and kill them both. So, go on. Now he's back. Ooh, it. Do it. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that they're, I mean, they were still looting it. Uh, if they were still looting, mm. I'm surprised that they were at oh, they this were just point in the split. game. Yeah. But yeah, now he's way. getting pinned from the other side. And uh. It just goes down. Sharpshot takes him out. And that's MV down. That's yeah, Space Storm coming around the backside. Pushes up. They realize that there's a fight going on. They want they want part of it, and uh, they also want a good spot in the circle too. So, solid stuff. A super lucky friend. I, I, yeah. I think they must have just. Uh, you know, I think they were in the process of grouping up when Proto J and uh, his teammate pulled up on the uh, on the red house. Wildcard now have pulled up once again onto another team. Kickstart. Uh, no, I didn't get tagged, but <laughs> lobbing a flashback just to try and distract. But they're running away and. I, I think this will turn into a little bit of a stalemate thanks to that protection from the south, uh, from the north rather. It, it really limits how much you can push each other's houses. So I imagine we're not going to see much for now, but the circle might force a bit of action here. So it is about to shift. Yeah, we'll see where it goes. Yeah, it's in about uh, I don't I don't know how 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 long, but uh, yeah, I mean, eh, on, you're east. saying it's going to go give me, east. Give me, give me an east. Uh, uh, directly sort of centre. It's in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's so yeah, hard shift northeast twice, obviously. <laughs> obviously, um, cent center circle, pretty, pretty, pretty fair circle for everyone. Everyone that was center is now still center, so nothing changes essentially. Like n nothing changes. Uh, Although I think we will see quite a few teams try and send it into farm because mm. it's so difficult to s to hold a part of farm with two, and yeah, it's difficult to hold it with four. So. Uh, halving your your gun power it just means that people can pull oh. up on it much easier. Yeah, <laughs> that exactly. was a perfect time. Jump as <laughs> the nade goes in as he jumps out the window. It's like a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> bad bad asses don't don't look at explosions really. They just jump out of windows. Um, uh, Rello is actually in a really good position to protect his teammate here. If they, if they try and make a, a bit of a flank around the south side of this hill, then they're gonna get taken out by him if he can get up on top of that building. Uh, and Profi can protect the north, but he's actually getting shot from the east, and he gets taken oh. down. Disciple puts puts him down in two shots. Profi shots the SLR, insta flushes. Wow, that's a big old headshot with a body shot there. Just uh, SLR, so brutal. Beefy. Relo gets tagged up as well by uh, by Cherry Pup and all Penta. Not quite sure. Me, well, actually, wait, what? Right, score goes down. Right? That, yeah, it must have blown up the car, right? Uh, yeah, it has mm. to be. Actually, one of, I mean, there was a knock there as well. So yeah, was, but there, there was, was only there was only one for each name. So both of them died. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So it was like in, it's the kills, yeah. So it must sense. have been a car. So Space Storm picking up another two kills, in fact. And Moody nabs another one onto Nutters. What is happening here? <laughs> Fights everywhere. Yeah, it's just yeah. stuff popping off. We have an Uzi here, Ripper. I think it's very underrated, dude. It's it's a solid gun, especially with the with the red dot attachment. Mm. Obviously, now he's only a solo. He's uh, he's got down Roth, looking for the next one in Kendo. There's a lot of early gunfights going on. So much more than the last circle we had. Yeah. Uh, the last game, rather. Adam already taking down Guga Gaga, putting them out as well. Uh, not as down to one. Uh, the, oh. He's going to do it, surely. Come on, Uzi. He's got this My nine gun. bullets. He hasn't got an extended mag either on this one. So that's rough. The oh, pre fire comes it? in. Never Woo! in doubt. He's, yeah, that's. I believe in the SMGs. They really are nutters. That's insane. We've seen a lot of SMGs already this game. UMP. Yeah. We just need a vector now. <laughs> Someone whip out the vector. <laughs> right, th this isn't even the SMG patch either. It's not even the uh, the oh, SMG. Oh, no, it, no, it is. It is. It, it, it is. is online, yeah, that's it? right. It's live stuff. Sorry, I lied. Ignore me. Carry on, Saint. Trying to scam us. <laughs> scam. 
<laughs> Tanaka goes down to the lobes, right? See, the Reaper and uh, Tanaka on the lobes know it's going to go northeast, like me. <laughs> no, all the way up to okay. Lombia, but there's a bit of a gunfight going, but Reaps just ran off, just left Tanaka to die. See it later. Yeah, Pistola and, and Woolly here might actually get ambushed a little bit. I think Lobes and Chubb have spotted them. Uh, they are in a position where you tend to pull up if you're coming in through here, unless you try and wrap all the way around and come into Milter. So you have to be a little bit careful, but it looks like they're going to go wide. Ah, uh, yeah. Smart smart choice. I mean, you kind of assume there's going to be a team playing. Yeah. I assume there's going to be a team playing from the Milter Tower side, because it's, I mean, it's usually pretty clear on these kind of circles. Um, so if you can get into Milter, you're in a pretty decent position yeah, in the circle. So exactly, and that, I think that's their plan all along, really. Spam coming out from Chobaba, literally not hitting a thing, which yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just trying to pressure or not. He's I got 200 even, bullets. He I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I say pressure. It's not even pressure. Like they're just like, oh, it's just I a mean, guy shooting. If you can get, ooh, hello. Oh, that's the, the, this isn't even four shift. All right, straight away from water instantly, all the way up north. Wildcard Gaming. Laughing all the way to uh, to a top top spot, it seems like kickstart. You know that the new circle pulling thing. I can't remember what it's called. Oh this yeah, the uh, that's the what. I, well, I was going to say iPad, but yeah, <laughs> they're it, not it, using it, iPads. Yeah. <laughs> the good old iPads. <laughs> oh god. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. They just they just press the button. Kickstart comes over. Yoinked it from Iro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's enough. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Frolica and Duck actually coming in the north side. That's, it, I, I'm guessing they came from prison. I didn't quite see where they were previously, but it looks like they're going to come in the north side. I think Obviously, they just came in from the, the blue, actually. Maybe. It could be right. I was thinking they, they might have just come in from prison and sort of wrapped around around the north side and come in towards mm. um, towards that warehouse there. Meanwhile, I, I'm quite curious to see if, if we do get a... Oh, meanwhile, this fight goes down. Oh, really, it gets the fun. He gets both of them, actually. <laughs> Shooting the bodies. <laughs> yes. I love it. Shoot him! Get, oh, there's a vector there. Pick it up. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Do it. We need like every SMG you need to kill this game. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has to have a Tommy gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thankfully, not in crates yeah. anymore. But That's it, good. <laughs> I want to see like if there's a solo, just send it inside the shelter. Because, yeah. I mean, it works in in squads. Why doesn't? Why can't it work in duos? I mean, yeah, uh, get a couple of placement points out of it at least. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I mean, even even this compound just opposite Taylor J. Mm. Uh, uh, over over the side. Yeah, free. just just south of shelter. I'm, I there's not. I, I'm. Why is it free? Why? Uh, it, well, how is it you, free? You quite often see places that people are so sure someone else yeah. will be there that they don't check it. They don't even scout. Yeah, yeah. They're, just, they're just like, yeah, they're just like, yeah someone's going to be there. Yeah. Uh, that is one of those compounds. Where yeah, it's like true. Someone will be there. But if everyone thinks someone will be there, then no one's there. <laughs> just, just like mind games. <laughs> so like, imagine <laughs> if everyone just assumed everywhere was taken, so just didn't go in the circle. <laughs> it just, just all died. the circle just dies in the blue. <laughs> <laughs> Game ends and like the the last person to die to the blue because he found an extra bandage is, is <laughs> wins. Nice. That's 2017. Yeah. <laughs> Back again. Yeah, exactly. all, all we need is hiding in water. Games comes right. But yeah, taste it. Proper OG. What's up? This, this is a rough spot. Oh, he's run out of bullets. No. no. <laughs> That's awkward. Taker comes in for the refragger, puts him low, puts him one shot. He does have a nade, but I think he's forgot. Well, use it. There you go. He's going to pull it out, and yes. surely this is going to be a kill. It's got to be. That's, that's, that's going to be a solid. Oh, oh. It's, too, it's too short. He's going to be able to. No, he's not medding. He's not medding. So one bullet will do it for Potato, but one headshot will do it Oof. the other way. Potato gets both. Latter and Mystery go down. A two for one trade. Probably worth it in the end. But, yeah. Uh, he did lose Taster, so could be worse, could be better. Yeah, solid uh, 1v2. Looks like uh, Space Storm. Him. Yeah, he's got some friends coming in behind Space Storm. Puppy looking friend. to uh, looking to pick up the extra kill there. And William Pistola, finally one of the teams sending it into shelter. I'm surprised it's been so empty so far, but all these south teams now need to sort of congest around that compound that for some reason is free and uh, sort of onto the hills because no one's gone towards that shelter area. 100%. And Taylor's actually switching sides. Oh, wow, okay. That's <laughs> easy for sharp shot. <laughs> See you later. Number potato, more like number number two potato, I guess. Well, we've that. seen Taylor J switch to that other compound that we were talking about on the eastern side of the road because the circle is on the majority oh. on the eastern side, as we see here. So he's sort of setting up for the next circles because yep. it, it, statistically it's unlikely to go west. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it, Like, this is the game of chance, essentially, and you're just playing the, the odds. So um, solid stuff from Taylor. Well, Spots out. Mark, he's he's the only odds. only uh, player that actually scouts on that compound, it seems. <laughs> so he gets that one. He was probably just sitting on the west. Just yeah. like, surely someone's going to pull up. Surely. Like, there's, no, there's no way there's, there's no one there. 
That's, he, he's gone for the 1-0 split. But yeah. Somehow it's working. Oh. Nice tag. They couldn't yeah. get a knock there, but uh, the fact that they're sort of stuck in this tower, is, mm. it's a nice little position in the circle, but if it does shift away and a team comes up above them, I, I, I really don't like being stuck in that tower, but uh -oh. nice knock from Pamigo. Gets the insta flush as well into positivity. So there's one player left now. Shrimsy's miles away there, and Stab's been able to get inside. Solid nade. Oh, oh, actually, that. Wait. St Stab? Uh, sorry, wait. mate. Um, mm. Yeah, that's. Uh, that's Stab, not, you don't, that's you not, don't get points for that. That's not really advised, yeah. mate. You don't no, get I'm not going to lie. I mean, it boosts your ADR, sure, but uh, points, matters, no. Though, to be fair. <laughs> ADR is all that matters. Yeah. So it's the only stat that matters. <laughs> true. 100% true. Mm. Right, chat? Yeah, chat. Of course. Chat knows. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, it looks like Shinboy and Snake is trying to find a spot. Or it looks like he's actually picking up his teammate. I think I think his teammate got caught out. He, 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 the Shaqui was there previously. Looks like he's picked him up. They're going to go straight towards Shelter. There is now currently two teams already there. Is Chubba going to strike? Uh, he spotted D-Cheats as well. So I think he should know that this knock is basically free if he can get him down. But D-Cheats turning around, might, he might have left it too long. I think he's going to open the spray now. He gets yeah. Get some tags Solid. in. Lamplot goes down. Is he going to go for the insta flush? I think he is. No, he's actually looking for the second kill. Gets some tags in. Puts D cheats low. I'm surprised he's not just flushing Lamplot. He's actually going to send it. The lobes up above is, is going to help out. It's, it's a really nice split, actually. They've got so much control oh, wow. over D cheats position. Lobes lands one more. One bullet will do it. But he like just about gets to the rock. You've got to take time with those shots, I feel. Um, Especially with an SLR. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it wasn't that far, but. In the same sense, you, you know, if he's running, you need one more shot, and that's it. But uh, Lamplot flushes out. Flushed out, sorry. Dietrich. There oh, we there go. we go. That's that's what he was looking for on, the first Lobes. time. There we go. So Bit of Lobes. patience. Yeah, exactly. Lobes. He's key. Down. He hit him in the Dietrich. Lobes, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong. You're where's, not wrong. How's, where's Pandagol died? Oh, with Rello. Yeah, so Rello's on his own down the south, taking down Pandagol. So now, you know, 1v1 versus Shrimsy, I think. Possibly. Yes, so what, it looks like Rello and... Uh, I think they're sharing. They're sharing yeah, the wizard, yeah, they're essentially they? just sharing the compound. Disciple and Wolf have eyes on it. Three wizards. Reap the, <laughs> Reap the play is coming in behind them, though. We'll see what he does. Maybe maybe if uh, Wolf and Disciple start taking some shots. I expect he'll probably try and get him first, just so yeah. he can heal, and then try and strike. He's so close to them that he oh, can he's probably... <laughs> Oh, I okay. said how it was statistically unlikely to go west. It's gone west. Yeah, I mean, um, he's still in the circle, so technically. Reap, Reap gets one. Can he get the 1v2 in? Oh. Disciple's full HP, though. He, he decided to do it before he got into the zone. Is he going to go for the flush? No, he's nah. not. Disciple gets him down, and Reap's going to get nothing out of it. I, I was kind of hoping that he... I mean, I presume he was probably spotted in the blue, but... Yeah, really, the hope for him there is to get into the circle. Reddo finally goes down. But if he could have got in and healed, then I, I would, it would actually make him favourite for that gunfight. But where's Lobes? Loads is off. Well, he's taken him down somewhere. Yeah, oh, that's that's, 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 that's on the northeast side. Shelter, was. yeah, yeah. So uh, there's, I mean, there's, there's there's a whole lot of teams on the on the shelter side. You've also got Jake and uh, Owen Bear further towards the northwest. Take us off back to his old compound. <laughs> yeah, take us. I'll just take this again. He's, One he's zero like, split he's, really yeah, is working just, well. Yeah, exactly. He's, he's just like. He's just chilling, you know. He's Sitting just like <laughs> just swapping between compounds. Oh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll take this one now. I'll take that one. Oh no, I'll, I'll, I'll go My back compound. to that one. It's just so many free compounds. Watch this go east now. Oh, don't, don't it you, will. Don't, I, I, I feel so bad for Taylor. Well, it, 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 will, it will shift to shelter, hundred percent. Feels bad, man. Just to annoy him. <laughs> <laughs> but somehow the shack's free, and he'll just drive for the shack. It'll be fine. Yeah, exactly. That's or like works. one team will vacate part of shelter and he'll just go, yeah, I love it. Yeah, go on then. Every team will die in shelter and he'll just take shelter <laughs> just and then win the game from that. Yeah. If he gets zero kills, everyone just sort of runs away. Yeah, exactly. But uh, meanwhile, Cam Magini in uh, vis uh, evasion, sorry, um, take some shots at Pandagol and Co. up on the, up on the western Pandagol? side. Do we know? Is I have Mikko? no I've idea. No I kind of think it's Mikkel just because of the name. I mean, I wouldn't want to assume, but... Is, is it Mikko name? Yeah, it's uh, me, possibly. I don't know. Anyway, I mean, they're, well, possible Mikko. <laughs> well, they're off. They're, they've, they've Panda left. Girl takes down Wolf. If, but uh, yeah, they, they've actually gone down anyway. I, I think, think Evasion um, uh, got uh, yeah. Shimsy down and Disciple got the kill onto Panda Girl as well. So they, they were down in uh, in short shift. Yeah, that was that was pretty, that was pretty uh, quick, quickly dealt with. Uh, Jake, you know, they're down underground, aren't they? I think, or are they on the ridge? I can't tell. But there's so many teams in Chelsea. Yeah, they, oh, here oh, we go. Sonics are downstairs. Yeah, yeah Sonics are downstairs. Um, and uh, as we do flying through, <coughs> yeah, is Owen, I think That's Owen's outside on the ridge actually. <laughs> but 
And that's a what? We're all over the place. Everyone, everyone's downstairs. Wildcard, yeah. Sonics. We've got booty clappers as well. They all, they all want to share. Sharing is caring. So. Yeah, you know, it's just just share. I mean, as you know, as soon as they see each other, they're going to be pretty angry. Shots will shots will be exchanged. I can guarantee that. Give a little wave. Just just walk around the corner. Friendly. <laughs> Uh, oh, Frolicker <laughs> wins it on on the health battle. Yeah, but no but, one got uh, to knock it. He yeah. might actually be able to get the sort of the push, I mean, he here. can push this for sure. I, I feel like he could. Oh, 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 well, I mean, he could, but he he could, but he won't. <laughs> yeah, no, he just dies. <laughs> but I think because uh, we were on the the split screens, we didn't see. But Adam actually got oh, ducked down. So that's... Adam was shooting at his teammate, got him down, and Frolicker went for the re. Uh, wow. Probably scared that Adam was going to push. Yeah. Uh, after he healed, so went for the fight instead. But Adam's little ambush there works perfectly. Gets the one v two in. Solid stuff. I didn't expect that at all. I mean, the push and throw should have worked out, I feel, but just didn't quite hit that like, that, that one bullet that he needed. Yeah, Adam found that sort of the weird angle through the box. Yeah, I mean, it was, it was it was the right peak as yeah. well that kind of got it. As, yeah, because, I mean, Fro was on a left peak. Mm. He was uh, Adam was on a right peak, so it's kind of a, a, a win there. Uh, IMO. Um, free dub. Yeah, is exactly. That, that is a norm. I do love to see an norm. Ooh, oh, yeah. TG oh, yeah. River. Oh, he's in a bit of a rough spot here, but can oh, he land yeah. that? If he can land that shot, the sharp shot, it's uh, going to save him. But no, he goes no. down. Sharp shot, lands a double headshot with the SLR, puts him in the ground. No more on for you. Nah, that's a shame. It's gone, it's gone it, to waste. Is that another one? In the oh, oh, here we go. Adam. Oh, we'll see, see you later. later. <laughs> <laughs> but Jake actually got taken down by cadets. Uh, I'm not sure where. Oh, yeah. From, oh, it's slightly from the south, from the actual shelter area. I wonder if they're going to push on this. Yes, they do. The Sonics duo might actually... I think they're on the ground. The circle, the circle is shifting as well. So, I mean, they've got to make a move. Looks this like second aid might be perfect. Yeah, this nade could be good. <gasps> oh, it's just too high. Sure. Did, did, did that tag? I'm not sure. I, I think he think tagged him for like 5 HP. Yeah, but possibly. But Owen, might as well be nothing. Owen Bear's got to do something. He's uh, he's stuck between, I mean, what? A rock at a blue place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a, uh, what? A train of blue place. So, um... We'll see, we'll see what he does. Obviously, Jake's oh, flushed but out. This is perfect. Shinboy Ooh. goes down for cadets, and now Owen can push Cambagini with a lovely little shot by the M24. And they're being forced into the the shack here and, and almost oh, are actually pushing on this. Aphasia gets a little tag through the smoke as well. Tr Trouble, but getting needed here. There's a Vector. Yes. Ah, oh, the on. Vector comes out. Do it. Spraying Vector M16. That is like... That's, th that is... We're seeing a lot of old Vector. Yeah, exactly. Today. Vectors, M16s, UMPs. Ah. Oh. The eight times M16 in the good old oh. days, eh? And Atex AK, that was tasty. Oh, I've done it with that one. I, I loved it. <laughs> I've done really it with that one, mate. Not it was like lie. a sniper rifle. Okay, it was great. okay. I mean, fair enough, you know. It was good. You do, you boo. Um, but uh, yeah, Woolly's obviously gone down to the blue. He was not. Um, Pistola Time also. Was he not by the blue? The blue? I, I mean, yeah. yeah, he got knocked by the blue. So they've just sat in, in the. Just playing for placement at that point. Yeah, I mean, in the shelter the whole time. But they were too it, alive. But it's a bit odd. It's a bit strange because yeah. they were too alive. Maybe they got trapped. I mean, maybe they just don't know yeah, the layout It might be the way, the way to the east was blocked by the blue zone and the way to the west was blocked by players. So they just decided well, there's I mean, not three points. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they do get, I think it was seventh place, mm. uh, possibly. Still a, a no, uh, and they had a couple of kills. No, he's, he's still up, actually. He's still up. He's time just got still alive. Now he's going to die. He's run out of meds. So, I mean, that's a sixth place. That's a... Four? Uh, yeah, four points now. Yeah, so I was I was I was waiting I'm for him to die. Do maths in my head there. It's not good. <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for him to die before I confirmed it. Yeah, there's a really rough spot. For, yeah, there you go. Can us go down? They're getting shot from both sides with a uh, sharp shot, Valley, Cambagini, and Evasion just had angles onto that tree. And is Taylor oh. going to win this? Wow, I mean, he, he honestly could. I mean, he's got the only compound in the mm. circle. He's got full vision. I mean, shop shot and Valley kind of have a, a, a little ridge on their side. But uh, Campagini do does go down. A sharp shot's third party this now. I Ooh. guess they come on to Campagini. Some solid shots. I think it was M16. actually, a, yeah, he stole a flush. Yeah, so there's six kills now for sharp shot, one for Valley. Looking like a really good game for Space Storm. 100%. Yeah, they've, they've been fragging out on that uh, on that western side for quite a while now. They should be able to clean out of Asian and then get into that 1v2. And uh, I th will take a guess and say they know where Taylor J is. Yeah, I, Purely I mean, because I mean, of the fact that process of elimination there's only yeah. one other place he could be if he's not where evasion is exactly i mean it looks like sharp shot's got kind of vision o over that side as well if he peeks over he should do right just in a second um evasion's not gonna do anything i mean he's a solo player again so it's 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 a 2v two 2v1v2 one one, essentially and taylor j actually oh, gets the kill wow really nice. okay taylor j picks up the headshot to evasion so now it's just a one for two two points because taylor j 
I've seen him win the. Well, I haven't seen him win these. I've never seen him lose them. Uh, yeah, so, we haven't seen yeah. him lose them. Never so them. that's already a good thing. Mm. So the, the, obviously he wins them. But I've also never seen Sharpshot lose them. I've never seen Valiate lose them. True. So True. are we just going to share points? Because must no, yeah, no. must do. I, I've never lost them either because I've never I've never qualified for them. So yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. so three points to me. Nades coming is that, out. Is that on? That oh, uh, the tree. It's oh no way! Please no. <laughs> oh, I thought it was going to roll. Oh, no, it did. It. Yeah, it yeah, hit it, like it, five it HP. Did hit him, but, but it hit the the oh, branches. This one's good. This one. Oh no, it's not. I've lied. If, if Taylor J died to that nade, I would <laughs> feel bad. I'd be so angry with the the tree. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. Um. Uh, like you, that's like. <laughs> You think the, the tree is too. cover, yeah. and then you just get baited completely. So instead of an acorn falling or an apple, it's just <laughs> yeah, a grenade. It's a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's how Isaac Newton really discovered gravity. <laughs> grenades falling from exactly. the sky. Yeah. But uh, to be fair, Taylor just got a, not a too bad of a spot. Valet's going to flank around on the like on this. the UAZ. This is actually a really nice nice uh, play here. So he gets full vision on the side of the hill here. But I don't think they know he's there. He but should. He sh I mean, if he's going to spot out this... Oh, actually, Taylor right. takes a shot. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. Sharpshot should be able to flank here. Possibly, maybe yeah, peek over. Valier doesn't just get the kill himself. They know exactly where he is now. He has to be on that tree. Yeah, Nades coming out again. There we go. That's on. a big one. Oh, well, does how it? How? <laughs> Excuse me? There we what? go. Okay. Valier actually gets the kill. Yeah, Valier. Sure he's loving that. Finishes off Taylor J. Did he get seven? I think it was seven, didn't he? That's a nice little performance by Valier. Yeah, so solid stuff. I mean, yeah. It's eight kills off a space storm. That's more than I got in three rounds on Wingman. <laughs> I know he got six. Feels no, bad. I, I got six, so it's the same. So yeah, I'm not that bad. You're, you're fine. All right, don't worry. Um, but yeah, again, solid stuff from uh, from Space Dog. They they just kind of fragged out on that mm. on that western side. They just kind of sweeped it. I mean, I think I don't think anyone really contested that that sort of that Raptor Road. That's mm. sort of ra <laughs> long story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're like the only the, people that still call it Raptor Road. I, th I, th I think it's more like the the. Europeans that, mm. that sort of they call it that, but yeah, no. Anyway, um, along along that dirt road path, with I, I guess call it Shack Road, right? They they just kind of held that that Shack Road coming up uh, from from Potato Hill and just I uh, just held it and just came in and pushed it. Mm. And, I, I think we saw yeah. with this that because they clear the, the, the sort of the western side was cleared out by all these little gunfights that went down. They just came finished off the last player. Yeah, and all of a sudden their entire west was completely empty. Um, <laughs> I, I think he must have thought that was a smoke. I, there's, there, there's no way he didn't think that was a smoke. I don't know. Like, there's no way he, he would have thrown that right in, in his face. I don't know. These like, are nice shots by Sharp. Like, th that orm is so dangerous in that sort yeah. of position. If he just sort of stops, fires once, you're yeah. gone. Yeah, I mean, that's that's, that's why Sharp Shot didn't over peak too much. Mm. He, he, he shot one bullet and then re repeaked on, on a different side, just always forcing the orm player to... To kind of change his his aim, you know, ch change where he's where he's uh, he's, he's he's aiming. So it's uh, solid solid work from from Sharp. I mean, solid work from a player that we know can do. I mean, they they, they just want flipping MPL <laughs> like <laughs> like best player. Well, best best I would say best player, best team in uh, in NA. I by think far. Yeah, <laughs> by far. So yeah. solid stuff. Yeah, but um, looks like we're going to go on a short little break of five minutes. So uh, we'll be right back in just a bit. <laughs> We're gone. <laughs> That's already. <laughs> oh, Blame Nick, the producers. Nick, please. Um, so Space Storm, uh, with that, uh, with that solid, solid win. Obviously Taylor J coming in. Did he? Did he? I mean, he had a chance. I feel like. Yeah, I think like, as soon as he shot the guy, the rock. Yeah, yeah that, that sort was, of. That was, oh, he had to get that knock. Yeah. Uh, like if you got that knock there, the one v one was possible, although unlikely. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so I was just thinking about the, the, the I, I would God have actually it. got I would have been annoyed if that nade had worked <laughs> <laughs> it just because it was so bad uh. it just hit the tree I was like yes oh yeah no yeah yeah, yeah, yeah the nade oh. like completely missed yeah because it bounced off the branch yeah. yeah it was like one branch sort of like it sort of like pinballed around yeah. the tree <laughs> and then dropped like near to I was like oh. no but he was fine um, but yeah no again the Kobe to end all Kobe yeah exactly 
Solid, solid game from Space Storm there, Valiate and Sharp Shot. Good stuff. Doing from them. Yeah, I mean, they, it was like eight kills as well, I think. Yeah, it was uh, mostly Valiate, I think. Yeah, yeah, Valiate had six of him, I think. Yeah, because so, he uh, stole like three from the shelter <laughs> area. Because they were up on the hill and you have so much vision from up there. Yeah. And no one can really push you because they cleared out their west side. So it was just like, oh, there's a guy knocked. Yoink. Yeah, there's a guy knocked. Yoink. Mine now. Mine but, points. um,. Game three, leaderboard, as you can tell, obviously Space Storm up on top there. 10 points plus the eight kills gives them 18 points, almost, actually. Um, not almost, I mean, it, it is 18 points, but almost in second place. Um, <laughs> they weren't really almost there, they were behind. behind <laughs> yeah, so. exactly, yeah. They were literally half of the points of Space Storm um, with nine, and... Uh, that shows you just how dominant that Space Storm performance was. Yeah, they exactly. double the points in second place. 100%, yeah. Look at how many zero-point teams there are as well uh, on, the, on the right side. Not to uh, call them out, you know, but... Did Lemon have more than one now? Hmm? Did, have Lemon got any points today? No, I don't know. They, they have so They're still on one, right? Eliminators, yes. Uh, they're still on one. I mean, same with... It's, m it's more than I'd get, so... I oh, there's a few so. teams that aren't actually here. Okay. Yeah, so, I mean... Yeah. yeah. The Lemon here? I'm not sure if I'm here. I don't... I, I remember them dying in one game. Maybe. I'm not sure. <laughs> Nonetheless, yeah. though, yeah, it's, it's very late. It is what it is. Um, this is obviously after game three. This is the whole leaderboards for today. For today. United obviously up on top still. They're still, they're still doing it. Obviously, T Taylor J with that second place, uh, that last game, probably probably boosted them up a, a, a bit more above uh, above what uh, Space Storm. Uh, one thing um, that's been surprising me is Wildcard down in 16th. After that mm. performance last week, you'd, I mean, it wasn't a different map. The, the maps are very different in Juries and the way they play. Oh yeah, um, even just in general, in the way they play. So maybe they were the sort of the way they play suited. I think it was Sanok last week, right? No, uh, we, uh, Sanok the week before last. Uh, oh, we, that, we, we, that, we didn't cover the, the NA um, yeah. side. We covered the Latam last week, but nice. uh, they they played yeah. their Miramar games last week without us watching. It was it was Sanok where they went nuts. That's right. Yeah, yeah. they. I mean, well, to be fair, they, they were proning in the center quite a lot. Yeah, but it works. It so does. It does because it's Sanok. It is a strat. Yeah, yeah it, essentially. Nonetheless, so this is Erangel, and the plane has already chucked at everybody. Um, Millie, Millie, Millie. Millie. I mean, it Come could on. be Millie. Yeah, it definitely could be, 100%. No, not 100%, but it definitely could be. I just want it to not touch the line, just to annoy you. <laughs> but, I mean, the line was really I've, centered. I've got the line in my hand. Okay, all right. I mean, Here well, we go. You, you can have your hand there for quite a while. It's like 10 yeah, seconds no, left. Uh, but I'm committed. <laughs> I'm committed. He's got, literally, I mean, you can't see this, but he's got his hand on the, on the map stream just straight across it, just like waiting for the circle. Two seconds. I, like, I just like proving you wrong. Oh, actually, uh, it just skipped. Oh, ah. on yes, I just dabbed. All right, sorry. Um, it, was, but, it was a really bad dab, by the way. Like, yeah, it was. It was, I, mean, it was I, like, I don't want to hit you in the face. That's why I'm not just going to go, ooh. <laughs> you. I might like that. <laughs> anyway. Um... <laughs> <laughs> So it's uh, pretty. Ah, uh, that's pretty. He's gone already. That's pretty. Oh, Reap's gone as well. Yikes! That's pretty. Youth. That's yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, annoying. Reap getting knocked. Shrimsy get. There's loads of knocks. What is happening here? Zenith Roth onto Shrimsy. What I I don't know you why do that love, is. You do love to see a point within the first two minutes of the game. Yeah, that it's that's interesting to at least. Oh, Milter. Tommy going kill. Milter. Yes. Tommy going kill. Yeah, there well, we, we go. We need a Oh yeah, we, we no, didn't get one last no, game. yeah, yeah. We yeah. saw someone use a vector, yeah, didn't but didn't get, get the kill. Panda girl trying to run away, got no gun, got no weapon. Needs to uh, actually no, got got a weapon. Just uh, just trying to leg it. Just start using it. Yeah, just Fair. sending it through Milter. That's, trying that's to run the sort away. of way I'd play in this sort of lobby. <laughs> just bye bye. I, I know I'd just lose my gun fight, so Just put my guns away and run. Yeah. Have more self confidence, all right? Well, I lost that a long time ago. Yeah, uh, same. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair. <laughs> but yeah, no, Panda Goat running away, just trying to trying trying to get away from the from the encroaching duo of uh, of Zenith. I was washed up before I even got to sea. So. <laughs> Yikes. Mm -hmm. Feels bad. Um sad boy hours, but yeah. Yeah, Ripper taking out Reap the place with the punch to the face. That rammed my poet and I didn't know it. Um and uh, obviously yeah, as we said, the circle was pretty pretty centered sort of between Gat and Pachinki. So not too bad. Looks like Frolicker and Duck are going straight for centre. Three I, I can tell you now, this minutes is, this 11. It's a fairy field ending, isn't it? A fairy field? It, it almost always is. Yeah, I mean, what? Uh, I, I, for, for people that don't know, for, fairy field is obviously just the field north of Fairy Pit. Just, just so, just for... So you know, you've got Pachinko Hill to the north, Yeah. Quarry Hill to the west, and then Fairy Hill to the south, and then Fairy Field. And for some reason, the circle loves it. So, 
Exactly. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a lot of people go for a shack dive. Yeah, and more than nice shots here by Beezy. Both of them really are, are sort of in that one shot range to the to the headshot. I'm not, he's got a Tommy gun. He's please. got a Tommy gun as well. Meme on him. Solid stuff. He's trying to. Yeah, but Vizi's going for the flush on the second player here. So at least he's going to try to secure the point because Protege is already out. But the jump comes down. Oh, and Jake actually gets what? the kill and he's going to save his teammate. A lovely little play. 12 HP in a dream, but it works out in the end. Solid stuff from Jake. Jumps out, gets the frag, gets his teammate up. That's that's what we call a wingman right there. Mm. What a what a boss. Um, yeah, yeah, but if he had wings, he would have flown. So. <sighs> okay, all right. Wingless man. <laughs> wingless. <laughs> yeah. JLL, JLL wingless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, but, but I'm sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mystery though, taking some. Yeah. I just it looks like they're pulling up. Gugu Gaga pulling up straight away. Boo Beans taking some shots at uh, Mystery as well. The cover fire, the vector. It Come has on. To happen. All right, let's go. It needs to happen. Uh, do, do they hear us? They <laughs> must, <laughs> I swear, yeah. I swear, like this is so weird. We've got all chat on in game. Yeah, we must the do. Entire lobby <laughs> as we cast. He's got the extended mag on that bad boy as well. That's, Lots that's of ammo. You know. he, he's, he's committed. That's who you know he's committed. He's yeah. got ammo, he's got an extended mag. He's in for the long he haul. He is committed. That is, that yeah, is well, good to baby see. Baby beans on like, the other side of the map. <laughs> Not literally, but... Yeah, I mean, he's, 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 he's kind of fire, but mm. uh, he looks like he's trying to... I think he was to trying to protect from Lato. But I, yeah, I, I but think that really he should just commit to the 2v1 on a mystery. Because Lato is so far away. Oh, 3x vector. You love to see that. <laughs> do you? You do. Do you love to see that? Okay, I'm Oh! Right. <laughs> what just happened there? Profi um, with the uh, with one kill. The, no, no, he didn't get no, no, no. Uh, M Career just yeeted himself into the wall. So tactical point denial. I think <laughs> yeah, yeah, <it> was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean that works. You know, it, it did work. If that was his plan, it worked. Um, yeah. So Profi with uh, with two two uh, two boxes of loot and one kill. Nice stuff from them. Or uh, they did rotate them really quickly. So and I think one of them had a Tommy gun earlier. So. Probably not much to do. Oh, well, true, I mean, yeah. Is pretty, it's pretty know, spicy. It is pretty spicy. Look at, look at Panda Girl and the boat rotation from Milton. Obviously, Panda Girl being, being solo, um, they... I mean, if they come Panda up... Panda Girl's in, gone for the they rotation. They come up into Ferry Pier. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a I solid spot. it's actually spot. Quite, quite a good play. Yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, I just run to the, either onto the hill. I imagine you could probably find a vehicle on, on the Ferry Pier Road as well, possibly, if no one else has taken any. It might be the sort of position where you just go for a shack dive, circle mm. one, circle two. Yeah. Just sit in that field in one of the shacks and, and just see if you get the zones. I mean, uh, you need a vehicle for that, for sure. I, th I feel yeah, like... I, I don't think any team landed Ferry Pier, so, so the, yeah. the hard spawn should still be there. Good stuff. So uh, solid, solid stuff. Let's just hope that Pat Caps and uh, I think they're they're busy with Pride and uh, interrogate. Yeah. yeah, looks like they're busy with their own teammates. Basically, Envy versus Envy. Envy wins. But, obviously. Yeah, I think I think Envy might win this win this uh, this this fight. To be honest with you. <laughs> oh, it all goes wrong, and somehow they all die. <laughs> yeah, <that's it. laughs> and then Envy definitely loses. <laughs> Envy doesn't win. <laughs> Sharu backing off though. Oh, some Zen Zenith are down. Oh, okay, down, yeah. Down, down. That was a uh, third party scene from uh, from multiple I'm angles. I'm not sure. I think it went down in Milter, right? So. Uh, oh yeah, that's they were right. They trying to leave Milter, and they both got killed by different. Oh teams. yeah, so it was it was Lobes actually that came in. I think he looks like he's a. Uh, oh, he's shooting at different things. I'm not sure. Meanwhile, though, uh, later actually takes out uh, Sharu United see you later, out. Huh? Yeah, see you later, Sharu. That's for sure. One kill goes to them, and they get this. Or uh, say EU later. See, see, see you later. Oh no! Yeah, it's it's all going wrong here. No, yeah. Go on, Luke. Do it. Do it for the name. He's got one. He's got half HP, so it's going to be a bit of a rough one versus Stab. But he knows roughly where he is. And um, I want to see my namesake. <laughs> Come on, Mister Observer. Oh, okay. Come on. Thank you, X. Um, thank, <laughs> thank, thank you, Mister X. <laughs> but uh, good, yeah. obs good observing and fortune. Look up to you, you say. Luke gets the tax in. Stab now down to sixty HP. Can Luke get the finish off? Get the 1v2. He's got a slight reposition and he's just not hitting his shots here. The, the car's sort of protecting stab. Oh. But finally he goes down. Luke with a 1v2 and he's going to get his teammate up. Lovely little there play. Lovely little shots eventually after he, he worked out how to shoot around the car. <laughs> Landed the headshot on stab. Took him down. He's, he's, make, he's doing the name proud. Yeah. Doing the Luke proud. Solid stuff. There's no, there's no Dan it's, here. So it, like. It's like internally I'm like pretending I'm him now. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I can frag. Yes. <laughs> you live yeah. vicariously through yeah. Luke 12 in, in <laughs> on, on Lazarus. Is it my second self? Yeah, exactly. But uh, Pistola time though, he's got uh, he's got other plans. 
he knows exactly where they are in a way. It's I mean, sort of position where if you use a nade oh. correctly, you can start off the gunfight and put it instantly to your advantage. Exactly. But I don't what, think yeah. he knows exactly where they are. They're both on low health as well. Uh, if so he throws full. If he throws the nade off, then he's going to give away that he's here. Yeah. He spots. Until we see him, until we didn't see him, the spray oh, comes in. And once again, Luke 12 on his own. And Silver goes down, he's just going to bail, I think. Yeah, that needs not going to work. But we do see Panther actually did go into Ferry now. Oh, so. yeah. Well, Ooh, Ferry fields in. Yeah, Sheet yeah. So, well. yeah, the, the, the circle does shift. Second circle shifts uh, just slightly north slash center. So, centers around later. Duck Frolicker um, and Sharp Shot and Valiate. So, um, sort of stuff. You know, they, they've, they've got a pretty good... Uh, Pretty good spot in the circle. Moody, Pride coming in. We'll see if they... I mean, it looks like they're going to take the yellows just mm. uh, just east of Shop, Shop and Valley. But yeah, no. Panda Girl has made it into Freya Pit. We'll see if, if she gets uh, a vehicle. Pachinki Hill gets sort of left empty. Um, the hill just to the south of Pachinki, mm. that is. Just because it's a position which is very easy to pull up on, particularly when you're against the duo. Because you, like, you can't control all sides if you're just two people. No. So I expect, particularly whilst it's sort of central, that it will pretty much be completely open and it will be a sort of a position where your sort of your southern teams and your eastern teams can dive onto you later on and, and try and survive into sort of circle three, circle four. Bad yeah, voice. yeah, huh? exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, as you said, obviously the, the hill south of Pachinki is free. So we'll see who, who tries to take that. Luke 12 coming in. On his solo YOLO DOLO, Pat Caps Interrogate. Compounds. If he can survive, because Pat Caps Interrogate lighting him up. He might have to go the towards be low now. Pachinki, possibly. Uh, lo looks like he's going to go towards the hill, though. But I expect he'll take the compound on the edge of the hill. Ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, or, or one of the shacks, maybe. Yeah. yeah he's going to keep... Yeah, he's going to keep... Uh, if, uh, if, uh, he'll take this compound, surely. Yeah, he'll, he'll yeah. take the barn compound. Solid stuff. Nice it's, uh, it's obviously free. So um, he gets a, a decent spot in the circle. Obviously, it can shift towards him, clearly. Mm. But uh, we'll have to wait and see for that and one. Also, if he can protect his vehicle and it shifts towards Pachinki, it's, it's not that far a run. It can be a little bit rough if there's a team sort of on the south east, uh, southwest side. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Generally speaking, he's going to be able to get into that Pachinki circle. And he's also going to be able to get up the hill if he needs to. 100%, yeah. Cherry Province actually flushes out Toba, but that's on the, the southeastern side. Loeb's trying to make it in as well. Pentalol and Cherry Poppin chasing him down. Loeb's on a, on a on a bike, so he's uh. I respect it. He's he's faster than Penta, but this Cherry is where on a bike as well. A vector would be perfect because you can switch to the back seat and shoot mm. someone. Exactly, yeah, yeah. So vector meta when I want to see a I want to see a drive by in wingman on a bike with a, either a vector or an Uzi, just just for the memes. Can you put? Can that you take a DB12 funny. out? Or is it DBS? No, that's, sorry, DBS. No, that's, that's uh, yeah. It's it wouldn't. Out of the accounts. Nah, because it's like a. Chunky. Yeah, it's no, you can't. <laughs> so I'm trying to find gun. a way of saying it. But yeah, you just can't. It's a two-handed gun. It's easy with. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. easy as. Hundred percent. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm surprised Wolf and Disciple have Go actually on, held the the southern side. You know the uh, the western bridge uh, gas station. It's kind of a, a strange spot to hold. I'm not sure why they haven't really taken the um, the the hill north of them. It's kind of a uh, kind of strange. Perhaps Mobby should be trying to loot it, get a little bit of extra. Uh, I think I they mean, they've been there for a while, to be fair. No, <laughs> chilling. Yeah, I, I think they're just chilling. I'm not sure if they're waiting for people to come up the bridge or something, if no, they just, think just there's just someone's going to cross yeah. the bridge. Yeah. It could just be to, to maybe cover their back. Well, they, I, I presume they know it's free up on the hill. Yeah. Um, like they would have been aggressed on by now if there was someone there. So they can pretty re reliably assume that it's going to be free. And yeah, so, so my guess is that they just want to make sure there's no one sneaking in behind them. Mm -hmm. And then from there, just move up. The uh -oh. circle actually goes far oh. north, all the way up to sort of the, the open fields near Pachinki. Oh wow! Yeah, this is this is a solid shift. Meanwhile, Mister actually takes down uh, down Jake coming in. That was a solid uh, solid spray down in the cart. I lied so about he's... where it was going to finish. I feel bad. Now. Yeah, I can't, I can't believe you've done this to us. I honestly can't believe it. Um, so yeah, it shifts towards ruins north side, northeast side. Sorry, past Pachinki. It could. I mean. Next shift is obviously um, fourth, right? This is this is third. Yeah. Next shift is fourth. It should shift either center. It, it, it can't go north, but it can't go yeah, straight I, north. I've seen these circles quite consistently end around yeah. the, the cadets compound. Uh, Shinbo and Snake is sort of on, on the ridges just around it. So a position like yeah. Octopus can become really strong. Uh, just on the southeast of Ruins. The Octopus Hill. Oh, that, okay. I, I have not heard Do that. you not call it Octopus? No, I've never it's heard that eight, before. It's got like eight spindly things that point off it. Yeah, I've just never heard that before. So, so, but, uh, you know, know that's, that's just a solid, uh, a solid call out, to be fair. So, yeah. It looks like uh, Nasser's are going to try and pull up. Uh, 
don't play comp anymore. Yeah, true, I suppose. I don't know, yeah. That is the call out. Another that one. Meanwhile, Valier taking down Pride. That's, a, that's actually a. Was that, that, that was out the vehicle, I'm pretty <laughs> sure. Insane so shot. the power of the mini. It's, it's a gun that you can lead really consistently mm. with. I think it's the gun that people can lead best with. Yeah. Because of how commonly you use it and how similar it is also to the M4. Um, so it. Oh! It's a that situation. The headshot oh, he's peaking that last still. Shot. Oh, that's some solid shots from Moody. It's some insane peaks. Oh. Actually, a uh, shop shot gets him down. That was some nutty peaks from, almost, from Moody, to be fair. Did. Yeah, he, he, he nearly got, got a Valley mark, 8. That would have been, uh, I think, him in, in a really good position just because of the high ground he had yeah. on the second player. But didn't quite come in, didn't quite work out in the end. I mean, if he got Valley 8 down, that would have mean an, an instant flush because shop shot, he, he would have just lined up side to shop shot and then just fl flushed them out mm. completely, which would have yeah, you know. just peaked the other side of the tree. Yeah, shop exactly. Shot, do anything about it. So. so that's uh, that was that was nice try for Moody there. Um, I feel like maybe healing up would have been the better play, but you know it's it's hindsight, right? Hindsight. Uh, meanwhile, Dark Dreams Tazanator have the top of church, and uh, looks like uh, oh, oh here we go, Baby Beans with the vector. Sneaky beaky. We've we've seen this before. Haven't they? They've been in this compound for ages. They're, yeah, they've been sharing it. Oh, there's another, there's another one. Another one. There's there's, there's so many vectors. multiple vectors. Actually, do we go? They both you. got vectors. <laughs> Some, and some baby beans both have yes. vectors. Yes, it's happening. Nice. Is that is that all of them? No, no there's one, one more. One more. Get the flush. There's, yeah, two, oh. two, two vector kills. <laughs> I'm loving it. <laughs> Sitting loving in it. quarters, getting vector kills. Every SMG has got a kill tonight. That's uh, that's impressive, actually. Mm. The SMG meta really coming out it's today. Well, it was never here oh, in the first well. place, but it's somehow back. I mean, yeah. it's yeah, yeah, true. I suppose <laughs> it was never. It the was never really was here. sort of here. Yeah, and James tried to make the vector. I think MPL uh, yeah. phase. No, it wasn't it was MPL. In, it, was it was actually in uh, the Grand Slam. Yeah, was GLO yeah. Grand Slam. He, he whipped it out a lot, especially on Miramar, <laughs> which normally I do it the other way around. Yeah, because I, I like to pull it out. It's my favorite gun, so I put it out on Pachinki. Whip it out on Pachinki or, or on Sanat. Yeah. Whip it out for the lads. Whip it out. Um, this south is so congested. Yeah, this like, is this is insane. Obviously, there's, there's so many teams coming from Pachinki side, uh, and all of a sudden, obviously, it has shifted quite hard to the it's north. Gone north consistently. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then it's gone slightly, sort of, I guess, west. It, it's not gone south, basically. So it, it's it's that there is still congestion in the southeast south. And the problem with this circle is sort of that whole highway area in the middle, the the, the little forest sort of north of Pachinki, is so hard to play when you have people on Octopus and when you have people in the yellow houses because they, they just have like perfect vision and all bar these really small positions. So uh, for now, pretty much the whole center of that circle is just going to be completely empty. Yeah, exactly. Pistola time. Solo player for now. One kill. You, you got, he's got Wolf just about 75 meters to his north. That's a big nade. He is, so, he is already knocked. So just trying to get the flush there. Looks the like he might be able to. Yeah, that, that nade should be able to connect. But Meanwhile, those bullets <laughs> do connect onto uh, onto onto Tazanator, It seems Dark Dreams with the shots. Oh no, actually no. So that that's that's a teammate. I lied. Cambagini. I'm not sure who actually got the got the shots onto uh, Tazanator. I have no idea. I think it was was it Pistola from behind. It might have been Pistola yeah. actually, because he's looking that way. And uh, looks like cambagini has got K98 and an M4. So definitely wasn't the SLR that we're thinking of. Hmm. Meanwhile, Snake is Shin Boy. Oh, this is a. No, it's not. It's not close. That's enough. gonna bounce. That, that bounces. That doesn't. Mm. If he was at the tree, still, it might have done 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 a fair few uh, amount of damage, but uh, nothing just yet. That needs big though. This one. This one does it surely. Oh, oh the, the line of sight. Like a meter. Yeah. Too sure. The line of sight doesn't quite uh quite connect. Pencil all gets to heal up. 75 HP. No, oh, Luke 12 is going off. He's got another knock, I think, on the other dark dreams from afar. Wow. Campagini goes down meanwhile. Where is where is he? Luke? Luke oh, he's, is. he's just to the south of Dark Streams. Yeah, but he's he's already on like I think four, three kills now. It seems so. Looks like he's got nade onto Dark. He's, he actually flushed out yeah, Dark Streams. Out, yeah. yeah, wow. So it's <laughs> I think it's solo four stuff. Kills now. There are so many solos on this uh, <laughs> on this. Uh, there's five solos. Yeah, five, six, six solos. Wolf Pistola time. Relo, Tazanator, Luke Twelve, and Panda Girl, all coming from the Bachinki sort of southeastern side. What? And they've got interrogate on the on 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 the northeastern side as well as a solo. There's so many solos in this game. Fifteen teams alive, but twenty three. Oh my lord! Pentelow's in a bit of a sticky situation on Octopus here. The, actually, Wolf steals the kill. Right? It's not by a grenade. But meanwhile, Pandagor versus Luke Twelve and wow. 
Luke 12, with the superior name, wins the gunfight. <laughs> I mean, a easy superior fall, peak, I'd fall. say, but yeah, to be, yeah, to be fair. I mean, like, that, that tree is such a a, a strong way to, uh, to enhance your ability in the gunfight, just because you can peak both sides. Yeah. Surprise yeah. people. But he's actually, he's top fragging the lobby so far. He's got he's got more kills on his own than any of the teams in the lobby. It's quite impressive. And if he can carry that up, if he could turn this into a 10-point game, that's going to be massive considering how early he lost his teammate. Yeah, solid, solid stuff. Circle does shift. It's fairly centered. No, no, no worries there. Everyone's, you know, everyone's fairly got moving except for the people that are directly center. Wolf, Shop, Shop, Valier, and uh, Goo Goo Gaga and friend. But uh, yeah, uh, uh, people on the edge have got obviously got to move in pretty, uh, pretty swiftly. Meanwhile, Shop, Shop, see you later. That's later down and out. We're finally sort of getting a, a less congested south. There's still all these solos on the southeast. Yeah. But it's, it's getting a little bit less messy than it was, but Sharp Shot, meanwhile, is laying down the bullets. Valiate actually is the one to get the knock, but it, they're actually fighting different teams. Yeah, Valiate's finally turned around to come join <laughs> in. They get the knock onto Duck. Sharp Shot's pinning them, and Valiate with the, the slight off angles just, just taking them out one by one. Yeah, it's just, it's just such good uh, good team play, it seems. Um, I think if he goes a little bit little bit further south, he'll get an angle onto Follicker because they know roughly where he is. Should do. I'm not sure if he smoked him. He hasn't smoked himself yeah, yet as well, which is surprising. Yeah, I, I think Valet has an angle. I would have thought that Follicker would have smoked himself by now. Yeah. doesn't quite have an angle. Did he see no, his he head He did there? see it. You can yeah, see him on the tree. He saw his, yeah. his head slightly there. That's a no helmet as well. I'm pretty. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> That's five for Valet already. My lord. He's, Space he's Storm looking to dominate the last, well, not the last two games. Yeah, yeah, I mean, game before. yeah, I mean, I mean, two two in a row, possibly. Yeah. I'm not going to jinx it. I mean, I think I just have. But I mean, you look at this, and you think they're in arguably the best position yeah. because I mean, their whole area of the map now is clear. I mean, Lamplot and Dietrich may present a bit of a threat if they can try and sneak in, but we just saw Follicker and uh, and Duck go down in that exact position, so it's going to be quite rough for the duo to get in through there. Exactly, and Sharp Shot and Violet have the high ground on them as well, so. I mean, Sharpshot has the, the sort of the nice spot on mm. highway. I think that's where the, the rock and there's like a slight dip. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Which yeah, is has really good cover from the north. Dietrich has been spotted by Valier and Sharpshot has an off angle. I like that they're playing so split because it, it means that it, it is a little bit risky. As we, we see they're getting lit up. If one of them gets knocked, that, that's them yeah. down and out. Yeah, exactly. 100%. But they also get these big off angles. So if someone is behind a tree, pretty reliably, one of you is going to have an angle on them. Yeah, exactly. It just seems like they have just full full trust in themselves as uh, as players to not get knocked in in these situations. Lampel obviously got to move into the circle. He's stuck behind a tree, and uh, still not inside the circle. D treats obviously isn't. So sharp shot just waiting for him to peek out the 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 tree. Spots the bump. <laughs> gets it. Gets two tags actually. To be fair, the smokes come out from it from his teammate Lampel. Valley though trying to get the angle. Ah, there we go. Good knock. Uh, that's that's uh, that's pretty much a flush out, I think, because obviously the circle. Yeah, the zone should do it for him. Yeah, the zone should uh, should kill him off. But Tank. D shoots at least staying alive a little bit longer mm. by landing those shots onto Valley. It's forced him to back off. But the circle once again goes fairly central. Really good, I think, for sharp shot. If they can take out D treats, if they can make sure their western side's clear and just sort of focus on the yellow houses teams, focus on protecting their backside. Which is actually getting uh, getting cleaned for them by Rello. Yep, solid stuff. Two kills on yeah, Rello, four lamp. overall. It's, it, it, it's strange we can't see uh, the dead players' um, kills. Just strange. Um, but yeah, the again, the, yeah, there's still. I mean, there's still three three solos on the southeastern side. Then you've just got Cherry Poppins just to the north, who is um, facing off against the cadets in Snakers and Shinboy. They're, uh, they're actually going to push in straight towards him. There's a bike. I, I think they do know this he's bike there. could bait them out completely. Mm. I've, 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 I've had this before. Yeah, we shoot the bike. Think he's exactly. Person, yeah. yeah, but so he actually peeks first. Cherry popping. They're getting shot from the south. Actually, oh. that's being taken. But Shibo actually wow. gets the kill. Look like we shooting the body a little bit, which uh, you do love to see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. I think Shibo was actually uh, or Snakers was actually going to be tagged up from the hill, and it sort of forced the hand a little bit earlier and forced them to make that slightly riskier push. But it did actually work out in the end. I like yeah. this from our car, but they're going to just get shot oh, from the no. east. Shimbo is a perfect angle onto Adam and has forced him into cover. Uh, what was going to be an aggressive play onto the yellow houses has suddenly turned into a, a fight for survival of these cars. Yeah, exactly. They've they still got two vectors. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. It's good. But yeah, no, I, I, I'm not sure exactly if 
surely Wildcard knew that Snakers and Shinbo were behind them. So that I mean, this is this is like uh, I guess a calculated move in terms of they just use their vehicles mm -hmm. as cover and use the ridge next to them um, as as cover towards the yellows. But uh, it's it like, a very rough spot for next circle, though. I think it's gonna yeah, be, it's gonna yeah. be very hard for them to move west because of the people in the compound. Exactly, and it's gonna yeah. be very hard for them to move directly south just because of the angle cadets have. Hundred percent. Wolf is a bush. Yeah, wolf bush in it. I'm on with the bush. Probably, probably interrogate bush in it as well. Well, yeah, he's bushing it too. Everybody's a bush. Uh, well, he's close to the bush. All right. Well, still, he's a tree. He's a tree. Yeah. There's, there's actually three of them in the tree. Tree, tree. <laughs> tree bushes. The tree bushes. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Relo's moving though. He's uh, he's moving around. He's trying to spot some uh, some some possible steals. Okay, that, that is the extent of my humor. <laughs> that's that's as advanced as I go. Solid stuff. I mean, you know. Well, this, is this nade good? <laughs> no, uh, it's not. DJ's just about able to get away from the tree, and this might actually debate him a little bit. Yeah. If you could sneak off. No, shot shot didn't spot. No, he's been spotted now by oh, Valiant. Wow. A nice flush out, nine kills now. And you just look at how much map control Sharp Shot and Valiant have now. They can move into that sort of northwestern area and just hold out the yellows for another two, maybe even three kills. And, yeah. uh, and then, unless Wello stabs them in the back, probably be the team that wins the game. Yeah, exactly. Rillo obviously moving in, into the circle. He's the only one in the circle just as uh, Sharp Shot and Valiant get in. So everyone on the north side's got to, got to come in. You've got Goo Gaga, Baby Beans, Adam, Kickstart. They've all got to move in. I think, was it 19 points? Or, no, they had 18, right? Shop, shop, yep. rally. And it, it looks like they're trying to beat their own record for the night. But uh, I'm not quite sure about this split. They haven't spotted Goo Goo Gaga and Baby Beans. And it's probably just going to be Sharpshot sure, dead. And Valet is really not in a position to help them out. Looks like um, Shimbo is actually knocked from somewhere. That could have been, a, that could have been one, one of the solo south. Or it could have been a wild card as well. Interrogate. He's, uh, he's come alive. He's taking some shots at the cadets down, uh, down north side. We're actually sure, um, Mimon, with that with Valet, but Valet spotted the, the duo coming up and Sharp Shot instantly turned around. Wow. Yeah. Nice little uh, to kill there onto Interrogate, but now the, the proper 2v2 down on this western side. Oh, I agree for the win. Shinboy goes down meanwhile to Adam as Wildcard are looking to sort of close out on this northern side. That was a solid 4x spray. Hits him with a headshot. Snake is the try and, I mean, uh, I, I say going to try and get the res, but he is insta flush Shinboy, so. A vector in the That's him out. It's a vector in the kill feed. I mean, it, it, it's happened already, all right? Let's, let's just think of that. <laughs> and make me very happy. Snakers, big old headshot onto Kickstart. He's got to heal up. I mean, they, ha they don't have much time because the circle's right on their on their, uh, on their their booty. Oh, Snakers, the big 4 x It saved the Snakers there because Adam was oh. looking at the smoke. Put a random speculative shot. The, oh. nade, the nade's good, I think. Oh, no, puts him low. Puts him. He's on zero HP. Adam has oh, no HP, but man. he survives and he gets the kill. That's insane. How Bye -bye does he do that? He, he just... He's not, he's not dying. <laughs> he's, he just no. does he's, he's just Iron Man. It's fine. Just stands back. He gets not I mean, just stands to, back To be up. fair, I mean, he was part of the Iron Man, Iron Man at PUBG no, and Lazarus uh, previously. So, it, you know, he has carried that over. So, it makes and sense. That backstab I was talking about from Relo has come in and Valier went down and that is sharp... What are they called again? Space Storm. Space Storm. I keep, I keep saying Space sharp Storm. storm. Yeah, because it's tempo and yeah, exactly. Station. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, they. I mean, Big they. Brain. <laughs> <laughs> they go out somehow. I, I must have been like a, a third party from Relo yeah, coming so, in. Yeah. So and Baby Beans got the the initial knock with right. the vector, and then Relo came in behind and killed Valier. So. Ah, with the vector. Yeah. Oh, nice. That's why I'm a happy man. Though. Yeah, good stuff. It's like so the opposite yeah. of the DBS. Yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, unfortunate third party uh situation for Space Storm. They go. Down yeah, in, uh, in fourth put, place. That's where Wildcards is favourites here, just because Rilo can uh, sort of strike onto uh, Baby Beans and, and Gugu Gaga. And obviously because the circle shifted towards them. But <laughs> Yeah, but there's a, there is a lot of cover on that western side. If Rilo <laughs> does leave, it does sort of turn into a bit of a 50 50 2v2. And yeah. I, I think whichever team Rilo strikes is, is the team that's going to lose out. So it, it's really all about what he can do. And can he survive once he does make that initial strike? Because he might be able to turn it into a win. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he, he he does have the road bridge as well, so he can mm. stay stay on 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 the road, probably prone it out, and wait for a fight to start, and then pick up the knocks and uh, and possibly the win. That's I mean that, that that would be the aim if you were a solo for now. Anyway, well, I feel I, like I think there are, there are two options. I mean, coming second is only worth one more point as coming third. Mm -hmm. So if you get a kill, it's the same thing. Like one kill is the same as coming second. So yep. you know, if there is an opportunity to get a knock and an insta flush, you go for it, or you go hide. And you hope the other people fight 
and you go for the win. And you go for that plus four or plus five if you mm. can get the last score as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's all about really, are you in a position where you can win? And I would say he's not. And at this point, you should probably try and look a little bit aggressive. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, if even so, if you can get a knock and a flush and still go for the win mm. as well, then it's a, that's a plus plus, right? For sure. Adam, though, looking for... Actually, Relo taking some shots already, surprisingly, onto... Uh, Onto ELV here. Well, Wildcat has such good control of this circle. Yeah. Uh, Baby Beans and uh, Guga Gaga have sort of been forced onto this tiny little dip by their the sort of the split. Oh, it gets the knock. Relo. Guga Gaga's got, got, I mean, kind of got to back off. He's not been been hurt at all, but. It's so uh, hard to say that name. Oh, wow. I know. It's so hard. A lovely shot by Adam. Puts Guga Gaga low. Yeah. And, and if he's not careful, the blue's going to start ticking him down. Relo actually got the kill onto yep. Baby Beans mm -hmm. as the blue puts him out of his misery. Realistically, at this point, the two solos looking for a way to try and finish second. Let's go, Gaga can get this knock, but he gets put low. The oh, circle actually the takes zone. him out. Lilo gets a second place <laughs> and gets his fourth kill. Solid stuff. And there we go. Wildcard take the win. Three kills only coming in from the north side. Um, 13 points is 13 points. Yeah, it, it, it is points. It's, it's actually quite a few points, to be fair, considering, you know, the... the it was a pretty uh, pretty easy kind of game for them. Obviously, circle shifting mm. north a fair few times. But you look at, I think, I think Valiate and, and Sharpshot actually got the same amount of points by finishing fourth with their nine kills. Yeah, yeah. If I could do maths. No, they should be they right. got more points because they, they would get 14 if I could do maths. Yeah, because it's five for fourth place in Joe's. Yeah. So, uh, uh, once yeah. again, a really nice game from them. After they won, the they won the game before. Come in another uh, massive point or and yeah. I, I think tonight they could they might actually be top overall. You could be right. I mean, it was um, it was uh, United that was top so far. Mm. I think that was such a nice spray. So there, yeah, and then <laughs> <laughs> that was not nice. Just shoots his body just for nah. I, mean, I, I, I think he thought he was uh, alive when he yeah. when he really wasn't. But uh, yeah, this, this shot was from it like. I think he only actually oh. yeah, he lands two bullets. What? Yeah, just both of them are just to the head from that range. It's ridiculous. Yeah, it was like it was it was like a headshot then a body like yeah. then two body shots I think actually. Uh, it, that's just nuts. Vectors coming in. Finally. We love to see it. We do, especially me. <laughs> it's it's kind of funny though to see see every SMG get a kill mm. in, in this. <laughs> it does not happen this, often. Uh, yeah. No, it, it doesn't. You're right. Like the Spec to the Tommy yeah. gun as well, especially. Right? Okay, I think that was only a flush, but. It counts. I'll count Ma it. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it technically does count in terms of the stats. Yeah. If you think about it. The stats so. will say a Tommy gun kill the card. Exactly. So, yeah. there we go. Good stuff. And, uh, I mean, Relo coming up big here at the end as well. Mm. Obviously, having a fight with Vanek there just at the end. Um, yeah, I think he sort of recognized that mm. he wasn't in a position to win the game. And yeah. we just tried to turn that into a one or two extra points. We saw him get the kill. We saw him outlast uh, Guga Gaga at the end. And so, you know, that plus two points all actually turned into a pretty much the best case scenario for him, I think. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, I think that's going to be it from uh, from us in terms of uh, the that match. We'll be coming back in about five minutes for the last game of the day. Um, so, yeah, we'll see you in five minutes, guys. Welcome, 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 and good evening. It is nice and dark and cold here good in morning, uh, yeah, yeah. Sweden. <laughs> yeah, it, it is good morning. It is uh, 3.45, as you can see up there. And uh, it is a lovely, lovely evening to be doing some North American Wingman. We are in Series 8. This is week number 3. And uh, we're going into the final game. I am back on the desk because I know you guys love me so, so missed much. Uh, I've missed you too. Uh, uh, Two-game two break got the it's throat yelling but if you don't know who I am doesn't matter my name is Talha this is Saint and uh, we thought we could make it pro in PUBG but we're now here especially not me so, <laughs> uh, so wildcard winning the last game uh, they've been having a very good run and man they've been mm. winning games back to back they've been coming in the top five back to back and they're still going strong on our angle yeah they're, they're actually having compared to the other weeks it was kind of a rough one because they were 16th this week going into that game 
But that win has really propelled them far up. I mean, they only got three kills. It's only 13 points. But, I mean, the team that really has been dominating this week has been Space Storm. Yeah, with yeah, the, I, the nine, I think the 18 points and then the 15 points. Yeah, they had the nine team. kills in the last game before going out, especially with the solo for the majority mm. of the game as well. And this is what we do see a lot in Wingman. We see a solo player kind of fragging out and really going ham, which is a lot easier to do in Wingman. And I think I saw Pride complaining in the chat saying, God, playing duos and competitive is just the worst. Well, like it's a completely different play style. But it, if you use a vector, it's like immediately more fun. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> vector, vector or Uzi. Well, the scoreboard yeah. is up from the last game. Last game, Tommy Gun Uzi. There you go. Tommy Gun Uzi. There we go. Space Storm. Even though they came third, I think in that they they definitely came first with the amount of kills that they had. Mm. Nine, nowhere close to second place with three kills. Wildcard with their win. But Space Storm 14 points, Wildcard 13, and uh, Rello and Profi on 12 points. Everyone else dropping down below 10 points with 8, 6, and 5. And going right down to the 1 point. So, that will uh, shake up the leaderboard a tiny bit, hopefully. Let's have a look after game 5. So, Rilo so and Profi, the they're now in the lead. United are there in third. Space Storm, however, they are they're, the they're, they're bridging that gap. But you look at that and you think all their points came from two games you know, out of the four so far. The first two games, they got nothing. I think they had one point over those two games. And out of nowhere, 18 points, 14 points, just smacking the lobby around. It really makes a difference. It's anyone's game if you're down there at the bottom. Like You have two really good games because the, the, the difference between you and first and second and third place are only about 20 odd points and that could but be yeah. one really good game and then a second okay top mm. five finish. Like if you are one of these teams that's not having a great week, if you're down sort of in that 20th position, that 18th position, if you do have just like that one good game, that one game where you come top three and you get five kills, uh, you know, if you get in the double digits with the points, suddenly you're looking at like plus five, plus ten positions in that, that leaderboard for the week and you're looking at a lot of points for your overall. I'm not too sure. I, I, is there any sort of award for the top three in the qualifiers? Uh, uh, or is it just top 16 overall? I think it's, it's just top 16 to the yeah, finals. Yeah. It, so it, it doesn't not, matter where you finish. It's not even about just seeding or whatever. It's no, just because there's only one lobby uh, in the finals. Yeah, so. bragging rights, yeah. really. Just but hey, you want to you wanna lay a mark? You want to you wanna put it down? You want to... You want to say you're the best in the region? Yeah, pretty much. Okay, right, so this is not live. The game is not live. Not live, not live. Uh, we started on the wrong server, so we're going to remake the lobby, and you guys can enjoy mine and Saint's face for a bit longer. No, it's, it's quite hard to enjoy my face. So. <laughs> um, uh, depressed voice? Depressed probably voice. mine too. I <laughs> keep getting told I need to do yeah. more buttons up, so that's okay. I know, um, I, I'm getting a bit risky here as well. So. <clears throat> Oh game. dear, do we have to kick each player individually? <laughs> okay, oh, rough. right, so time to fill uh, for quite a bit. What should so we fill? Well, Shall uh, I tell uh, a story of how I got into commentating? All right, let's go. Because it involves Hayes. So GLL Season 3 had an open qualifier where I think there were like four rounds. And back then, I was I was like a proper nobody. I'm, I'm a little bit less of a nobody now. Um, but like I was like a, not necessarily a Hayes fanboy, but a Zukti Nam fanboy, which is the team was on at the time, with uh, I think it was Ivo... Was it Ivel Eki and um, I wasn't thinking I can't remember anyway. But like I really wanted to watch them in the GLL the qualifiers, so I, I messaged them and said, yeah, "Can I do it? You know, don't need to pay me. I'll just do it. It won't be very good. Just let me commentate it. Just because just because I wanted to watch Hayes and his team play. And then from there, I, I I actually quite enjoyed it and just did all three rounds. And then they were like, "You're actually not that bad at commentating." And then they got me for wingman. And then suddenly, I don't need the job anymore. Yes. From rags to Success. riches. From, from rags to riches. From rags to like slightly nicer rags. Is that is that when we did the um? Is that the guy that we did the the um? What was that thing? The escape thing. Was that Zuckti? Yeah, Mar yeah, that guy. Okay. Yeah. We actually did it really fast. I was in your room. We, we were really good for that. Yeah, we were good. Yeah, we, we did an escape room. Yeah, Saint London. and I did an escape room, and uh, well, it got heated in the escape room. Yeah, I'm I'm a very bossy man. And as uh, you, as you will I don't be. take any sort of yeah. um, beep from the anyone. The person we were with is also a very bossy man. <laughs> um, and when a bossy man tries to boss around a bossy man, there's there's a bit of friction, a bit of rubbing. Uh, a bit of rubbing. That's why Saint can't go on any team because yeah. no one really a listens restraining to restraining without rubbing. <laughs> 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 but yeah, no, we finished that 15 minutes yeah. earlier than anyone else. We absolutely so. thrashed. Yeah, it was, right, it was uh, Fast Rail 60 and T-Bone. We yeah. dominated them. 
Yeah, I was very they, proud they of may that. be good in game, but they're, yeah, they're, they're not, not on our level when it comes to escape rooms. You should go pro in it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if there was an esport for escape rooms, <laughs> us two. Uh, the only problem I'm is, problem like, if we had one where it was like you had to reach things that were high. Yeah, well, I, I would have to do it. And like, if the, if it was like multi touch, and if it was going to small spaces, yeah, I mean, there we go. Perfect, right, that's the it, yeah. perfect team. There we go. Perfect. Anyone out there looking All for an escape room uh, team? Uh, because <laughs> I'm at uh, the Saint on Twitter at Call Me Teller. Yeah, must please. My dems are actually open. Right, so, so that, that that's story time number one. Uh, story time number two is how did I get into casting? I can't remember. It was so long. You were probably yeah. just drunk and just said, "Shall I do it?" Yeah, and then someone well, said, "Actually, yeah, no, 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 no." I remember it was it. I me and me and me and my mate, we applied for a LAN to do uh, a game that I no longer play because it's just I just don't Bam. like it anymore. Mm. No, it was um, begins with uh, L, ends in E. Um, Locket League, yeah, <laughs> Locket League, and uh, well, we applied as a joke, and they called our bluff, and they're like, "Yeah, why don't you come and cast?" And we did it, and, and uh, he was commentating. Now uh, you're stuck with me. Uh, uh, a game called uh, Beginning with C, ending in uh, Alter and uh, Strike, and uh, I carried on doing whatnot, and here I am sitting next to. Now, yeah. now you're in a basement with me oh, no. at four a.m. Yeah. That's that's a down. That is a downgrade. <laughs> um. Eve. Right, well, uh, looking at the game, uh, even though people yeah, are going to be leaving, we're seeing authority <laughs> being uh, put down. Uh, Luke getting a kill on uh, his teammate. They've actually, they killed each <laughs> other. That is, that is actually quite impressive. That's good. Uncivil shot Luke, and Luke, in an act of pure revenge, <laughs> had a grenade in his hand and blew up Uncivil and took them both out. Oh, you love it. Mm. I remember when I used to host uh, the online games, and when you had to get people to like leave, there wasn't a <laughs> kick function. Yeah, in yet you had to go around and say in game, like speak to them, yeah, <laughs> and, yeah, they would be like, be and they were like, uh, move around, like where on earth is this voice yeah. coming from? Like, yeah, you guys need to leave. Voice ex machina just tells them to, leave. to go. I'd be but terrified yeah. if you if like if you were my like my voice. Not uh, what's the word where you don't have a body? Corporeal. What? The ghost? W- is it like for, for like a, a ghost? No, it's like uh, like a, a voice that doesn't have a disembodied. That's disembodied. It. Yeah. Uh, okay. Like if I just heard your voice, I was just running around in the field. I heard your voice. I would be terrified. If I had my voice, I'd also be terrified. So there is that. But <laughs> if I just imagine that like you're in a field, someone's shooting at you, and then just a voice in your ear. <sighs> Hi. Hi. Any ASMR. Can you leave? Please? Um. Right. So let's try and talk about the game. Well, uh, technically, I was talking about the game. Though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. Um, <clears throat> going to the last game, a lot of teams look S- very strong. Serious faces. A team's going to win. And, um, well... Uh, it does happen in PUBG. Yeah, teams in do PUBG, win. you land, you get some guns. Sometimes. You have to kill people. And one team wins, and one of these teams is going to win the last game. But what's more important is that it's the leaderboard. Uh, what's more important is the friends you make along the way, actually. Have I made friends with you? No comment. <laughs> Maybe. Mm. We'll see. So then all the viewers are like, this is so cringe. <laughs> right, yeah, I okay. am well, hurry up and get in the lobby so we yeah. can start. Get on, with get, it. get on with it. Get in. The game's finished. The lobby's been made. I'm get delirious. In. It's 4 a.m. <laughs> Come on. I'm actually all right. I've had my sleep. Yeah, I've you, had my nap. So it was like <clears throat> 8 p.m. He says, should we watch a film? It was a good film. Uh, and um, te- like about 10 minutes into this film, <laughs> he's got a blank. He's got a blanket, got about five pillows just to sleep. <laughs> I'm, I'm there watching the film. I fall asleep. That was his idea. Without fail. And he just films. slept like a baby for probably five hours. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. I sleep through anything. Yeah. Like, I will sleep I was through ta- I was the taking pictures ending. with a flash on. I was playing music. Right next oh, to I haven't you. actually seen the pictures yet. I was only one. Yeah. It, wasn't, it was not particularly good. Uh, if, you, if you don't know and you're wondering, if you're just tuning in and you're wondering why <laughs> we're talking about me sleeping, um, our producers have put a lovely little message at the bottom there just to make sure that everyone's on track. Mm. We're just doing a quick we're not on track, little server restart. Yeah. The game's going to go live ASAP. So, um, Start uh, with us for a bit longer. But a bit of technical difficulties, mm. um, of course. But uh, it, it's, it's very exciting, isn't it? So um, GLL, no, this is Premiere. Actually, tell you what, let's plug it if you're just tuning in, but I'm pretty sure you know you have to keep Plug. plugging this. Uh, GLL, they pretty much run the only Premier Wingman competitive series that really anyone's ever known. It's been going on for eight series, eight seasons. I've this is Series 8. Fight. What's that? Wingman Series VIII. Five plus three. Yeah, eight. plus three. Well done. Wingman GLL W Series so 8 up there in the top, right? And, and if you want to take part, if you want to be in these lobbies, either wrecking pros or getting wrecked by pros then you can take part by heading over to play.gll 
dot gg it was gg um definitely gg <laughs> you made me think it was tv <laughs> I know, I'm, a, I'm a bad influence uh and yeah. yeah you can take part you can play against thousands of other people in the qualifiers you'll probably kill me play in the qualifiers play, kill him yeah. and then occasionally me if he doesn't have a duo because he comes to me and he's like all you need to do is just listen to what i say you get the lobby and listen uh, to me yeah, yeah that's literally what it is he um play qualify then you take part in these weekly tournaments uh, in these weekly games where you then have a chance to get in the top 16 and qualify for the um NA versus South America or EMEA versus uh, CIS uh, regional finals where you play for a grand total of 40,000 US dollars, 20,000 in each region. And first place takes away 8,000. 8,000 US dollars I've never had for 8, two people. For two, between two people. Uh, and the great thing is, life, is that I I've presume, that. I honestly, I presume that you don't split this with the team and stuff because well, it's just... I think some of, some of the org teams might, but like a vast majority of the teams in here are mixes anyway. Yeah. Like uh, like Relofi and yeah and um, uh, Space Storm. Yeah, they're, they're, they're mixes of cross teams anyway, so it's like it wouldn't share at that point. But uh, quite quite a lot, mm. quite a lot of money for. What would you for, do uh, with your four, your share of four grand if somehow we won? My share of four yeah. grand. Well, you, your four grand from the eight. Oh god. What, what well, would you buy? <laughs> get sell a tape to that you can sell on stream. Why stays behind me? Yeah. Um, what would I do with four grand? That's a good question. I would be sensible and I would save it. I would invest you, it. That is a lie. I would invest that is, it. That is a lie. You I would, would invest it in alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> but buy stocks in, <laughs> in vodka and whiskey most likely. Uh, no. No, 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 no. I, I, I probably would. If it was that much, I, nice. I'd probably save about a grand and then try and see what I can do with the other three grand and put it <laughs> into some sort of stock market. Lose probably it. just give it to a friend and be like, here's three grand, make me money. They just walks off. Just no. Cheers. I've actually got quite a few friends that are into like all this cryptocurrency stuff. What friend is? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Feel bad. Hurry up and yeah, start we the are, game. We are getting sad boy hours. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up and start the game. So um, this is what happens when I'm awake this late. BRP Toby One. It's, not, it's a very long term admin. Actually. Uh, I, I remember that name. I think he's been helping out GLL for like two years now. Oh, is that not the um, it's the the commentator? Toby. I think so. Yeah. It is. I think it is the Toby One. It is the Toby One. He's, he's graceless for our president. Stuff. He's just chilling. I wonder what he's doing. Well, okay, I'm here. I'd like to meet him. It's yeah, cool, yeah. Right? I just want to hear that succulent voice of his mm. sitting next to me. You've got my succulent voice instead. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, true. It's another uh, word I'd use. Very hard to compete. Yeah, your voice of Toby's. But, um, you know. I mean, it's a pretty obvious choice. I wonder is he is he commentating on his own channel somewhere? Is he stealing our viewers? No, oh, I think he, he helps with lobbies sometimes. Oh, really? Mm. Okay. I, I might be completely wrong. I probably am. I normally am. But I'm getting annoyed with this wire. It, it, it's a bit short. <coughs> so it should be fine for me, but yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I mean, you're short, so it suits you. I mean, the hands, uh, matchmaking has started. So just quickly recapping before we get into the game about the leaderboard. So the leaderboard um, in the top... What was it? Top four? Top five? Very, very close. Mm. Very close. There's like three, four points difference. There's one between the top two and then there's like a little gap to yeah. people that are... There we there. go. Thank you. Uh, here's a scoreboard. That's this is a scoreboard after game, game number four. There's just game before. Um, and in fact, you know, these two games from Space Storm, the win and then coming first in this one, uh, has really boosted them up. Yeah, I mean, they've got 33 points total tonight and they've got 32 in games three and four. So <laughs> like they literally got one point in two games and then just... Well, that's the thing. This, they, this they, they, woke, they literally woke up. Literally, this point system is, they were asleep. is they actually up. insane. Because what it allows you to do is have a really bad first and second week. Mm. Potentially, like if the rest of the lobby is not doing insane, you can have a bad third week, and then you just have a, a couple of really good games, and then you're here. And um, uh, that's the point system. So your first place gets you 10, but it's the kills. Mm. It is the kills that really makes the difference. And if, if you can be that team that sort of consistently gets you know, five, six kills, suddenly you just can be so far up that leaderboard. It's normally about sort of 65, 60% 60 mm -hmm. of your total points will be kills. But if you look at that, yeah. how close is between particularly the top two tonight? And then those teams behind, there is a bit of a gap. But as we saw, there's the opportunity to get like a 15 and 18 point game. So realistically, those teams all the way down to eighth could still win the night. I mean, E United, 19 points in that game, nearly 20, nearly a win and 10 kills. So they did insane uh, to rack up the points in that game. But yeah, we can already see uh, those top teams that will be finding it out. But it will, it, it could come down to the last two games next week. Mm, like, really uh, you know, I can guarantee you there will be uh, probably three or four positions in that top 16 that are fully up for grabs going yeah. to the final game. 
and probably even going into the final circles of the final game. Yeah, absolutely. Just because of how close the the uh, the point system keeps it. I mean, what we're <laughs> bloody wire. <laughs> Sorry, guys in the studio. I'm trying. You keep telling me fix the wire, and it just just wants to be in shot. It's very. I'm, I'm doing fine. Camera. Yeah. Well, it's all you. Professional. Uh, well, I, what I was going to say is that towards the last week, towards the end of the games, we'll kind of draw our attention away from the top teams and we'll be looking at the bottom yeah, he sort of moved half down, of the 16 because yeah. that's actually what everyone's fighting for, being in that top 16. And uh, I didn't really quite get a glimpse of it, but it's not actually that big difference between like the top, the, the bottom half yeah, of that I mean, top 16 like, and the people that aren't in the points yet. You could be 20th, you win the game, suddenly you're top 15, you, you may be even top 13. So we, are, we are now into the game, it's a plane going all the way from Prim to Stauber. It's a pretty nice one, it is a bit of a struggle for those Eastern teams. And maybe many teams might not be able to make it there, but there is sort of enough space, particularly for the fact that there's only 26 teams in the lobby. Uh, I think there's more than enough space to, to get around, but we might see a little bit of an early contest. We saw the, the baby the baby Pachinki fights, uh, well, it's actually no, the baby school fights. So yeah, between Pachinki and school there are two compounds. Yeah, baby Pachinki, which is one close to Pachinki, and a baby school. And uh, I think it was, was it um, VZ and Protege that was fighting for baby school every time? And they lost it once and then won it twice, I think. But every time they're losing one player on the team, it's not, it's just not a consistent way to play. But this time they've actually got it for three years. Finally, the duo that's contesting them, I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but finally they've left. So they're actually able to split one goes to the, each baby compound. Shibzi's already found himself a car. He's, he's right. trying to run over Follicker, but he's missed. Follicker's got in the house, and now he has to bail before Follicker finds that gun, finds the shots. Can't really contest. He has the M16. I mean, he has no armor at all. If he can land a headshot, it might be a kill for Follicker here. Shibzi, I think, yeah, it's just a bit too far. And Follicker, he can't risk this because he doesn't know where the second player is. He doesn't know if there's someone in Gakko already with an AR that can, uh, that can punish him for any movement. And we've got a far western circle here, uh, pretty similar to the one we saw in game one tonight. Uh, I expect we'll probably see a, a fairly similar circle sort of towards the fields, towards the Everest area, just because of the, the way the sort of the water affects the game. Well, you would think there's more water up there towards Georgia Pole, so the circle should shift down. Well, obviously, south. it only does the M4, so yeah. two and three. As long as this, like the only uh, criteria for the circle is that the center is on land. So. Is that what it is? Yeah. So it, it could, in theory, shift all the way to the little um, ridge to the west of Georgia Pole. Onto the, the tip. Right, okay. So uh, I would like to see a quarry. I would uh, mix see, it up a bit. For on, the the, the on the newer angle, I really like quarry. Because oh, yeah, we're not playing 2.0 yeah. yet, are we? Yeah, so there's a there's a, a added compound on sort of the north side of the quarry, and the inside is a bit more mm. playable. But I, I just don't like how difficult it is for the teams that aren't on the quarry to get in if it does do that sort of weird hard shift. Uh, it's, it's less of an impact, or less of a factor in, in duos. Just because it's a squad, you can't really can like as a as a four man, you can control pretty much the whole quarry. You, know, you put two on the north, two on the south, yeah, and you have pretty much full control. Whereas as a duo, you can't do a one one. Well, you can, but it's super risky. So you sort of have to stay as your little doom stacks. And you know you, you might have people going to the quarry was a tower. You might have people just commit to the inside. People commit to the southwest. People commit to the north, and you end up with a, a really congested area. So it, it is much more fun in, in duos than squads. But uh, the place I really like in Juro's is the, the swamp, sort of just to the south of Pandago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it, swamp. There was a lot of cover to play around. You know, there's, the, there's like stacks of logs, there's rocks, there's long grass you can hide in. And it, it creates a sort of really fun dynamic where at every moment, each player is looking at all over the place for those snakes, all over the place for the ambushes. And uh, the, the sort of the late game gunfights become really fun to watch. Not a lot of aggression. In the early game, a bit different to the previous couple of games. Yeah, I um, think uh, those duos that were consistently losing the contestions yeah. have just said, you know, we actually need Last some points. Last game of the night. Yeah. yeah. Probably that, need some not. points. Let's go somewhere I mean, else. Dark Dreams just exchanging a couple of shots between uh, with Snakers and Shinboy. But not much is going to come out of that. While Snakers and Shinboy, they actually don't have a vehicle, but they're crossing the bridge. There might be a spawn there. VZ and Protégé already looted up, and they're going. They're going for the circle. And especially with a circle that's so heavily skewed to one side of the map, you want to try and get in early, earlier than later. Otherwise, your rotation is going to be pretty scuffed. We do see down on the south of the circle, there are two teams fought, like right on top of each other on the road. And I think Taste has actually got his teammate in the car. So 
if they wanted, no, they've got a second car. So if they wanted to, they could actually pull up. And yeah, Jake's recognised that they pulled off to the west now, just to sort of avoid that attempt to the, a potential ambush along the road. They've taken the western side. They'll probably go and take the hill on the, the western coast. Oh. Moody, meanwhile, finally a little bit of ambush approach. They get some tags in. On both of them. Super low. One more bullet, I think. Got no, oh, I he hit the now. driver. Protégé still very, very healthy, but it's VZ that's the one that's lower. And if he hits VZ, then that's the car stop. The question now is they're going to drive straight into Shimzy and, uh, and Panda Girl up on the hill. They're going to pull up right in front of them. And now the, the Ghost Gaming Joe, oh, they just got inside before Shimzy got there. It was a really good opportunity for some kills there for Shimzy. Yeah, but this is a good angle for Shimzy. Like, the only way to contest this building is from this high ground. And you have to be very careful with the way you're peeking as well. Whoever gets the knock first can actually make the push. In fact, pushing down the hill is pretty hard. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Against uh, at that this building. point, really, it's, it's a bit of a stalemate. And you want to, like, if you can knock someone in those top windows because of the angle, you can oh. push them. Do you shoot the kneecaps? <laughs> the, the, the hope, sort of, is that is that they try and come out and they go to the the car and try and drive somewhere else. But the problem is they set a circle. But now this is a perfect opportunity. They get the knock and they can just get the insta flush. The tags come back in, but Panda God does get the flush, and now it's a free kill for Ghost Gaming. You get the flush. Shrims is going to follow up with a nade. He is going to bounce straight through the doorway. Hopefully, but I think he's gone a bit too far. Yeah, Shrimsy went, went back out on the balcony. Yeah, VZ went to the balcony and now he has to jump out. And he can't actually get that vehicle out because that vehicle is stuck in between the building and the wall. So getting in it will take quite a few... I think it'll be about uh, a 10 point turn in order to do that. that but was that. Panda Girl and Shrimsy, they have backed off. It was really nicely played by them. You know, the, the patience paid off in the end. They waited for yeah. that guaranteed flush because it's pointless getting a knock if, if the person's in a position where you can't flush them because it just gives away your position and you don't like ADR does not matter you know, your knocks <laughs> do, do not give you points I mean I, I said earlier as a joke is uh, it's the most important just that if you're trying to get on the team um, because that's the only thing people look uh, it's like one of the only things people look at but free in, in this sort of situation it's literally it doesn't matter if you have one damage and five kills or 500 damage and five kills it, the thing that matters is the five kills uh, That's nice dark creep. dreams. Picks up the AWM. So the wrong mag though. Yeah, it's I always find mag. it very odd. That but he's got an M4. He can use it on the M4. Yeah. The, the, but you get a crate with a sniper rifle in it, and then the magazine that comes with it isn't a sniper yeah. rifle mag. <laughs> it's all random, isn't it? It's yeah. all random. Good thing that you know, it'd be cool if that was planned. You know? So that you got the right attachments. So you you got, like you, you always got, got an ATEX, you know, with your with your arms, something like that. Yeah, the rotations, and this is where we see the rotations being camped. Willie trying to get stabbed, does headshot him with the AK. Doesn't have a scope on his SKS, so it's going to have to suffice with the red dot. Not going to be ideal going into the later stages in the game. Has to try and get an upgrade on that. Uh, yeah, Willie's not really, uh, Pistola rather, is not really in the position to help out on the, uh, the Noxus stab. It will be able to get across highway for now. We see the centre of the circle is getting so congested as everyone's looking for that, uh, that position. But Pride's actually forcing... Uh, the the envy duo towards Moody, but now Moody's lighting them up. You were in the center circle as we're watching uh, Stab pull up and heal. But you see, a pack caps and interrogate tried to take the compound Moody was in because Pride was lighting him up, and it was so close to be able to lay a little ambush. I think Moody maybe shot a little bit too early, and sort of scared them off, and uh, they've been able to survive because of it. Yeah, pack caps and interrogate there, rotating out. Lobes just sees Dark Green, the guy that's just got the. Orm and he gets headshotted just before getting into the vehicle again, and that is just a waste of level three gear and the AWM that's and Lobes. That's just a point gifted to him. It was like the worst flip, of all and also like when that happens, the car actually rolls over naturally. Yeah, because the way so the you car don't have to get out. out. Yeah, but when you do get, I think the car was low HP. But when you do get out, you get out on the side that the car is now rolling back onto, and the car tries to squish you or at least pushes you, uh, which means you can't ADS, you can't do anything really, you can't even move. So, uh, Definitely did not help Dark Dreams by flipping the snakers. Oh, oh my god, oh, He snakers. landed the last bullet, gets the kill onto Reap, flushes it out instantly. It's a easy as you like point. Uh, a lot of rotation kills now. It's, it's what's going to happen. You're late in the rotation into this circle, you're going to start getting killed but on also, your rotation. Because of the amount of water in this, you're so restricted on the angles you can rotate through. It's already loot, boy. You, really either, you either go through Georgia Pole, or you come all the way around the south, or you just have to take that direct gacker yeah, rotation. A lot of teams, uh, a lot of players still out in the blue there, not making the full rotation. Ooh, hello. It's trying to be as safe as possible. Center. Yeah, it's going down towards Don't the swamp, towards Quarry. And you can see uh, Zenith guys, Roth and Kendo, already making the rotation in through the forest. Well, Vizi goes down. Feezy in the uh, the compound just north of the observatory. I think they actually got pushed by Latter and Mystery. 
who uh, are pulled up probably not seeing the, the car in itself and they've taken them out now and now taking the combat off them. Yeah, but they're not going to be expecting Pandagon and Shrimsy to be up there and they, look at that. They know the visa's gone down because they know exactly who the teammate is. So Pandagon's pushed up and seeing if you can get another flush or a kill or a knock at least on one of these players that haven't really got the information that you're up there. I think in this sort of lobby, you have to expect that the team's going to be playing observatory just because of how strong a position it is in this circle. So uh, I expect that uh, yeah, they're well aware that they could get shot from the hill at any point. Um, and it, we'll probably see them just stay in the houses. Oh, where Profi did gets down? knocked by number one potato. Um, Tells out of blue? No. no I think Profi's no, pushed. Swamp. Yeah, swamp. No, west of Swamp. There's so many people just in the blue. It's, a bit, it's very odd. We see Wolf and Disciple. I wonder if they're going to look for a boat and maybe try and get on the hill just sort of south of Jaker. Or Jake, rather. No, it, I think it's quite a, quite a good idea, really, because realistically, the circle is very restricted on where it can go. Because the oh, oh, that did not look... Easy uh, like. That didn't look great. In the, the blue. Yeah, the, the circle is very restricted in what it can do. So if you can find that boat on the northern side, you can, you can fairly, like, 70-80% of the time predict within about 100-200 meters where the, the zone will finish. Chubba Bubba, Gilly in the mist with a VSS. Uh, oh my god, if Pentalol and uh, his teammate so run the, out... Just the VSS isn't popular in squads because of its Mac, right? Because you can't, yeah. you can't fight a squad but between bullets. it does shred. Yeah, it it's does really, shred on auto. It's really good in a 1v1. And it was also the fact you can't put a red dot on it, but it's uh, really I, good I in a 1v1. I also think the recoil control on it is pretty... Mm -hmm. Pretty easy to control, but the, the magazine is like the perfect size for a one v two or a two v two, because it, like it, I think it takes like five six bullets to kill at that sort of range. So, it, uh, oh, uh, you don't want to be doing that! Holy moly, Cambagini gets completely annihilated. Doesn't even have a chance, and his teammate Chubba actually got the kill. Yeah, Chubba gave away his position. Uh, uh, Cherry's gonna be very confused where that came from. Yeah, he yeah, heard he, the VSS. He, he didn't give away his position though. No, he, he shot the player, and they heard the shots because he was so close. I mean, the VSS is naturally already quiet, but they're already shooting yeah. during it. So I don't know if they did, but... But they, they know he killed from close. Uh, he's going to look for him now. Uh, no, they have no oh, idea. They have no idea. The they're, they're looking for him, but they don't know he's that close. They don't know he's literally on the wall. Uh, I, I thought there was sort of a death sentence for Chubba there, but it, it might have actually worked out. And he had Oops. Lopes. Lopes, Lopes trying to line up a shot. Saving him. It's a bulletproof wooden fence. He's gone upstairs, Lopes. I just see him enter the building. Tanaka, yeah, he's, got, he's just going to nade well. every room if he can. He's going to bounce off the top. No, oh, he's God. made it. Be careful. This is where Molotovs are really strong. Yeah, because it spreads. I don't know why it people don't pick them up. Because yeah, if you throw two, in, especially in the mansion houses, if you throw two in one of the top rooms, it Molotovs the entire floor. Uh, so the person has to either jump out or run down the stairs. And we always forget, it destroys the door. Mm, yeah, so you just lob it at a door. It deletes it, the it, bloody it, door. Yeah, it's it so good. It the room behind it. Yeah, it's Snack House one. Okay, okay, we're going down south. Swamp is still I mean, in. It's going to shift the swamp because of the because of the uh, the water shift next. So obviously we're on phase three now. Phase four is going to be forced to sort of directly east rather. Oh, than level three helmet. Oh no, it's level two helmet. You don't want to be standing still. Lobo's still lining up a shot. The guy's nice crouching misses. Oh dear, with That's the AWM rough. as well. You don't want that to happen. That was an easy knock on Adam there. Yeah, Adam just moved a lot. Uh, it looked like Adam was going to stop yeah, and heal. Yeah. Which is why the shot came out. <laughs> he's actually house? into he the doing? building. He's in the building. He's slow walking. But is there uh, surely they don't know he's there. And, and is that Wolf in the blue coming in? I think that's Wolf coming in at the back. Yeah, and Disciple. They're both coming in. No, they the still north. don't know. Look at the way they're playing. They have no idea. He's not in the building. No, he's oh, he's, he's the actually wall. on the wall. And they, they have to go across it. They have to cross him. But they have a vehicle. They're going to use that to get away. And uh, this might be his opportunity to at least get one kill. Oh, yeah, he's going to oh, shoot him off the, the bike. Oh! <laughs> I thought he was going to run over. Does he get what? the knock? He doesn't get it. He whiffs a little bit. And uh, is Wolf going to get him somehow? No, Wolf's in a car. But now Pentalol knows he's there. He's not going to drive off. And now he's in a 1v2 and he's in a really rough spot. But, he I think, uh, yeah, but there's another bike there. The bike that got delivered. <laughs> so he's smoking it up. And I think he's trying to Hail Mary to get in it and get out of there. But you can see on the map, Pentalol and Cherry Poppin, they're just waiting. They're watching it. They're I wouldn't be surprised if he's trying to make it look like he's going to try and take the bike. You know, I don't think Pentalol um, has the right information exactly where he is. He was aiming on the wrong side. But uh, Chubba Bubba's actually playing very, very uh, slow and methodically right oh, now. But the nade is going to come in, land right next to him. Bye bye. And that's the knock. Excellently dealt with. And now they can carry on with the rotation and go on. And I think. Uh, but, uh, that is. It costs so much time for the duo, the, for Pentalon and Jerry. 
And it, there's really, like, where are they going to go? If you look at this circle, if they come along the western side, they try and go for the hill, Jake and Owen are already there. If they try and go for the compound that uh, 20, uh, Team 27 number one potato is in, they're just going to die. If they try and go directly north, they're behind Adam and Ghost. They're going to run into D2 to Lampelot. There's so little room now, well, just because of how long that gun looks took. like the race is on. There are the yellows that are just up ahead of them, but it looks like Kickstart um, and uh, Adam, they're trying to go for it. In fact, no, they're going to stop. I think ah, Kickstart just hit There's a tree. But they're going to go with a beach. But oh, they're they're going straight, straight to Jake they're and Owen. Straight to Jake yeah. and Owen. I think this might be them going out. And uh, Chubba Bubba's dead by the um, blue, and look at that. Being seen, going to get sprayed up, and Chubba popping, one more bullet do down. It. And they don't land it. Wow. They're somehow, somehow they survived, but yeah, they're going to come on the hill, and there's just no cover, unless know. they can get in that shack. What is, what is Cherry doing? You have to be careful. He doesn't want to no go. Wheel. His wheel's gone. But uh, it, it's, it's kind of monk well, at the moment. It's actually worked, somehow. And Pentalol's yeah, gone really? and parked right, right next to Adam, who I think's in a, in a shed. Lobes has managed to make his way out, and he's taken a lot of time out of Tanaka from getting out of the blue, so he's still stuck up there in the, the compound. We saw Disciple and Wolf just to the north, <laughs> like the edge of George Park, and now all of a sudden they're on the eastern edge. and uh, they, They've just sort of gone off the fact that the circle will go east, will go towards the swamp, and now they can they can go for a bit of a swamp dive. Pentalol thought the nade might be going in, so There's he ran out at the right time, but because he ran out, it bounced, and it actually did damage oh. to him. Perfectly timed by Adam. Pentalol goes down, and there's really no opportunity for Cherry to help him out. So it should be a, a confirmed kill for Adam, unless GRBG can steal it. Lobes. Let's see if he can increase his accuracy. The big green gun. With the big green gun at the AWM. A British gun, might I, might I add. A gun that is uh, built specifically for Arctic warfare. Yeah, but no one ever uses it in Arctic warfare. It's very weird. Uh, it's pretty, pretty heavy. But Shinboy, very low, 23 HP. Needs to go for the challenge. The tree's thin. Gets the knock onto Panda Girl. Shrimsy, however, is going to be um, out of the game for a second while he goes for the res. But Shinboy's got the time to get the heal off and take the push. Meanwhile, Baby Beans trying to shoot a reversing. Wow, okay, Shrew. He, um,. He, he can dodge bullets by the looks of it. And uh, look at this, Shin Boy's closed that gap. Panda goes up, needs to res, uh, needs to heal. And Adam gets the flush with his fists on Pentalol. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. Shin Boy throwing a smoke behind him, making it look like he hasn't pushed up. Might bait one of these players but I out. Think, I think he's close enough that they should be able to hear him. And, and he's giving away his position oh. now, but he gets the knock on to Panda Girl. So now 1v1 with Shrimzy. And that's not Panda Girl's first knock. I think it's the second or third. So they're going to be ticking out really quickly. He goes straight for the push on Shrimzy. Shrimzy can hear him. Shrimzy actually jumped up on the corner. And now Shimboy, he's being peppered from somewhere oh, else. It's later. Him. Oh, dear. It and was just timing. The headshot landed. And that, that just saves Panda Girl now. Because Shrimsy could just get there. They know for a fact that they're clear now, so they can get that rest. But realistically, where are they going to go in the circle? I mean, the swamp. Kickstart and Adam, they um, didn't look like they have a great position, but it looks like they do now. They've got Lampelot and Co. coming up on them. Lobes has pushed up. Not the best position for him. You've got this massive ridge line that Adam and uh, Kickstart can use. The D-tree is just prone in the middle of the road. Okay, he actually yeah. gets the knock onto Lobes from afar. But he doesn't know anything about Kickstart, and Kickstart might be able to ambush him a little bit. He's going for the wrong player. Dietrich is right next to him, and he's going to get the tags up, but he doesn't get the knock. Kickstart, can he get him down? Uh, a fairly equal 1v1 as they're both Dietrich's missing a bit of HP. Adam trying to be a man with a 3x on the uh, AK, going Lampelot for the spray. Himself. But, uh, Kickstart, he's holding, he's holding tight, he sees the head. But he really needs Adam to come in and help, and it's going to be the repeat. Keep repeating. It's going to be Dietrich that wins. Lampelot, he goes down to himself somehow, he but Adam does over. get the knock onto Dietrich, and that actually wipes out the team. Yeah, Lampelot was in such a good position to help out Dietrich, but he, I think he got out his car too early because he got tagged up as he was driving. Got out of the car when it was going too fast, and it just insta-killed him. And uh, it's, it's a bit of a misplay. Uh, it's a bit of a shame. You, you never want to kill yourself. <laughs> um, stop. We did that earlier. Good night. It's a good it is well timed, just in the wrong angle. Positivity is uh, is down. Needs to get rezzed. I don't think Luca and Silvers are going to try and uh, push this. It's hard, but the nades are coming in. The bouncers are coming in. Oh my days! The second nade and right into, into positivity into that smoke. So they do get the second knock, and that's going to take them out a bit longer of the fight. Stab. 
Goes for the peak, goes for the spray, but it's now going to go for the res. Hard to doing a bit of damage to Luke. And Luke's hacking to his knees. Doesn't have any more. Rello finds him. Those and that's were, a yeet to those the Those tags by Stab were completely crucial to that fight because yeah. Luke was going for the push. If Stab had just gone for the res or Stab had been passive, then I think Luke would have had a, a pretty easy one view on there. But the fact that Stab was able to get those tags uncontested and didn't take any damage in return forced Luke to stop, forced him to slow down, and it allowed Stab to get that res. And in the end, allowed Rello to, to come in and protect them, really. Getting rid of that level two helmet and getting rid of one more player from the lobby, as well as increasing, well, get, decreasing the team, so increasing your points that you're able to get. Later, last member for Riot Squad with two kills on his counter. Mini 14 in the hand, and he's holding. Um, he's got level 2 health, just in case. I mean, he's got a new one. And he's also holding a swamp building all by himself, so it's a pretty good position he's in. Now we see Envy, uh, Pack Caps, and Interrogate. They're pushing up from the behind. They have positivity and uh, stab. Stab is actually down, stab is out. Roth takes him out, and Interrogate needs to come and find another player. He actually finds uh, Kendo. Doesn't knock him, though. That's it. Uh, potential really for for positivity to try and do a bit of damage here. Uh, Packabs, oh, no, he has an idea now that needs to come in. I think he did have, have an idea already, but it, his teammate interrogates not really anywhere to help him. But the fact he's got five nades, he can just he just red zone this this move. That's oh perfect. my god! <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's he's playing golf. What on earth? Yeah, he's playing golf, and that was a hole in one. Three bounces. I thought it was just PUBG, but it's golf with friends. <laughs> I bet, I bet he didn't even understand. I'm speechless. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was like, you know the meme where there's like all the, the maths around the guy's head? <laughs> that, that was Pack Caps there, just working out the exact angle to throw the nade. Someone, someone made that meme for that yeah. nade. <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, that was beautiful. A, a little bit lucky. I, I can guarantee you did not mean to bounce it like that. But so it's an eight, an eight, like they... they uh, Buff nades, they repatch nades to like make them bounce a bit more, and like and they they just come out and they like yeah we know how it works and here you go. I'm pretty sure he didn't mean to make it bounce all that <laughs> time, but it it's it looked goddamn beautiful because it worked. And now Adam he's stuck in the blue, uh, kickstop just out of it needs to heal up before heading out. But they do have um, number one potato and his teammate in the compound right below them, and more nades coming in bouncing right next to Kendo. He's a bit too far, but it's going to be the headshot this nade will kill and the second nade from Pat Caps. And there we go. That's Zen out. There are 17 alive in 12 teams. Like there are only f only five teams with more than one player. If I could do maths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six. Oh, I can't do maths. Yeah. There we go. Look at that, Envy's already up there in the top with four kills. Riot Squad later's got another two kills. That's four kills to his team's name. Elevated Ones with three, and Wildcard with three. I can do maths. On to two. You can do maths, and it looks like the circle's actually shifted north by the looks of it. Um, yeah, it's, it's end, I said it was going to the swamp. Yeah, it's I've got one circle right tonight. Disciple holding the edge. <laughs> Gets the knock onto Baby Bean, throws a nade, and it might actually go and get Goo Goo Gaga. They don't second one, that's, that second one's good, I think. It's forced him to back off. It's forced him to give up on the res. And now the, the 1v2 becomes really rough because he just can't peek anything. Because there's just nades constantly going off. So he just cannot go outside. And he's just giving them a, sort of free access to the side of the house. Yeah, there's no, no windows for him to actually use to be able to contest them coming down the hill. So they can get right down to the hill, up close to that building wall and then try and breach it and find out where he is. Number one Potato and Tiesta, they're looking for Kickstart. Kickstart lands the first couple of shots, throws another nade, and lands the headshot. Number one Potato is very low, but the blue's coming in. He has to be fast. Then Tiesta's, he's left. He Come on, Kickstart, what are you doing? You're healing? Yeah, you're healing. In the blue, no, you're not healing. Right, now you're going to heal. Good. Yeah, Goodbye. he didn't have time to do it in the house. He had to get outside and do it. But, uh... He's waiting, Tiesta's waiting, he's got a barrel in the hand. He knows exactly where he is, but he's just in cover with that smoke. It was really nice by Kickstart to just deny the, the lines of sight. He knows exactly where Taster was. And uh, by using those smokes, he's uh, sort of protecting himself and might be able oh. to get one or two placements. Here we go, a bit of envy on envy action. You can see Pride and Moody coming in close onto Interrogate and Pat Caps. They have been spotted, they have been seen. Moody lands a couple of shots, tries for the second one, gets the headshot onto Interrogate and is about to get Pat Caps too. Pack caps. He's back into one cover. bullet. One bu oh, he's got four nades. Four nades. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is uh, the <laughs> end of the line. He's in an A. Of course he's got an A. That's, is it good? That, no. Oh, it's a bit too short. A bit, yeah, it's because he cooked it a little bit. So it went, but actually, 
Pristola time comes in and takes down Pride. All of a sudden, Mooney's lost his teammate, but he does get a final kill. Takes down his source of teammates. And uh, But I think, is Pride going to go down? I, I just don't think Moody can cross this. He's throwing a smoke to try and close that gap and get but Pride is so the res low, up. Uh, like Because he got tagged up a few times. He's got him. He's, He's got him. Get. But it, it's a question of whether Pistola has an angle. He's shooting directly at him. He gets Pride oh. down. He flushes it. In the smoke. Can he see Moody? I don't think he can. I mean, it would be a good guess. He'd just fire in the general direction. And you know, I think he knew he where, he, where he was. Because uh, when they threw the smoke, Pride stopped moving. And so Pistola in his head is like, this is the last position Pride was in. I will shoot at it. And it worked. Got the point. Which, I mean, considering the situation he's in, the fact that he was able to get a point out of it is pretty good. And if he could try and survive maybe one or two, you know, one or two more placements, uh, I think he's pretty much maximised this game for himself. Okay, but Moody's in, and Moody's seen Tiesto, and Moody's landing headshots on Tiesto. That might help kickstart try and make his way into the circle. Ooh, Ooh. there it is. Curving bullets Slap. around, and he sees the head just about a pistola time, and he's trying to get some avengement. Avengement? Avengers. He's trying to avenge. He's trying to avenge. There we go. Assemble the Avenge. It's like the worst couple of sentences you've ever tried to say. Like, easily. <laughs> ah. hey, and you're the one that's had sleep. <laughs> yeah, but I just can't speak. And a lot of caffeine. No, I've just been drinking... Um, we had a con. Orange fizz. Uh, I really like the position Moody's in here, because if he does get tagged up, he can run down into that dip. Vela and got kick start. You know, uh, the people that are sort of threats to him, you know, Pistola time is really his only threat, is in a position where even if he gets attacked, Moody can heal before uh, before he gets anywhere near. Has he spotted the crate? Yeah, he has. He can kind of push up a bit. He knows he can, exactly where he, he is. Close the he gap. does have, you know, he, he's American, so he does have needs. Oh, he hasn't seen Actually, him the rock. Is he Canadian? I think he's Canadian. Ah, uh, Moody's Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh lovely. wow. He was throwing it towards the rock, but somehow he still gets the nade. And A's, and they M249. got damn bloody nades. And the M249 going to the closing, closing part of the game in the swamp. Holy moly. Don't this is going to shred. I don't, it's not as impactful in duos because you don't need the 100 bullets that often. But the time to kill. The thing you can just do is if you put like a 3x on it, you just lie down. And just sort of drag your mouse down as you f and just fire. For I, like, I use six X. Yeah, even that. Yeah, you just put a scope on it. You aim at a door, and someone can't use it anymore. No. <laughs> but the, the time to kill like is pretty pretty high. It's, 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 it's super high. Good. It's good. But the spray. Actually tagged. Wolf actually got it. Yeah, Wolf. Got Once it. again, one and two is uh, is having a pretty decent game. We've seen them really consistently make top ten tonight. They've not had any blowout games. I think this might be their blowout game. Um, but for the first time, they're, they're, they're Ooh, sort of having a game where they're getting a lot of kills and a lot of placements. There you go, that's a circle. It's been seen and, oh dear, that nade nearly. That nade would have actually killed Plushy. If he got it in, the <laughs> reply nade is coming in. Rella needs to move out. Uh, Sending gifts. Plushy versus Rella. Rella's got a really strong position here on the high ground. If he just waits it out, and he's got like this little elevate and angled ridge that he can use as yeah, cover. Th this is the, the third game in a row we've seen Rella on his own. For a long time. Oh, and it's the third game in a row we've seen him really clutch out and get a pretty decent amount of points. But now it, like, it's going to be Moody and Rello for this top spot, I think, for the, sort of the top half. Mm -hmm. Whereas the Cyclone Wolf, I, I don't really think they can make that push just because Rello has an angle, Moody has an angle. If Plushy turns around, he has they an angle They do as have well. the cover of the trees. Just mm -hmm. one thing they don't want is to get caught out crossing that swamp. There's just You slow down, you can't sprint through it. They're going to have to go around where that wooden pier is mm. and that yeah, kind of gets you If they follow the tree line close. they can get yeah. in yeah but I, I think Moody actually has an angle through the tree line on the sort of area sort of like 30 meters down uh, mm. I think we'd have to go down the ridge yeah so it, it should be able to get in the circle Rello actually gets plushy down meanwhile so all of a sudden a few teams alive two solos and Moody has no idea you can see I think he has a rough idea there's a team to the east, but he has no idea this yeah, he, But that got, nade's going to give it away. He got tagged up by them and he fell back. So I, he I'm not sure why one and two are nading. Moody had no he idea. Now one. all of a sudden he knows exactly where they are. He can wait. He needs to see the second one, Wolf and Disciple. Oh, oh dear. Actually, Wolf spots him and that's just a bit too late. And Wolf takes out Moody. Moody cannot make any use of that M249. And now look at this. Rello is pushing. He's heard where the players are. And he's got the best position. And he's pushing out the last phase. Oh. oh, but I think he thinks they've, they've they tried to push up to where Moody was. He does have the center of the circle. Uh, I think it's it's literally on the hillside of the swamp. So 
if he if he spots where the the one in two players are, he's got a good chance of doing it. But he doesn't have any utility. He's got the, well, he's got one smoke. See, that's the problem. They no can frags. use all the cover they have in the swamp to be able to make their push and try and find out where he is. But once they do, all Rella has is the ridge line. Not a lot of cover when you peek over. But the weird thing with this ending is, that I think the actual centre point you can't actually stand on it because it's too steep. So <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work because, like, if you go on it, you slide down. Yeah. So. It, well, it's not going to get to that. You know it's not going to get You'd be surprised, to that. especially if there's a lot of smokes. Yeah, look, he's got eight smokes. They might just smoke their way to the center because no one has any grenades left. So it's all about those bullets. Six smokes on Wolf. Yeah, I expect Disciples of Effie's work because they got quite a few kills where they were able to leave. There you go. Rello finally spots him, puts a bit of damage into Disciple. And now Wolf knows exactly whereabouts he could be. He's at the wooden shed. That's the communication that's been passed on over. Rello trying to play, trying to figure out where both the players are. That's what one is. The 3x comes out. Wolf doesn't exactly know. They don't. They don't know I exactly think they where he is. He moved down to the uh, yeah the wood. It, but Wolf's been in spot now. But Disciple actually had a really good angle. It's to be rocket. They split each other, but everyone's whiffing shots right now. There's no real shots landing. Finally, it is a hard. bit of damage comes into Rello now. Pretty much one bullet to the face will end the game. I mean, more smokes being thrown out. You've got four left, Wolf. You might as well use them while you can. But all it's going to take is this push to go up onto the ridge and then taking on this fight but against The problem Rello. is, if he takes this fight versus Disciple, Wolf's just going to peek and kill him. Yeah, he yeah. has to try and somehow get Wolf without Disciple being able to trade the kill. That's his only win condition right now. And this sneak attack might be the play. If he can sort of bait, but bait you can, Wolf you can still hit. You can still hit. Look, Wolf has heard him. Wolf has literally heard him. And so is Disciple. He has a head on Disciple. And now Wolf's just going to stand up. Wolf gets away. the kill. Yeah. Wolf. Easy as you like. Peaks up and gets the kill nice and easy. Right, One in the two good heady brother. They pick up their first win. I haven't actually seen them win yet. Well, a, a decent one as well with the six kills. So 16 points overall. And they, they were already in a pretty good position. I think they were in the top six tonight. So they, overall, they're going to be in a, a pretty nice spot in this leaderboard. Velo actually carrying the team to come second there with four kills. Mm. So doing a lot of work uh, on his behalf. But th those guys... Um, where are they? I think they're fourth if I'm right, on the overall leaderboard. Uh, so I'll be honest. They, no they are. I mean, they're they're showed, consistent. They've had a really good night, particularly but, Rello. Yeah. He's been losing his teammate quite consistently. Uh, probably through a bit unfortunate. I really like this patient play by Ghost Gaming, but uh, I think Rello's been one of the MVPs of the night just because of the, the fact that he keeps losing his teammate early and is still able to turn those games into like nearly double digits or actual double digit, digit games. So lucky there from Dreams. Uh, well, you know, there's the last a, game to there's a like really that. big ridge in the in the the mountain there, which like it's impossible to drive over without flipping. So it's a very dangerous path to take. Um, which you should know if you know the map. I don't know the map. Yeah, but he should as well. Yeah, well, well, what an excellent set of games today, <laughs> as always. Well, always great fun to watch. Uh, yeah, I, I don't get to see duos often enough, and I don't get to see American duos particularly often enough. It's just names. I'm it normally asleep. Utility. But yeah, they're so aggressive. It's so much fun to watch. Right, look at this. Adam literally wasted about four names. Yeah, though. but then he's going to run in and he just gets like five more because <laughs> the other player hasn't. Yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they're, I think I was talking to... Um, who's a British guy that's playing in MPL? What's the name? Short guy, my size. Crispier. Crispier, that's it. Sorry, mate, I forgot your name. It's quite that's late. That's rough. Um, yeah, he said, like, all the teams, what we do, we get seven nades, and as soon as we see a team that we yeah. can't fight, we just throw nades, because at the end of the day, if we kill them, they haven't used any of their yeah. nades, we can go and refresh. You just your, refresh, yeah. You go, you get your nades, and then the next fight, it's all about the nades, it's all about the nades. And if you just see right there as well, Moody with an insane nade. Um, it's so unfortunate here for Moody. Like, if the grass was the tiniest of bits longer, then Disciple and Wolf don't see him, yeah. and he could probably pull off the 1v2 and maybe win the whole game. He just got super unfortunate with that. that the slight, I think he was moving. Yeah. His bag gave away his position. Or uh, I think he actually sw switched guns as well, which, which gave away his position and made it a little bit rough in the end. But still, top three by Moody. I think overall they had a really good night. So uh, the, the sort of the, the NPL teams you'd expect to be doing good were all towards that top of the leaderboard so consistently. Uh, that's the story of week after week, the NPL teams doing well. And you get the occasional kind of... Uh, contenders mm. player or team kind of come out on top and just you know really show the MPL teams like hey uh, we can frag too we can frag too and don't go easy on us just because we're contenders right but hell, it, could, it might not be going easy it might just be there right, it's more that the, the MPL teams become a little bit more aggressive you know, when you have 
so-called yeah, better teams in a lobby with teams that are supposedly not as good, the better teams try to abuse that fact. You know, yeah. they, they become more aggressive. They take gunfights that normally they wouldn't win because they're so confident in their gunplay. You know, they'll push you and it's like a 60-40 in your favor mm. just because that, their mechanical gun skill pushes it to their favor. And that's the sort of thing we see in these duos where you know, you're, you're envious, you're Tempo Storm, Space Station, they're, they're all so aggressive onto those duos that they think they can win. Yeah, absolutely. Versus. Absolutely. Right, let's have a look at the scoreboard after that game and uh, see what that's going to be doing to the well overall leaderboard at the end of tonight and then at the end of the week as well. So the overall leaderboard in total. So there we go. One in the two good Heady Brother. 16 points total, six kills. So they secure that top place in that game. Prudy coming in second with 11 points and uh, Relo and Profi in 10 points as well. Um, yeah, why, why don't you mention that Space Storm? 27, 27, zero points in the last game. They were contesting for the top two for the week. And actually in the end, one of the two good Heady takes over, doesn't quite beat Willofi as, uh, as Relo and Profi, particularly Relo with his clutches. Uh, just amassed so many points in those last three games. But it, considering the fact that Space Storm got one point in three games and they're in third place. <laughs> it's pretty insane. There we go. This is the total leaderboard of NA and this is what it's done. Wildcard still at the top. They've just had an amazing first two weeks um, for anyone to try and catch up, but the gap has been closed. Space Storm 96 and Cadets didn't really see much of them. They were, they were consistently okay. Mm -hmm. you know, they were getting points. They, they didn't have the blowout games that Space Storm had. But, you know. Uh, I think United had one really good one, Boot Cup, as we saw that, that yeah. pretty big win. But well, they were consistently getting sort of five, six points that really pushed them up. So we can see kind of the average points here, about 50 is, is where we're lying, like 58, 57 is where the, the top half of the teams are. Everyone's got a point at least. Uh, Elementars, uh, Elementars, sorry, Eliminators. Um, I don't think they play this week because, uh, well, they haven't really got a point. But... 46 and 16th place. That's Prudy and Ghost Gaming on 44. So the gap between the top 16 and the bottom 16, not that far it's off. It's about as big as you are. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's quite small. Um, that's a good analogy. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, so it's going into next week. Could be anyone's week, really. Wait, is it the final week next week? It is the final I week. I believe it's, so. It's two weeks of a wrangle. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it, 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 it's going to come down to the wire. You look at sort of... I would say any team in the top 20, maybe even top 24, has a realistic chance if they can have a really good last week, mm -hmm. you know, like a 40, 50 point last week, has like a realistic chance of making it to that final. And even some of those teams sort of 16th, 17th, if they just get 20, 30 points that yeah. last one, they're, they're confirmed. Of they're course. And you can do that in a week. You can do that in a week. And uh, unfortunately, uh, this week, uh, as I mentioned at the start of the broadcast, we are not covering EU this week. Uh, well, today, because there was a bit of uh, scheduling problems with other tournaments. So make sure you tune in on Saturday. And that's where we're going to be covering EU. Saturday the 12th, we're going to be covering that, and then we're going to be going straight into the Latin American Masters as well. So if you missed out on your, your, your favorite region, the better region, um, of course, mm -hmm. region bias coming in from the Europeans. Yeah, but it's also a fact. Um, <laughs> Uh, make sure you tune in on Saturday and we'll catch you up on that because, of course, they still need to play their week games and we need to see how that unfolds for there. But other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed today's broadcast and don't go anywhere. Have a lovely break for a couple of days and we'll see you again on Saturday. My name is Taha, this is Saint, and we wish you the best. <laughs>